I guess you could call this the first of the last of yeah, us. Yeah, dude. Well, well, not. I believe it was Naughty Dog's most successful game, more so than even Uncharted. So, and you hear about it everywhere. I remember I picked it up real late. I was like, fine, I'll play this video game. And then I was like, that was good. Question mark. And then I was you like, know, hmm. It's cause... funny that you say that. because My experience was similar. I bought it for uh, the remaster for PS4. And I was like, that was, I really liked it, but not as much as everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> I just remember that was the I had so many mechanical device. complaints, but I was like, I like yeah, the story AI, a lot though. AI was really bad, but yes, the story was strong. Lots of different things being said about this already. It's a big old conversation piece because this show isn't just a show. It represents a lot more than that. A little bit yeah, of progress does. in the media landscape. What will this be remembered in a as? Sense. A step forward, a step back, a step to the side. Those <laughs> will just find out. Ah, oh, HP. I associate Whoa. them with good things because of House of the Dragon. They're, wow, I mean, that's, in, that's not Velma? <laughs> category. Well, that's God. HBO Max. Oh. Uh, so, well, we end up with a global pandemic. pandemic. How relevant. Oh, so that's John Hanna on the left. Oh my God, he's older. He's in The Mummy, if you guys remember. I'm just having a moment of everything's so old. <laughs> yeah. But you, not bacteria, not viruses, so... Mushrooms. There are some fungi who seek not to kill, but to control. Viruses can make us ill, but fungi can alter our very minds. Fungus starts to direct the ant's behavior, telling it where to go, what to do, like a puppeteer. The person in the middle air. doesn't seem like a real person, <laughs> like a robot <laughs> or an android. He's an NPC so in the back. It, <laughs> it keeps its puppet alive by preventing decomposition. Oh. Dr. Sean Heister in distress. Fungal a infection time. of this kind is real, but not in humans. True, fungi cannot survive if its host's internal temperature is over... 94 degrees. What if the world were to get slightly warmer? Well, now there is reason to evolve. A one warming. gene mutate, cordyceps, aspergillus, there it is. any one of them could be. That's the one. Of it, it is. The, the Last of Us deserves a lot of credit for a really creative new type of zombie. Yeah, and I would say this is a good start, too. This is yeah. a good start. This is an interesting way of delivering this uh, essentially exposition. So if that happens, we lose. <clears throat> Oh, you would have thought he would, he would he do tried a, a fun thing do a of joke like, or something. Yeah. Well, let's of course, hope that that's never going to happen. Yeah. Oh, it's time I buy some Portobello from the Krogers. What are they going to like choose the to do? The pods are real neat now. They put a lot of effort into them. Gotta love that theme, too. And the music. Yeah. But actually, I think they, they didn't. brought back the composer. <laughs> they brought back the composer. Yeah, I'm there just thinking is. about Halo. <laughs> Well, yeah, because Halo, they butchered it. They didn't like. The <laughs> they they brought back the Halo you recognize, the Halo music for that like one moment at the end, so that you could fucking hate them. Yeah, for <laughs> just discarding everything else. Whereas here, they actually brought back the original composer. They brought back a lot of people. I think Tro uh, Troy Baker uh, is in it. Ashley Johnson as well, like in small roles. It's like that's nice. Steve Downs didn't get anything based on the game. PlayStation, we can't have our MCU, but we could corner the market on video games. Oh, that, no, they have a PlayStation Studios, like, MCU logo for their films and stuff. I saw it before Uncharted. It's got, like, Aloy, Ratchet and & Clank and stuff in it. Oh, I was referring to, like, them oh, having yeah. a, the ancient that's, times. That's 10 years. What, well, I'm interested. Is this, are they starting it earlier? They're starting where the game starts, right? No, the game was 2013. Interesting. Game starts the same uh, time as the, the like as the year it came out, so this is earlier. God, this room is so gay. Feels can be gay so, now, wait. rags. Oh, that's true. A lot of them. Oh my God, Dinjarin. It's, it's Joel. <laughs> Dinjarin, my favorite. No, Star he's Wars from character. Krypton. He's Joel. No, it's Max Lord. <laughs> Pedro Pascal really isn't like the top world, isn't he? <laughs> he's doing all right, I think. Yeah. You know, I don't really like pancakes. I know you don't like them. It's for my benefit. You get your uh, homework done. Fractions. <laughs> Still, I'm um, giving a good listen to that accent. Oh, he's doing. Yeah, he is. He's putting it on. Is there enough for Uncle Tommy? Oh, Uncle Tommy. Ah, that's alive, him. You old fucker. Oh, he loves you. He's dependent on me. Not the same. I'm not splitting his job. I barely want to split it with you. I'll be done by nine. By nine, right? I'll bring back a cake. I promise. I mean, I can tell he's trying, but it mostly sounds like him to me. It does, but maybe he's Hard just up. not doing Where a super emphasized one. Your t-shirt's inside out. See, I, th this is what I was thinking, like, one of the benefits, I guess, that it, it's, again, it's just like, when you're making a video game, especially when you got a lot of combat, it's like, well, 
you know, sometimes you have the challenge of how much do we have of no combat versus combat compared to yeah, you can... how much time can we spend. For every you know, minute here. you spend not doing combat, you're risking it. Whereas in this case, it's like, well, you can have the whole day, right? Yeah. Instead of starting, like, right at the outbreak. You guys we watch. get to spend a little bit more time seeing what Joel's, you know, normal life looked like. And yeah, that watch will matter. Oh, yeah. Knife. Those are some it's older so weird because too. I wonder when they were making this, that they were making it with the point of view in mind that everyone knows what's going to happen. Or they no, have to your know a retard. number of, It's a very successful game. Yeah, so like a lot of people know, know exactly how this goes. Kind of like how if you do Batman's origin on... Oh, the they're setting up the, uh, setting up the neighbor. You know, I do really like The Last of Us. <laughs> I do like it too. <laughs> the original so game. <laughs> We got a lot of extra here. He's a zombie. Is he feeding him mushrooms? Well, because the, the idea in the game is that it was, like, disseminated through food. Look yeah. Um, Atkins diet. Atkins was relatively... It had a popularity around then, didn't it? What, the 2000s? Put that out. Happy birthday to you. Operation Desert Storm. Oh, bat veteran. Oh, Storm the desert. His, uh, his brother seems I to be they, uh, going harder on the I, accent I, than he is. I guess that hair's coming in handy. It's like little pillows. Yeah. On the sides of your head there. I'm just waiting for the Shaun of the Dead style, like someone falls over. Waiting for somebody to start <laughs> coughing, yeah. <laughs> Reports of Remember? today of many people falling over. Well, it's going to be hard to top Shaun of the Dead's montage of <laughs> flipping through it's all the channels. It's just hard to top Shaun of the Dead's fucking great movie. Yeah. Oh, a little cat. Thing, clock. That makes me think of Simpsons. That cat. I think they have a clock. Yeah. Like that, I wonder if all those clocks on the wall are correct. It must be ah, madness there, staring uh, at them, being fire wrong engine. all day. The fire yeah, engine is to put out the fires on the mushrooms. Well, and SWAT team there. They're called fire trucks, but they dispense water. Makes no fucking sense. Humans are stupid. Apparently, they made up a whole language just for this scene. Things don't seem right. I don't like that though. Before. The clock becomes clearer when the the line comes down. Line goes yeah. down. Yeah. Doesn't make you feel so bad about closing. Mm-hmm. Getting something for my dad. Oh. Hi, Marcy. I'm worried about that old lady. Is everything okay? Like on the news? No, it's but all shit. Them. Like always. People out there need to get right with Jesus. Oh good. I was thinking we'd make some cookies. Chocolate chip. Raisin. Oh. No one likes those old lady. No one likes those. <laughs> Hey, Mrs. Adler, could I borrow this? That's creepy. That was nice and creepy. Oh, I should go. You sure? Yeah. Well, you're taking yeah. some cookies. If you give someone raisin cookies, you're essentially saying, here, you throw these away. <laughs> here, I don't like you. <laughs> Back to normal, I guess. Oh, Doggo, don't trust it. Doggo's can sense bullshit. He's like, Grandma, you're not Grandma. The other thing, you're making a show like this, it's always tempting to just, how will you portray this world slowly showing signs of falling apart? It's weird to see jets, but, well, I guess the air is where they'd be. It's ten. Oh no. Gave us the wrong size for the headers. Where's the cake? Shit. Come on, man. I'll get us one tomorrow. Fixed it for you. Did you? What? I don't hear anything. <laughs> Thank you. This scene is really beat for beat. It's even yeah. got, like, identical dialogue in a lot of places. Well, and that's the thing. It feels weird, but it's true, I guess, to say they're doing well. It's like, yeah, you're following the guy. I think they're doing well, yeah. Where'd you get the money for this? Drugs. I sell hardcore drugs. It's better when I do. It was only $20, which I stole from you. Besides, it's the thought that counts. And you were never going to do it for yourself, so. Yeah, so far, I'm digging it. I want to see what happens next. Well, that's the thing, right? If none of us knew okay, anything, really like and we right. watched this with zero context, that opening scene has already set the stage, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a fan of the creepy granny and the... Because he said, if you don't get me out today, you won't be able to get me out at all, assuming they don't let people out on Saturdays and Sundays? Justice is off well, on I weekends. I actually don't know. I was just curious. I don't either. I didn't I know, know that that's a thing. I wonder if we're gonna... No, we're not... Okay, so, yeah. This is basically where... Closer to where the... This is where... Everything the goes wrong. The game began with that scene, basically. And yeah. this is, yeah. Oh, no aliens. 
Interesting too, because this this game came out around about the craze for the zombie stuff, right? The zombie era of media. And that was like Walking Dead was huge. Um, they should be yeah. watching. Were, could, would they be watching Paul W. S. Anderson's Resident Evil series? I think the first yeah. one was out by then, right? Yeah. I think so. <laughs> that was the dog's vision of stupid woman. Come back. You fool! They said to stay indoors. If the dog doesn't want to go home, you know something's up. Oh, she gonna no joke. go inspect a bit. You can add that in. Why not? A little unsettling. Well, that's really open. unsettling. The door open like that. Yeah. There. I'm half expecting like grandma's just staring at the wall in one of these rooms or something. Yeah, it's something weird. That empty wheelchair has been in two shots pretty deliberately right now. Did she be taking, getting a cell phone and calling dad? I feel like this thing? would be enough to call him. Yeah. She was asleep when he left, so she should be panicking a bit. Yeah. It is 2003 though, she might on. actually... Did she have a phone? Oh boy. Close the door anyway. Oh, okay. Yeah, I definitely would have been closing doors myself. Why would you drop that? Why would you drop that? You fool! It just saved your life! Keep it! You killed her. Is he worried about the blood on it? Or? Gotta go. Says, Listen to me. It's not just the Adlers. But we're gonna be brave, and we're gonna get out of this. Hey, let's go, come on! You lock your doors now! Come on, come on, get in! You just killed Granny Adler! Oh, you're dead, buddy. You take Daddy. We don't know. They're saying it's a virus, some kind of parasite. It's it from terrorists? We don't know. That'd be a fair question, the, the, the 2003. Of, yeah. of course not. Yep. How do you know we're not sick? They're saying it's mostly people in the city. I went into the city. We have to go a lot. Right? We're fine, trust me. Listen, lady. We'll just have to wing it. Hopefully we're okay, all right? Whether we got it or not, we got to go. Oh, they, this is what I mean. It's like, yeah, there are a lot of bits that hit in one. Just so like, just keep driving, Tommy. Stop! Hey, keep driving. Please, please, please. Yeah. That's important for Joel's character. Yeah, it is. Come along. Someone else will come along. By the way, just this is already so much more work for him to do than in Mandalorian. Yeah, Absolutely. It's because Joel Cause he didn't was do a shit in Mandalorian. Mando is nobody. They're riding a little low. They're very low. Oh, this is bad. Everyone and their mother had the same damn idea. The sequence looking from the back seat. Well, it's, it's just like in the game. Turn here, turn here. No, 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 no. Come on, people, move. What are they running from? Get us out of here. I'm trying. Yeah. Even I remember that. Yeah, in this pot. I can't drive through them. Are you serious? Just keep going. Uh oh. Head of the river, I'll find a way. Wait, what? Get her out of here, Joe. Go. Surely you can go around, right? You can just go around, yeah. Yeah, you can just go around. Is it like so close to the wall he can't get over? That is incredibly inconvenient. Eh, I feel like you could. Yeah, I feel like you could get. You could. We're in the games. They in the game. Yeah, you can crawl over. If you're this desperate, you would absolutely jump over the the trunk of the police car. You just crawl over. Oh jeez. Close doors. Close the door. Close the door. Oh, I guess it was really close. Still, because right now you don't even know if these things are smart enough to follow you through doors. I'm sorry, Pete. Hey, no one told you to move. Yes, sir. We're not sick. 
Sir, we are not sick! Please stop. Yeah, it's amazing that he didn't kill you. Yeah. It's actually fucking miraculous that you are not dead. You're okay. You're okay. Move your hand, baby. Move your hand. Oh. I know, baby. I know, I know, I know, I know. I know it hurts. No, no, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Tommy, help me! Joe. Come on, get up. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. That's about everything I would have expected them to do. Uh, yeah. I would not have expected them to deviate from that. They, well, I mean... Really? And tell the same story. It's instrumental. This is after Godzilla. I was going to say it was Boston in King of the Monsters, wasn't it? Yeah, I think so. Got nuked, and then they totally pretended that didn't happen. We don't want you falling out of the chair. What's your name? How did you get this? What if I told you that after we gave you some medicine, we're gonna find you your favorite food to eat? Would you like that? It's just a little needle. You're safe. I think they cut to a harsh fire after her saying that on purpose. So did Joel say in this he was 30-something? All the 20-year gap? Uh, well, because in the game, he's about 50. So it's probably, yeah, about matches. Or like 55, something like that. Hmm. He's fairly old. No surprise here. Yep. He was infected! Yeah, because uh, it showed red on the little detector thing, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. This isn't in the game. Jim, we're going to be meeting Tess pretty soon. Yeah. I'm actually curious what we are going to see in total the first in, episode. What, like this episode? Yeah, because yeah. hour and a half. Damn. My guess would be that That's we're going to get basically season. Joel and Ellie meeting. Um, and, and then like episode two, I imagine, is them leaving Boston. I reckon That's the thing. season ends with the end of the game. I think so. That would be, which I guess is I, interesting. That seems like a safe like, bet. How long can you keep it going? I suppose is the interesting question. Because yeah, we've got the, uh, there, the whole... we got two games, you know. So, well, and there's yeah. um, there's a lot of things that happen in the game that you can extend. That's true. Well, it's it's part of kind of I guess what's going to be interesting as an adaptation is like I imagine that we're going to get a lot of things extended. Man, that's, you execute them, there's nothing else we can do? I guess leaving quarantine zones is a huge no It no. is. Well, yeah, because if you leave but, and then sneak back in, then you could destroy everything. Yeah, if you snuck out and sneak back but in. Like, yeah. yeah. I wonder if the first punishment should be exile. Well, then you uh, just... Well, yeah, I think I if you maybe. knew that, then... They might come back in, right? If they well, snuck if they, back that's in That's what once, I'm saying, first again. punishment. If they are exiled yeah. and they come back, then maybe death is suitable. I guess suitable. the thing is, is that maybe they don't want to take any chances. I guess so. Ah, world. world. Sorry, I, I didn't just, expect you to count. I could imagine they could be upset here and there because of uh, family members making mistakes, you know. Bartering. Bring it back. Uh, it's pronounced bataring. Bartaring. Bartaring. Like tartar sauce. Hi. From Atlanta. I don't know where he gets them from. I just know they're real. Supposedly only makes two things. Pills and bullets. So the more you shoot people, the harder it is to sleep, I guess. <sighs> oh, you guess. I need to bag back. That's, I, I like that as a touch. Like, that even plastic need the bags. Bag back. Like, yeah, I, I would like that back. Four of them on that. Stay off the streets for the next few nights. Fucking fireflies been blowing shit up all week. Guys are jumpy and tired. What was he getting for that? Was it, um... Uh, he got food credits, I think? Because remember, that was in the game, right? Like, the food yeah. stamps? Or tokens, tickets, something like that. It's not like I planned on ripping you off. How about we just let it go? Guys fucked you up. Yeah, so discipline them. What about your guy? I give you my word that he won't hurt you. I'll tell him that I got jumped by some guys. He's saying everything I, she should say. He on. wants to survive yep. this encounter. Yep. Yeah. Jesus Christ. 
Cool, what? <laughs> Man, lucky that wasn't you. Also, don't breathe that. This would be the fireflies, right? Must be, yeah. Which is incredibly coincidental. He's gonna let her go anyway, yeah. I guess. That sounds like it. Wait, all of them are like knocked out except her? Okay. Oh, wow, that's lucky. I don't even know where the other guy went. I was gonna say the main dude, I guess I he ran off. Robert ran off, right? Maybe, yeah. or he's in the corner? Or well, because remember, the, the exciting thing was that Robert stole their guns. Uh, yeah. sold them to the Fireflies. You know a change like how long Tess will be in this story? That's something that really, to me, depends on how you handle it. It's not like an outright wrong to me. It's gonna be dependent on what they do. I'm not a Fireflies! Count slowly and clearly from one to ten. One, two, three, four. Slowly and clearly. One. Fuck. You. State your name, slowly. Veronica. Same as yesterday. Let me out or you're gonna pay, motherfuckers! Ellie in The Last of Us 1 is just so gosh darn likable. Nothing? Is there any chance it's coming in at night? You're sleeping, you miss it? When I'm sleeping, Gabriella listens, or my son, the smart one, not the other one, God bless him. <laughs> if Tommy responded, we'd know. It hasn't been that long. It's been three weeks. It's never taken him more than a day to respond. Show me where that tower is. J Joel, it's in Wyoming. There are worse things than infected out there. They're Californians. Are they're but you're sure, Tom. Probably listen to his explanation. I was, I was actually about Next. to say, dude, you want... He's gonna have the best information out of anybody, right? Yeah. You're gonna... You let him talk and explain in thorough detail where he thinks you need to be That going. little circle he's made on the map, that is incredibly important, down to the last little scratch. Because you might say, sure. it's probably here, but if not, you might want to check over here where they're, you know... Yeah, Wyoming's a fucking long way. I guess he's trying to figure out what route he's taking. God. Gonna be a fun trip. Right. Dulls the pain. I've got jumped by a couple guys. You're lying. Come on, you know these guys born after the outbreak? Never learned how to argue, they start swinging. I need the battery, Tess. So it's no good without one, and if I don't get to Tommy soon, he's gonna die out there. Okay, fuck it. We get our money back and the battery. All this Understand? for such a mundane item. No, I promised Robert that you wouldn't hurt him. Ain't no mundane items in this world. To hurt him. That's the idea. So let's go hunt that motherfucker down. It's weird, because I just had to, I had to replace my car battery uh, about a week or, about a week ago. Just walked in, bought one, walked out with it. Simple as. But now it's like worth... Potentially killing over having a working car battery or imagine a charger or a McDonald's Happy Meal Or a McDonald's Happy Meal. That's true girl or boy toy doesn't fucking matter. Marlene We've already lost four people and we're What's the point of this one of them? Now see I don't think I'd be My putting the logo up on the wall and why do you have Yeah um, girl locked in room? <laughs> And the guys you have guarding her won't tell me shit but... tell them to follow fucking orders You two go to Southeast three now That'll quell the uh, inquisitiveness. Are the fireflies being fed or anywhere? Rebellion takes time. You fight for 20 years and you get nowhere. You're not a rebellion. You just spray paint. Why do we spray paint? Why paint? do we do that? I can understand putting it in here, here, random places here, as a form of here, like, we're here. Yeah. We're, we're moving things. And, but in your actual I HQ. We're quitting? No. We're taking that random girl locked in that room west. That'd be the cure, yeah? Keep it quiet. I wonder if we're going to get much like PR because in the game what like the fireflies get yeah basically wiped out moving west and would that's make added. sense to retcon just how much we got to learn about them if we're going to be going with the last uh, two storyline uh, also they've changed the stuff with tommy because there was no like big urgent thing with tommy it was just no go find him he fireflies he can help you out and even it's such a tough sell you, you want us to the idea that you really want to make like endear us to joel and everything and then try and make it to the end he was wrong in his decision i don't know what they're gonna do i'm very yeah, curious I don't know either if you're feeling lost you tell me to look for the light and i'll break your jaw is that how the fireflies it. recruit oh. i tell you to seek the shadow well, i mean it cost us a couple of cards but uh we got him I'm not sure why they didn't just have it like because with the big explosion and everything it's like it was just before, it was just Tess comes back, she's injured, let's go get Robert. Hmm. So, Veronica. How you feeling? The same. A little bit down. Where are you gonna go? 
Back to Federal Military School? They put me there when I was a baby. It's for orphans. I did. Ellie. You're my fucking mom or something? I look like your mom. I'm the leader of the Fireflies in the Boston QZ. Why would a terrorist dump me with Fedra? Terrorist? Was Riley a terrorist? Ba -ba -ba -ba. I was gonna say, we're running out of time to do our uh, assumed action set piece for the Robert stuff, right? Ah, uh, well, yeah. I guess this would be it, right? Hey, look, they're like getting down, taking off the backpack like in the video game. I think they based that uh, in the video game off real life, though. You know Very what? true. Real life, bringing life. real life did happen before <laughs> video games. Real life, if you remember. Before. I know it's true. Yeah. Sometimes I wonder, Rex. Sometimes it is, I wonder. It, it is disgusting how real life, real life is just copied by video games. Oh, that's the one. I think they'll go for the stealthy approach. Oh, oh. Oh, shit. oh my god, it's Annihilation. Yeah. I remember that movie. He wasn't down here last time. Did we be Did breathing? After it? Ah, well. I don't do the spores, spores anymore. It's not the spores show. in this show. Oh. Because that would cover up actors' faces. This will, I, I, you could argue that would be a reason this, it makes things less complicated for them storytelling-wise, I guess. Does it, though? Yeah, there's less to worry about. I just I don't know that that's a reason to stop doing it. I don't know. The spores was kind of an interesting thing to have. Structure. Yeah, it's interesting. Well, like, there will be consequences, obviously. Down. Like There has to be. You smell that? Asbestos? Gunpowder. Uh-oh. Ooh. That's Robert, right? Is it? I was trying to spot the face. The battery's no good. Oh. He still tried to sell it. I say we're really deviating from the game. Really, we're not in a wider context, but we are with how closely they were doing it before. Well, yeah, because this is totally different. Oh, well, yeah, because she got shot, yeah. Marlene? The war must be going pretty shitty for you to be buying from scumbags like him. Yeah, it kind of has been. The merch was bad. <laughs> She's standing there with a bullet hole. <laughs> like, yeah. it's not been great. Don't. Not at her. Can you just not be a barbarian, please? Oh, yeah. I mean, I'd want my knife back, but yeah, it's probably not worth I mean, pushing like, it right now. It's there, it's there. Like, yeah, I'll get it later, you know? It's our business to know things. To know things. You're the cause of it. You turn my own brother against me. Okay, Joel. I wonder if we're, we're gonna get any flashbacks of, like, Joel and Tommy, because like Tommy is not, he was not happy about those experiences that he had. Yeah. I'm not going with them. Let me take her. We don't smuggle people. Sorry. I can do it. Kim, you don't have a fucking ear on your fucking head, could you please? Oh, I, I really didn't. Be, I didn't. I really didn't know she meant literally. I thought she was saying yeah. that like you're an idiot. And I know what you're both capable of. What are you giving them? What are they capable of? You get her there safely, and they'll give you what you need. Not just a battery. The whole thing. Fueled up truck, guns, supplies, all of it. Um. I swear. Yeah. Sorry. That's a lot of stuff. Is it really worth the I price? Swear. Because they could just go on a resource adventure themselves, right? Uh, they could. I but I guess so. There's they still a lot to... of stuff out there. What I'm saying is, like, if you I, go and deliver her and come back, we'll get you a truck and guns and some supplies and stuff. And it's like, we could probably get that across, like, during delivering her. Probably. Well, because the original thing was Robert sold them the guns. And so it's like, well, I bought the guns for her in Square. So, you know, like. Yeah. I would have played more into the fact that it's obvious that this girl is fucked if you don't do this. But before we hand her over, they give us everything that we want. If not, we kill her there and then. Deal. Really? That fast? Don't fuck this up. Please. That's that's me to this show, by the way. Yeah. Yeah, same here. Cause it just there have been a few instances where the deviation is like, oh, that's like neutral, and then there are parts where it's good, and then there are parts where it's like, hmm, seems like a worse choice. That that just made you more suspicious, obviously. Uh, yeah, that made yeah, you more suspicious, say. idiot. Because <laughs> remember, nobody here knows who you are, or that. There's like, no re yeah, about nobody's you. looking for you. You're just a girl. Yeah, nobody's you're just a random LA. person. Give us a minute, all right? I'm guessing that all that because, uh, well, so I guess we should wait until. Can she just open the door if she wanted? She can hear them too. <laughs> Who's Bill Cast as? Who's Cast? Uh, as it's as? Nick Offerman. I think that could work out. Let's hope. Uh, that could be really cool. Yeah. If this is important and she just randomly stumbled over it and it's annoying so when that happens. Yeah. Oh come on! You knew she heard all that, right? Radio is a smuggling code, right? 60s song. They don't have anything new. 70s. They got new stuff. 
lot of this dialogue is one-to-one. -one. What are you doing? Killing time. Well, what am I supposed to do? I'm sure you'll figure that out. What's the deal with you anyway? You some kind of big wig's daughter or something? Something like that. Oh, the radio came on when you were sleeping. It kept saying, like, like wake me up before you go-go. Oh, shit. 80s means trouble. Code broken. Listen, it could be something specific. We don't know. Time to go. Wonder if it actually would have been a good idea to go at night in that case. Yes. Because there's a curfew because of the Firefly stuff, so they went at night instead of during the day while there's like... A Remember how the guy said earlier? They'd be jumpy. They'll be... I guess he if they've got don't. this passageway... Don't go out at but... night because of the yeah. Fireflies. Yeah. Yeah. It makes me think. It, I, it could be fun for a conversation, right? Like, what makes more sense? Because, of course, you have the cover of Darkness, but you also have they're on high alert, so... Yeah. It depends on where the... Um... High alert in the day anyway, right? They'll be all over the place. Potentially, and yeah. It depends on where you're going yeah. specifically and where the ins and outs got, are. You got no good choices, really. Because <laughs> once you're uh, outside yeah. the wall, darkness is almost certainly best. Yes. Uh, we, yeah, of course. Of course, now it becomes clear, like, the reason they showed us those people getting hanged is that raises the stakes for this. Bianca, you'd want to be really sparing with that helicopter. Yeah. Fuel for that the, must be the precious. Fuel, fuel, yeah, that's the yeah. thing. Fuel for helicopters, precious. Being able to go... Like, a helicopter is one of the most valuable things you could possibly have. Oh, mm -hmm. I mean, right after a big firefly attack, you know. I suppose that's the angle, yeah. But still? Still, though. Like, are you just, like, looking if, randomly yeah, if, with a with a light to see you're literally see using it just to fly over and use a spotlight, that is a huge waste of something so very valuable. Oh, hey, guys. Oh, is he peeing? Oh, it's not the friend, is it? Uh, uh, man, uh, I was wondering if they were gonna have this be the ending. Actually, get on your knee. Listen, you let us do this run, we'll split the cards with you. Oh, will you? Yeah. Really, man? Yep. The game is by the book. Out of your fucking mind. We can fix this. Move. Oh, you didn't need to show it. I got it. Yeah, I got it. Yeah. He pulls that trigger once and a gunshot happens. And he would totally have pulled. Absolutely. That this was also is... an interesting reaction from her there, that first one. That one's fine, though. Damn, don't, like, hurt your hand. You'll need that. No, no! No, I'm not sick! No! I'm not sick! No! I'm not sick! No! Look, look! This is three weeks old. Nobody lasts more than a day. We gotta move, Joel! They're gonna take the gun, Why take the gun. Why didn't they have part of the conversation where, like, they thought that Marlene set them up? They thought that they were, like, getting put in a shit situation. They would be thinking that, surely, right? There'd be so much... I mean, maybe we're gonna get it. Next episode, maybe? Uh, we have episode, to have a yeah. Come to Jesus meeting, yeah. Yeah, at the lots beginning of, of next stuff episode. to be talked about. Surely that's the end. What else we got? Man, I would grab more if I could off that guy. So, if right he after he left, he got a radio message then. From Tommy, I guess, or to signify After something three about. Weeks. Well, that sounds ideas. Oh, there's the buildings. Uh, them. Well then. Hmm. Well, that wasn't bad at all. I would say it I achieves the rank solid. of good. I would say it's yeah. good. It's just that there are some minor things where it's like just minor little like hmm. Yeah, uh, need some mm. tweaks. Um, yeah, to... but, it's, but that's the thing. It's tweaks. Like, the core's really strong, which it should be, right? Like, you're, you're uh, Yeah, I'd agree. I think this is uh, definitely good. What'd you bring me? Hello, and welcome once again to The Last of Us television show. Uh, it's up to episode two now. Oh, no. The Cordyceps zombies have made a civilization. Oh, my God. Is this... Uh, this okay, is the so this could right? be either it's before right or after the uh, no, this apocalypse, is this as far is as we know. It's two days before the outbreak. Oh my god. It originates in Jakarta? Or maybe it's, I believe in just... the game it originates in, uh, it, it was like Indonesia or South America? I can't quite remember, because it was food. So is it like a simultaneous all of food on Earth, or how does it work? I think it was food from a particular location that got spread out to a bunch of different places. I, I'm not. I, I don't quite remember what it was from the game. It wasn't detected was like fast that. enough to stop. Yes. Yes. Something like that.
Indonesia, Indonesia. That fungi, man. It'll get you. Mm. Apologize about your lunch. You know what? It's fine. Should have taken it I to go. I didn't think we were going to get any more uh, pre-apocalypse stuff. Yeah, I'm actually surprised they're doing this. Professor Mycology, Universitas Indonesia. Kita memiliki orang yang tepat. You are expert in cordyceps, yes? No, no, no. I, I'm a, no. We have terrible mistakes. Gynecology, not my college. Ew. If I have to deal with fungus, things have gone horribly wrong. <laughs> I know me some mushrooms. It's gonna be like they show her a sample. She's like, oh, we're fucked. Yeah, don't tell her the answers. Yeah, quit women explaining to her. Tapi kenapa menggunakan klorasol untuk mempersiapkan slide? Kami gunakan sebagai persiapan pengambilan sampel dari tubuh manusia, Bu Ratna. Uh oh. There is a fungus on this. tidak bisa bertahan pada manusia. Oh, I, I guess this is a nice companion piece for the first episode's opening scene, isn't it? So if that happens, we lose. Yeah, yeah just I wouldn't mind getting, getting more of these. It yeah, would be I like a lot of good setups. So. I'd be curious if we get one of these per episode of the world falling apart. Cool. I can kind of see that as a pattern now. Yeah. That could be neat. And maybe you keep changing country as well. And maybe we get to see different people. Maybe we see what happened with Bill, you know? Also, if you feel sick, please leave. It's like, oh, great. Thanks. Do oh, my. you see what I see? What is the age rate for this show? I can't remember how uh, how violent they've been as well. Violent hasn't been... Hasn't been really violent. How you doing there, people? Oh, no. So who done did the biting? Did you dug a bite? I thought you said your dog did not bite. That is not my dog. Did your dog bite? Gross. It's been shot in the forehead, so it's dead as fuck, right? Oh, I didn't know if that was what that is exactly. It's the implication then that this thing attacked soldiers, maybe, and they shot it. I'll be my guess. In the head, yeah. Ugh. Ooh, yum, spaghetti. Oh, careful. Don't breathe that. This is an ugly room. Looks like a room gold member might have. Oh, turtle. Look at him. He's killed. Ini terjadinya, Pak. Kurang lebih 30 jam yang lalu, Bu. Pabrik tepun dan gabah di barat kota. Flower and grain. Uh-oh. Lalu bagaimana dengan orang yang digigitnya? Dibawa untuk diobservasi. Telah menjadi keharusan sesuai dengan prosedur mereka harus tetap dieksekusi. Oh, yeah. Kapan itu, Pak? Kami tidak tahu, Ibu. Si berkeliaran di luar sana. But yeah, I guess it considers we don't have a patient zero. Yeah. Oh, it's a bit late for that. Oh, shit. Just bomb the whole place? Yeah, what a mushroom's gonna do against the power of nukes? Jeez, like, she's just basically like, we lost, game over, like the first clip says. So was the only transmission being bit? Well, I think well, it's, it, the, the, I she, think the implication the, on that the scene is that like it's already spread in the food now, because she would have been yeah. working with it. Because that was uh, how it spread around the world, was food. But yeah, the, the question is, of course, how did she get it? It's like, presumably a bite, and where did who bit her? It's like, don't even know. We can't even trace yeah. how they may have gotten it, whoever bit her. Because obviously there would have been a jump. An evolution, or maybe even through species, but I'm assuming the point the show's making is we can't even trace that. Yeah. You guys ever see Contagion? Yes. No. That film, um, you know, is dealing with the pandemic, the process of it. I think it became really popular when COVID shot off, actually. Like, again, numbers rose yeah, for watching right. it. But I think I that film ends amazing. with uh, showing how it all started, and it's like a bat eating um, something somewhere, and then like a pig eating something somewhere. Like, it's just, it's just you know, unfortunate circumstances of cross this, that, and the other. Back to modern times. It's a flutter by. Maybe this is a dream. Oh, you have shitty dreams. Yes, if you live in a world of mushroom people running around, you dream about mushroom people? Maybe. Mushroom places. This is the episode Neil Druckmann directed. Oh my. Oh. <laughs> Morning. Oh yeah, I guess they'd have issues with it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Do I look like I'm infected? Show us your arm. I'm surprised they let her go to sleep, to be honest. Yeah, it's not getting any worse, is it? She locked me up and had her guys test me every day to see if I was getting sick. Test you how? I have to pee. Oh, for a second there, I thought she meant the test involved peeing. Steady, yeah. but I think what really impressed them was the fact that I didn't turn into a fucking monster. 
Well, infection's a little more complicated than that, love. <laughs> like... Yeah, you could be carrying yeah. it right now. Yep. There's not gonna be anything bad in here? Just you. Oh, funny. Okay. Maybe a hairline. It'll heal fast. She made it through the fucking night. Job. It doesn't matter. It's gonna happen sooner or later. We sneak her back into the QZ, we find a different way to get the battery. This is our best shot. I'm gonna scan her, and they'll kill her. Well, better them than us. You need to stop talking about this kid like she's got some kind of life in front of her. Yeah, it's kind of complicated exactly what they would talk about. This is super unprecedented for them, and nobody's guiding them on this. Nope. It's, it's just like, yeah, is she that's just... gonna die? I don't know. Why are you so important to Marlene? Don't lie to me. Or we'll take you back. Take me back, you don't get your battery. You heard that? Then you must have heard that he wants to shoot you. I ain't I'm denying it. Feel like you're an adult, okay? They're working on a cure. Mm -hmm. We've heard this a million times. Vaccines, miracle cures. None of it works, ever. Fuck you, man. I didn't ask for this. You and me both. We need to go back. Uh, that framing felt very deliberate, didn't it? Yeah. She I think that was actually pretty good. I like that. that she is. Like teetering right now on a decision, isn't it? Yeah. The thing is, she is the probably the best and clearest way to get what they want right now. She's so much as twitches. Well, it's what it's what Tess said, but it was, but I mean, you know, Tess is. You know what I mean? Like, is is that really why she's interested in doing it, or is there? If, if they're going the same route they did with the character in the okay. game, then you can already start to read into why she's actually nudging them in favor of this choice. And yeah, and I fly, we uh, got a lot camp, more time. Hospital, doctors, you know? maybe zebra saving yeah. doctors, I don't know. <laughs> Can I have a gun? Absolutely no. not. Okay, Jesus, fine. I'll just throw a fucking sandwich at them. No, get a bottle or a brick. Well, I mean, she'll be probably getting that gun eventually. Not that one, but a gun. You thinking about trying to do years of war with this sort of thing with the how chunky those guys are? <laughs> chunky boys. <laughs> and put them in chunky armor. We can't fit through the door. <laughs> Make a whole new world of bigger, chunkier doors. The chunk plague. Everyone became so, chunky. How did those sorts of things happen? They bombed this area. Right. Okay. They all, all the get moving. infected pushed it over. They got on the side. <laughs> <laughs> pushed it over. Yeah. I don't like civilization. I'm also just noticing as well that all of the cars are like looking appropriate for the era. It was something I was thinking about because I think I saw like a Mastercard logo on the door, and I was wondering like, are we? Are we going to be seeing only brands, you know, up to 2003? Man, if they, still exist, but, you know, like, if you they know I mean? simply bombed loads of major cities to slow it down, that's how you know we've basically lost. Yeah, essentially. But I mean, it's easy to see how it got out of control because so many people got sick so quickly. Yeah, and I find it more believable than a lot of newer I find of zombie stories. Much more I really yeah. like the setup. The backdrop looks really good. Oh, yeah. And I mean, just the fact that even though everything fell apart, you've still got your quarantine zones around the place, and then you've got different organizations with their own little settlements. Yeah, and over time, factions, rather. they can build up, but simultaneously they'll just start hurting each other. Well, yeah, five flies at war with the government. How did you get bit? You know the old mall in the QZ? The one that's sealed off. I wonder if we'll get that no scene as well, going. probably. I, I would imagine we'll get a whole episode on Whatever, that. Whatever, I snuck in. Wanted to see what it was like. DLC episode for the show. I didn't think there was going to be anything in yeah. there. Yeah. One just came at me out of nowhere. I wonder if she's going to mention uh, so it was just you and Riley. Then, yeah, because Riley has been mentioned in episode one. And you were safe there until you decided to sneak out. A terrorist? Was Riley a terrorist? So it was just you in there alone? Yeah. Ah. Nope. She's oh, keeping that to herself. Yeah. 14. Mommy, you got some balls on you, sister. Thanks. If only Tommy could go over trucks. Everyone said the open city was crazy. Swarms of infected running around everywhere. How people like to tell stories. So there aren't super infected that explode fungus spores on you? Shit, I hope not. Oh. <laughs> well, like I, I guess they're going to encounter blood or at some point. I thought the spores were just a non-element in this. Even if they were a non-element, I could easily imagine. Oh. What was that? Man, TV shows, they just have them chongous budgets now, don't they? Oh, yeah. Well, and you know, when they pitched this, they were like, we can make you a lot of money with this one, okay? Yeah. Here's our one, proof. Exactly. Look at the game. And then they'll be like, what's all this about Last of Us 2? Like, shut up. Oh, look, little buckies. 
How cute. They used real ones, not CG ones. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, piano. Yeah. Frog and a piano. Look at him go. <laughs> this side, I like it. I like I like the practical sets. They're cool. Yes. There was a I real really frog like and a piano. As well. They built real sets with tons of sets. They bought a details. frog. They it would have taken ages to make this thing. Think of the people who got involved. Well, because this show was shot over the course of, I think, a year. It had a long... Long production. Yeah, I don't know how to swim. True, Seriously. that is a thing. Do you think we have poison? Yep. <laughs> I don't know how I'm supposed to know that. Because yeah. that's how buildings work. I, I guess looking at it, you might have thought it was deeper. I don't know, but yeah, that'll be that'll be relevant another time, I imagine. Ding, ding. Motherfucker, what are you doing? Yes, sir, I would like your finest sweet, please. You're a weird kid. You're a weird kid. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> The bellhop is not going to get a good tip. <laughs> He's scaring the customers. He's scaring the customers. <laughs> also, they have to push their own luggage. <laughs> I do yeah. like that his knuckles are still bruised there. Oh, yeah, they they uh, made a good note of that at the beginning of the episode. Well, yeah. well, and even he hurt himself doing it, if which he, is nice. If... When a, a story acknowledges that I'm... punching somebody in the face over and over again is probably going to hurt your hand. I think Rag specifically said, don't do that, you'll hurt your hand. <laughs> like... <laughs> Man, if I was them and I came across a hotel like that, I'd be opening up the luggage because a lot of people they yeah. bring toothpaste, toothbrush, all things like that inside of their bags. It's kind of, I mean, the passing through of different areas makes me think like, has anyone looted these places? Because man, you know, it could be gold mines waiting to happen. That's what I'm thinking. All that stuff that you can't really get anymore. I mean, if the games stuff, ran in the that would go with the show. Yes, a lot of these areas have been pillaged by moving groups of like raiders and. Bandits. So finding a locked door is like, hey, people haven't been in here. Maybe. But you die and you get nothing. You stay. Here's the thing. If you were me, I'd be happy to have these three for several episodes. Mm -hmm. I'd be fine with that. It's a bit of a mess, so I'm gonna need a few minutes. Gosh, it's like a bomb went off in here. <laughs> Terrible wallpaper. Look at it. Nice knife. Where'd you learn to do that? The circus. Where are you from? The circus. See? Texas. I could be a mass hall too. <laughs> what about Tess? Detroit. It's in Michigan. I go to school, I know where Detroit is. Uh, that, to be fair, <laughs> like, do you go to we school? Don't know what... You don't go to school right now. To, like, uh... Pass. How long do infected live? Oh, I thought you went to school. It's a really shitty one. Some last about a month or two. But there's others, been walking around about 20 years. I killed lots of them. Is it hard? Like, knowing they were people once? Sometimes. What now? It was very video gamey as well, by the way. Like, this door is stuck. Yeah. You have to lift your NPC character over there to go and open it up <laughs> while yeah. having some dialogue. Truly in, like, a city, it can't be that hard to get where you need to go, right? Well, with all the roads, sidewalks, buildings meant for human traversal. It does seem like they've opted go into a building when I wouldn't have thought they would want to do that until oh. they reach the building they want. Unless they try to scope it out to see if they can, you know, get a vantage point. Yeah, like that. Oh dear, right, that's a lot of infected. Yeah. I'm not sure what they're doing either. I guess maybe they're sleeping. The last chilling. Is it the sun that's fucking with them there? The fungus also grows underground. You step on a patch of cordyceps in one place and you can wake a dozen infected from somewhere else. That's the new now mechanic, they apparently. You are, now they come. Uh -oh. Okay. You gotta watch where you're walking. Now, uh, I have heard, by the way, that you you were correct in the assumption that the reason they got rid of the spores, at least mainly from what I'm seeing, is they wanted less gas masks. Oh. More emoting. Okay, right. Bringy loves that. Sure. I'm the one who likes gas masks too. No, so Bringy <laughs> was talking about he doesn't want people's faces covered up in media. I, the thing is, is that like this to me is because they've replaced it with something else as a mechanic. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, like, this is like, the ground no, up. We haven't. See how they, we didn't arbitrarily see how throw they this on it. in season two or something. This is this yeah, is from the start. Right, ex exactly. And like this is just an alternate explanation that gives them that rather than let's take the helmet that protects me from like concussive damage yeah. in, a, in a battle because I need to have my face shown because I'm a famous actor. Why don't you take the fire escape ladder on the side of the building, if there is one? Yeah, it's like, is this the way they have to go? Uh, there are obviously invisible walls in the TV world as well. Oh no, that's not okay. good. That's what really got everyone. If you come up against anything, you get behind us and you stay there, okay? 
Yes. I have a spare hand. Congratulations. You don't trust you with guns. I think it's more for the uh the torch, right? I oh, no, she's, she's got one. Got, yeah. Okay, so, yeah, so it is the gun then. Obviously, we'll be getting a payoff eventually with her getting a gun. It's gonna be yes. fun. But yeah, this place would be... Was it a museum in the game? Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. You encounter them in the buildings, though, right? At night, before you get here in the game? Like in the skyscrapers, yeah. I think? Um, yeah, yeah. Because I don't take a break. They just go straight there. Well, because the show itself isn't going to be as long as the game, is it? Well, it's kind of it's kind of complicated, right? Because the show may be longer in other ways. Like, yeah. it will have more strict cutscenes. Or more strict, like, you know, scenes than the game does. Looks fresh. What the fuck yeah. did that? Zambi? Maybe he was a the doors. I don't hear anything. Who would you hear? You definitely needed to explain this to her. Uh, she hasn't encountered a clicker before. Why aren't they telling her about the clickers? And they should have told her that before they went in the building. Well, I thought when jo when Joel was talking about, you know, a month versus a year, right? Because clickers were about a year, and then bloaters is like, they've been infected from the beginning, more or less. And those ones in The Last of Us 2, like the hyper flesh pile things. The Rat King, yeah. <laughs> And then there's other versions, because it's like the Stalker as well, which is like partway between Clicker and Runner. I'm curious if they'll do the thing like in the game where the Runners are sometimes standing there crying as they're twitching. The Last of Us offers you plenty of horror opportunities. Oh yeah, this is a terrifying place to be. What's interesting as well is that you probably want to be equipped for creating noises uh, at a distance. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. yeah, picking up rocks or something like that. You'd want to have an well, egg timer mean, handy. Right? Like video games do. You always have like a little rock to throw, especially. Well, wow, because runners are complicated. They can still see you. It's the clickers. Which, by the way, what a great idea. They can't see, so they use echolocation to find you. Look at this set. It's taking yeah. ages to make this like, thing. Jesus, look at this. And it's going to be gone after this episode, probably, right? This whole set. Probably, yeah. Nice. Remember what they said. Step on a thing and... Mm. I don't know how she accidentally stood on a whole ass hand. You got one okay, job, okay, no, honey? Watch where you're going. Yeah. Yeah. Don't st- Really creepy, right? Because it's kind of like Alien, where all the environment mm. is like a, a particular way, but then you can sometimes spot, it's like, oh, that's a person. Yeah. Wow. <sighs> yep, that's about on cue. If you have bigger already, you want to throw something across the other side of the room. <laughs> yeah, I suppose they can be kind of easy to lose, to an extent. Mm. Oof, loading, that's dangerous. Wow, it'll be like in that trailer for the game, right? When he loaded it and that was the thing that revealed his position. I wonder if they that, can um, do that again. You can throw your shells Yeah, you should have, you should have thrown those if well, at least one of them's yeah, empty. Yeah, they throw. make a nice, they, they make a nice tinkling noise. Oh, show. Zoo would write it on Yeah, you're doing the thing. You're doing it. <laughs> Gotta be right there. Yeah. You don't even consider throwing the torch at this point. Anything to distract it. One shot to the head, right? Uh, from the back, but from the front, the, the fungus is kind of like a protective thing. Dang, does it stop a bullet? Or at least dampen its effects. That's what it did in the games, yeah. Like, yeah, in the games, it, that's almost got mechanical head. value, right? Like, if you get them uh, behind. Yes, of course. Yeah. And of course, you can't take them in melee in the game unless you have a. Oh yeah, they just like insta kill you, right? I do love how like terrifying they made them here. How the fuck is it still alive? They shot it so many times. Plus, kind of how they work. They don't have like a human's health. No, they're stronger. I just made an encounter with two of them, like, absolutely terrifying, intense. Difficult. 
even though they're hardened survivors, like, still, even 20 years in, encountering, like, two clickers yeah. is terrifying. I shit my pants. You fucking kidding me? I mean, if it was gonna happen to one of us. I assume it is you need to be bitten, not just scratched, or, uh... You gotta be bitten. Just wait there. Give us a minute. There's probably more ahead. So we'll deal with it then. This bite didn't take. But what about the sick? I'd like you just take the good news. Can you do that? Make to think for once, maybe we can actually win. I was keeping an eye on her facial reaction when she said if it was going to be one of us. Yeah, she's already been bitten. Is it everything you hoped for? Was oh, that everything you hoped for? Jury's still out. Jury's still out. Man, one to one. But man, you can't deny that for you. Come on, let's get there before it's dark. Yeah, if they keep this up, it's like, man, this would have cost a shit ton, wouldn't it? Ah, uh, yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if it was, like, nine-figure budget. But hey, it's already one of the most successful shows, like, on HBO ever, so... A lot of people, like, I've seen the sentiment, like, I've seen The Walking Dead, why would I care? It's like, Walking Dead is shit. Uh, yeah, Walking Dead is lame. The the show, anyway, the comic was pretty cool. Like, they're bringing back, uh, Rick and, um, Michonne for, like, another <laughs> season. Like, another series. Let it die. <laughs> no, AMC won't let it go. It's, like, their most successful thing. And it wasn't, Even like, more so than Breaking Bad. They found every way to make it cheaper as well, didn't they? Uh, <laughs> yeah. It's so interesting how money translates, because... You'd be like, is it worth putting all the money in to make all these sets for this show? And it's like, well, it's gonna make people remember this show. I'm not kidding. Well, it was the, the thing, right? Like, The Walking Dead was the biggest show on, on AMC ever, and the second season got a reduced budget per episode. It's like, seems odd. Mm-hmm. The interesting about The Walking oh. Dead is that that's a show my parents used to watch, and then my mom mm. said, we stopped watching it when characters started acting fucking stupid for no Weird. reason when yeah. they should know better dude everybody and i'm like man if like that. normies yeah like my parents are Everybody's super mega normies yeah. yeah yeah and i think it's the reason why you have if it continues at this rate like this show will be pretty strong and i'm pretty sure everybody will agree with that sentiment if it keeps up they're, they're doing mean, a good job i don't mean this in a denigrate way but they're copying someone else's very good homework so that's true but they've done a lot of things that are neat well, the, what translation. I'm, I, I, the reason I bring that up is that they've got like a safety blanket almost, or safety net, I should True. say. Like the, the, well, I mean, the almost Walking a skill Dead floor. had the safety blanket, right? Of the, didn't the they not really series? adapt it that accurately at they all? They didn't. They, they deviated um, pretty significantly. So we're trying to meet up with the Fireflies right now, right? Yes. But, the Deliver yeah. the Girl. Oh, shit. oh dear. Um, S seems a little more agitated than you'd expect. Yeah. Seems like it's about more than just a car battery. I mean, there's got to be a, a fucking radio or something, right? Ammunition. You'll need that. One of them got bit. The healthy ones fought the sick ones. Everyone lost. Tess. He says that like that's happened before. A lot. It's over. We are going home. This is not my fucking home. Our luck had to run out sooner or later. She's infected. This is real. Josh is fucking real. I need you to get her to Bill and Frank's. Yeah. I never ask you for anything, not to feel the way I felt, yeah. not to you shut the fuck up because I don't have time. You get her there. You keep her alive. And you set everything right, please. Oh, fuck! And a little bit more of them. There you go, the mechanic pays off. Kind of like a one of us has just been destroyed. Destroy whatever did that sort of thing. How many? All of them. What are you doing? Making sure that they don't follow you. Man, this is a bit more of a uh, massive, like, blaze of glory for her than uh, in the game. Ah. Oh, take some it. of those. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, like, guys, we got ammunition boxes. I will say, boxes. you grenades. are correct, but this is. Joel is not going to be uh, rational right now. Yeah. No. We're not her. Get off me, you fucker! 
Oh, I would just I would just get a grenade. To be honest they with you. Start taking grenades, pulling pins, throwing, pulling pins, throwing. Are these clickers, they're not hearing it. Oh, well, she's already infected, right? So maybe they don't care. Oh, well, like it was said, right? Even if you're infected, it'll kill you. They'll, they'll fuck you up. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. go yeah we've got episode two i think that was good yeah i think I so too episode. good da, old hobo da, 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 da. oh that's a different one oh hmm. it's kind of like the no pre-credits yeah. scene evidently nah we're moving on we're moving past that they've evolved that old, past that that old cultural monolith this is a new era look at all this grossness spreading it's kind of like cheese whiz and you never want that growing everywhere. And equally gross. Children eat cheese whiz and they think it's amazing. It just shows that children are retarded. Maybe it really tastes good when it's uh, with with a um, ice cream. Or ice cream. <laughs> a nice cheese whiz on the ice cream. You want oh, yeah. some chocolate syrup or some, you know, the, anything like that? Like, nah, I'll just have the cheese whiz. Just get a big old swirly of it on, a big old spiral on the top, yellow and white. And that's what this intro evokes. Oh, it's Prey. It took that rock a million years to get to shore, Charlie Brown. Now you've thrown it back. Now he's making art oh, no, out he of didn't it. Throw it back. He is making art. Wow. Not bad, Better honestly. Joel is an artist, yeah. He found some good stones to stack up. Ellie's like, Joel, come on, are you still fucking around with those rocks? Yeah, that took him like three go. days of balancing. <laughs> yeah. We Finally. think he's a great artist, but he's a really bad artist. The power of editing. You want your jacket back? Oh, let's lemon spread. I don't want your sorry. I wasn't going to say I'm sorry. Nobody made you a test take me. You needed a truck battery or whatever, and you made a choice. So don't blame me for something that isn't my fault. It's a bit of a subversion, right? Because the typical conversation is, like, I'm sorry for what happened, and the person says it's not your fault. Her being like, please don't blame me for that. They probably went to, like, a real forest to do that. Uh, this is you a, know what? This is a green I screen. They, <laughs> it's getting, they, they're getting really, really good with him. Black Widow, the forest. Oh, the God, forest. the fucking fake forest. Disney didn't have yeah. the... They, they didn't spring for going into the woods. But they had to green Wow, well, the thing is, it's more expensive to shoot outside because you have to pay attention to, like, your sunlight and, you know, weather conditions. It must be so There's annoying to know that, like, they can't just get away with it. They just can't. Yeah, like, it's Disney. <laughs> like, just go outside and fucking turn the camera on. What if it's rainy? The, the scene's rainy. It was all shot in Canada, so as a Canadian, you're welcome. Someone shot well, Canada's got them nice pine tree forests and everything. <laughs> yeah. You get it? Canada and also land. not no, no cap on their two. tax credit in Alberta. Someone shot at me and missed. I missed too. It happens more often than you think. Because you suck at shooting or like in general? In general. Shooting guns is fucking hard, bitch. Well, I think that's that's kinda neat, right? He's trying to say like most people miss most of the time. Vast majority you know, so of the shots will be misses. I, was thinking I, should no. I do wonder about that. I, I guess it is just a matter of character wise, he just doesn't would you say doesn't trust her, or just sees it as a bad move to give her a gun? Because you probably want... Bad move to give her a gun. You, you probably want your only other companion to have the capacity to save your life. Uh, in this situ situation, I don't know if I'd give her a gun either. Like, someone who's not familiar with firearms, I feel like they'd just be more of a danger to me. Especially if we're walking around the interiors and dark places, and we're jumpy and agitated. I don't want this person who's not used to guns having a gun. Well, yeah, not before you've had an opportunity to actually, you, you know, can't really, teach you how to use one. You can't really like teach a... someone very well because you don't have ammo to spare, right? Oh, also, the too. element of, like, it's a handgun. They're really, really difficult to shoot accurately without practice. It would be safer to give her the fucking assault rifle, probably. Blow okay, the so barrel. He just, just said, the barrel. you can go look around because 
this place has been cleared out, like there's nothing here. I hope she doesn't fucking find something. And you telling me that's something he missed, or...? He hasn't even been back there yet. No, this is a place he's been before. You forgot where you put your stuff. No. I'm gonna take a look around, see if there's anything good. Trust me, it's all been picked over already. Oh, it is? Yeah, oh. yeah this is a place he's been many times. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's he's currently sometimes. getting his stash that he keeps here, and he, he said you can go look around, because... This place has been run over so many times that there's nothing to find. I don't believe for a second that he wouldn't have found this, so I hope there's nothing new down here. Are you gonna jump down there without a way to get back up? Without even I telling guess, Joel? Without <laughs> telling Joel? Oh gee, I, like I hope you don't no fucking- spooky music yet. I hope there's no spooky, sudden monster down here too. Well, that'll do it, I guess. That'll help. I like how it just holds on the eerie ambience of this, like the stillness of it. Yeah, rather than hitting you over the head with, like, a musical track to get you freaked out. Yeah, like, bong. We're in the dark now, oh shit. Yeah. yeah. In the dark of the night, people will find her. Ooh, there is an infected, damn it. Of course there could be. Well, so, that's like a double whammy of annoying. Joel being like, you can go wander off because I've been here before and there's nothing here. It's like, that doesn't mean there isn't something here now. Yeah, the, yeah. the mobile nature of life is such that <laughs> maybe something has arrived since your last meeting. And to be honest with you, I wouldn't be surprised if at this point he was hyper protective of her for the sake of Tess. As in, yeah. like, it is my job now to make sure you make it no matter what. Well, that guy's, uh, he's ready Not for doing a, very well. He's ready for studying. He's, he's, he's like, this is Ambonio. Oh, it's such a like Woman. gross disease, fungal flea. Yeah, pretty terrifying. Did we each find secret tunnels? Oh, looks like he's found his stash. Kind of interesting. It's following the knife. Yeah. Well, I'm guessing it's something they might be trying to sort of establish here, right? Is like be white. there's an element of humanity left in a uh, certain infected. You like the lady yeah, in the second one. Yeah, that's real gross. Jeez. Damn. Well, it's probably for the best. Because it was something that was a neat touch in the games. Is that the runners sometimes when they're standing there, you can hear them crying because it's like they're still they're still sort of aware of what's happening. Oof. Oh really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like they're still aware as and they're slowly losing control until obviously once you start to get to clickers, they're like non human anymore. Like, yeah, Dying Light did like... that in a really creepy way too, where some of the ones who are like the more fresh zombies that are really quicker and they can climb, they they say some things. They're zombies, but you could hear like actually like, a little bit of words coming out of them and stuff. It's like, oh, that's mm. like, ugh, that's uh, scary. I don't know if this comes across as nitpicking, but come on, you're not gonna tell him what you found? You literally found an infected over there in your safe stash place, just saying. You know? It feels like they're doing the whole, like, she handled all of that on her own and didn't even mention it. One thing that would be good is to maybe, like, put that in a plastic bag or something and roll it up. Keep the moisture off of it. Also, it'd be oh nice God, to know how much ammo he actually had, because that would factor into whether or not I think it's a good decision to leave that. Behind. Or to just bring the magazine, or just the bullets, or... Dude, you got to go up in the sky. Yeah, well, so did they. Statistically, though, safest way to travel. Yeah, safer than trains. Fuck trains, am I right, guys? I mean, how did it even start? Cordyceps mutated. Some of it got into the food supply. Probably a basic ingredient, like flour, sugar, bread, cereal, pancake mix. Cheese whiz. You eat enough of it, it'll get you infected. Day goes on. They start to get sick. And, and that's the thing, too, right? They won't realize that the food's the reason yeah, that's done it, so they'll keep eating the food for at least a little bit longer. Yeah, and uh, depending on, like, well, the, the specifics of the virus or the, the fungus itself, it, you know, who knows what the incubation is or... Yeah. Whatever it was, I think it's gone. There's definitely a dynamic difference of um, their early on relationship in the game. I think he is much colder to her. Let me use that. I'm a pretty good shot with that thing. How about we just leave this kind of stuff to me? Well, we could both be armed. Cover each other. I don't think so. I need you to shut up. All right? Uh, yeah. I think some people think of him as more of a pushover in the show as a result of that, when 
you know, it's easy to interpret. He's just less cold. I mean, there's a scene to come up that if I've seen in the trailers room. where he refers to her as cargo. If there wasn't. But I think he's just saying that in the moment, probably, because he's mad at her or something. He's definitely, like, warming up to her already. Sick. I killed him. Dead people can't be infected. All right, so let's all kill ourselves. Well, so apparently that logic is if there's uh, QZs are full when they have people to come in that they can't take care of, do they let them, I guess, run off or do they kill them? Seems a little evil to fucking kill them. Yeah, like if you just, yeah. if you're in the quarantine zone anyway, then why not just let the people outside of it stay outside it? of it? Yeah, especially if they're rural areas. I suppose is that like they want us to believe that they just consider a like if a group of humans they're just too fucking risky to let live because they'll turn into zombies and come back. But I don't know. I know I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't know about that. Like, what is the military r worried it's about not running even, out of bullets? It's not even just that the military decided that that would be something they would do. You have to believe that all of the people would enact that. All the soldiers. Which I don't honestly. I just don't believe that. Well then, that looks like a bill. It looks like a man with a beard of the darkness. Yeah, because it feels weird that you have maybe like a locked off, almost locked off suburb sort of thing with a bunch of people just living their lives and then the government comes in, collects you up and quote unquote takes you to a QZ but then just executes all of you so that they can reduce the overall numbers of the Cordyceps zombies. It's like, really? That seems like a really mm -hmm. strange way of doing that. Do you not slowly open the door and peer out? Do you, do you just burst open out the front door and then start looking around don't you i don't know i feel like if they were just here uh i wouldn't just i just wouldn't go outside that day especially if you've got cameras just stay safe yeah for a while. i'd just be hanging out finally i can go boating <laughs> <laughs> what the hell Ooh, he's he's splurging he's getting supreme why not in it I feel like everybody the would The home de pot. That's French for the toilet. Who is home -y? I was fast. That Home Depot is a gold mine. I mean, it's... Wires, outlets, plugs, lumber that's already pre-cut, measured. Yeah. Ooh, gold mine. All the tools, the last of lifetime. Well, the fact that he already had a, um, a hidden underground thing going on it's like he's he's like the kind of guy that a person who just like a prepper yeah prepper yeah so yeah he he would know better than most probably how much of uh he's got to be able to use he's probably just been dreaming of the day the kind of person who believes that the apocalypse is always just around the corner yeah and in this case it, it was <laughs> come. Yep. and the, if anything he's uh this is his element <laughs> all right Chicken. So yeah, it's worth mentioning, I guess, that what, what's interesting about this episode is that, um, as far as I'm aware, we're not getting any more Joel and Ellie now. It's all going to be about this guy. Well, and this marks, like, the first sort of, I guess, major deviation is that we we meet Bill uh, just during Joel and Ellie's main adventure. We never got to see the whole story of Bill. Yeah. And, and, then, and then his relationship with Frank. And obviously we saw what the end of that looked like, but we didn't get to see it play out so yeah obviously you're referring to the game um yeah because this is already different but you can see what pieces they've pulled or at least how they've come yeah. to make this as a story well i mean we already knew bill was like hyper prepped his whole town was filled with traps and everything yeah which is obviously reflected already here yeah oh hmm it doesn't get old What's interesting now, and making me think, is like, is, have we almost done a flip of the convention of the first two episodes, being that we have an opening scene to provide some context about another part of the world that relates to the progress of the infection fungal thing, and then we get Joel and Ellie slash the main story. This time, we had an opening scene with them, and the rest of the episode is going to be big old... Uh, Bill. Yeah, you know, like what, something that's not them. Story. Just it's almost yeah. like a flip. Yeah, I guess it keeps you on your toes. You never know what to expect in an episode, even if you played the game. Well, it's TV, in it? Because yeah. it ain't a game, so we do different things here. Of course. That's another thing, is we don't have to make gameplay segments. Well, it just means you can have these long stretches of no combat. It is one of the challenges I... of telling a story in a game when you have a bunch of combat. 
I remember in the game being really fascinated with Bill and Frank's relationship and wanting to know a bit more about it beyond just the letter that was left. So I'm, I'm yeah, glad that the show is doing this. Like it feels like an opportunity bit. if done well. Are you armed? No. Why did you take that long to answer? I thought about lying for some reason, but the reason didn't come. I was actually thinking about that. Yeah, like, I, I are you armed? It's like, if I say... No, maybe they won't think of me as a potential, yeah. like, I can handle ten. myself sort of thing. I'm alone. From where? Baltimore QZ? It's gone. Are you hurt? Yeah, I fell in a just, hole. Just a bruise. What do you think of the likelihood of getting out of that hole yourself? Uh, 100%. You can With dig, enough like, time, yeah. yeah. <laughs> dig little it is notches dirt. in there. Yeah. We're gonna deep rock galactic our way out of this ditch. <laughs> yeah. No, no, dig up, stupid. How are you gonna get out of here? We'll dig our way out! No, no, dig up, stupid! <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's got a little infection tracker, good. How'd you get that? Found it. None of your goddamn business. He was just laying there, on the ground. On that guy I killed. <laughs> God, it'd be so fucking hard to trust anybody in this environment, you know? Yeah. Boston is that way. You can make it by nightfall. I'm really hungry. I'm letting you go, so go. All right. Look, my yeah. name's Frank. Oh, yeah? yeah? Here's the thing, Frank. Then every bum you talk to about it is going to show up here looking for a free lunch. And this is not an Arby's. Well, Arby's didn't have free lunch. It was a restaurant. You don't have free lunch at Arby's. That's true. I won't talk about it to any bums or hobos or vagabonds, I promise. I've only got so much cheese whiz. I can't feed everybody. <laughs> I'll spare it. It's like a silo of cheese whiz. <laughs> that old classic, isn't it? You feel pretty safe probably getting rid of this guy. But then you also feel pretty bad if he's just a guy. I'm gonna go ahead and bet that Bill's not super social. Or at least he wasn't. No one named one Bill is social. Living on his own for like four years. I left some clothes here for you. Which is enough to make anybody who isn't social sort of... Especially in the midst of a post-apocalypse too. Yeah, like, how long can you last entertaining yourself off of, like, because he's, he's secured himself real well, sure. but you'll eventually finish sure. all of your tasks, you know? Thank you. Yeah. And then you'll be like, now what? Amazing. See? It's about someone else is enjoying stuff. I mean, I'm trying to think of other stories that have done this, but like, yeah, just enjoying something is one thing, but enjoying it with other people is, is a whole other thing. Somebody out of dust. No one touches my dust. <laughs> it's taken me years to cultivate that fine <laughs> dust. You put your fingers all over it. <laughs> this would be probably mind blowing if you've been living in the apocalypse for like years. What the fuck? Everything tastes good when you're starving. Yeah, but not like this. <laughs> Yeah, but that's like a meal. Yeah, but yeah, it's been four years. I remember what food tastes like. A man who knows to pair rabbit with a bow. It would actually be enough to make you I forget know, briefly that the, the world has ended and there's zombies yeah, outside. This is like so unexpectedly awesome. I always keep a gun on in case the rabbits get, you know, jumpy. But rabbits jump all the time, right? Thank you. You're welcome. What year so was this? I did they say? Two thousand seven. Well, this is four years later, so yeah. Because I'm just trying to figure out the ages right now. Like they would, however old they are now, we got another. But first, twenty years. Well, they're sixteen years from here. Uh, wow. You know how much these are worth? Currently, nothing. <sighs> <laughs> these aren't yours. My mother's. Could uh, you uh, not? This is you. <laughs> Imagine you took your job so seriously, like, you'll be playing piano, like, one episode of one TV show that you'll be a part of, and it's like, I must learn how to do it myself. <laughs> like, oh, well, that's not really necessary. It's like, no, I must. So, no, Might just be that fundamentally it's like, no, don't do this. You gotta make me like you, and then I'm gonna have you stay, and I don't want- I don't want that. <laughs> I wanna be on my own. Oh, you definitely get a big old sense that he's like closed off, but simultaneously show he's he's taking a lot of actions to show that he clearly wants to do stuff with someone. Yeah. 
might call it multi-dimensional. Sounds like good advice. I like this. Like neither one of them want to leave or want the other person to leave, but they they don't want to weird the other person out. Yeah. Yeah, it's all super awkward, but a lot of also subtext. desperate. And look, it's music that's uh, being able to bind them. I mean, that feels deliberate, right? Like it's food, drink, and music. Like it's all just experiences. Right. I always like it when Nick Offman shows up in anything. Find him fun, which is well, funny. Well, I think because... when everybody found out that he was going to be playing Bill, that was really exciting. It was just like, that seems perfect. We liked him so in Fargo. Who's, who's the girl? Girl you're singing about. There is no girl. You like it when your beard touches another beard? <laughs> he doesn't even know his name, that's true. Bill. Oh, funny, right? Bill and Frank. Bill and yeah. Frank are, yeah, I like this. They go, we need names. Who are they going to be? I don't know. Frank, Bill. Go take a Bob shot. and Joe. <laughs> well, hey, it's been a while for both of them, I suppose. Well, it's, uh, it's official. Pianos are gay. What would be the straight instrument? Guitar? Accordions, <laughs> actually. Electric guitar. <laughs> I don't have sex for lunches. Have sex for brunches. Not even great ones. Not even great ones. If I do this, I'm gonna stay for a few more days. Wait, isn't that just the same thing? That but makes you more, more of. <laughs> yeah, that, that actually makes you seem like more of a whore. You're a frugal whore. Yeah, it sounds like you're not. You're just negotiating, honestly. Yeah, I thought he was going to go the direction of, like, this means something to me, as opposed to, I'm bartering for more than just a meal here, okay? <laughs> like, I'm getting a couple days. I think he also knows that Bill probably doesn't want him to go either. Oh, God, the no no zone. Oh. Well, it's interesting, right? Because Bill comes across quite hey, strong and antisocial, but in an environment like that, he's fucking ever? super vulnerable. Right. Why, why we, this is for us. Who cares what they look like? I do. Oh, we're getting our racist. Our home isn't just <laughs> our house. <laughs> you live in a psycho bunker where 9-11 was an inside job and, and the government are all Nazis. The government are all Nazis! Well, yeah, now, but not then. <laughs> not then. <laughs> <laughs> I am asking for some paint and some gasoline for the lawnmower, that's all. I'll do everything else myself. Oh, he wants to, like, make the place look nice, I guess. Management? Okay, okay. Just tell me why. Paying attention to things. It's how we show love. And I'm fixing up some of the shops. Whoa, Not the whoa. stupid ones, just the, the wine shop and the furniture store. Wait, what are the stupid ones? And the clothing boutique. Anything that isn't a wine shop or a furniture the store. Boutique. Or a clothing boutique. <laughs> Are we hosting the memory a store from garden from the memory store. We're going to make friends. And we will invite them to visit. There are no friends to be had. Well, I've actually been talking to a nice woman on the radio. What? You what? <laughs> yeah, that, well, that's a good reaction. Really is just, it's amazing. Right? Mm -hmm. Can you oh my god. <laughs> he just got his pistol. Hey. Oh, you're a paranoid schizophrenic too? I'm not schizophrenic. Uh -huh. But I am paranoid. It's a very nice dovetailing of the plot lines. Mm. I like this. Well, can I how nice this is to have a civilized meal in such a, a beautiful place? It's been so long. I mean, I just uh, I want to thank you, even if we don't end up working together. He's got his gun on the table. Yeah. <laughs> We are together. I think I haven't had a meal of this uh, caliber and such. I mean, a fine meal uh, in such <laughs> a long time. Uh, Frank! Uh, Ellie asked about Frank and Bill. I think Joel said Frank is nice. So, yeah. I he clicks the hammer back now that it's just <laughs> <my> him, <laughs> too. Again, yeah. I wouldn't be happy either. But of all the people you could have found on the radio, we're actually decent people just trying to get by. Uh huh. What a oh. coincidence. <laughs> Well, aren't I the lucky one? Books, medicine, machine parts. We can help each other and get that gun out of my face. Prepper or something? Survivalist. We're self-sufficient here. I don't need you or your friend complicating our lives. That fence has got a year on it, tops. Galvanized wire already started to corrode. I can get you 10 spools of high tensile... Yeah, neat, right, because it's not only that he's been living in the post-apocalypse, but that Joel is, uh... 
He was like a contractor for buildings and stuff. Yep. Wow. Yeah, he'll know about materials and stuff. Oh yeah. yeah. Right. It's just the reality of well, stories like just, this, um, where working together will get you results you wouldn't even well, expect. Yeah, I think it's pretty clear that that's what we're going for here, right? Is like Bill's notion of self-sufficiency is, is kind of like not real. There are certain things that he doesn't know, and there are certain things that he can't do for himself, yeah. and there are certain needs that can't be fulfilled in the absence of other people. No matter how, but then yeah, you, you might have like to it. cooperate with other people, as independent but, as you think you are, you know. But that just invariably exposes him to new dangers. Of course, yeah. it does. Because like, yeah, maybe Joel and Tess yeah. really. You know, maybe Joel and Tess are nice, but what about the next well, people? The thing is, and Joel just said, like, you know, warning, there will be raiders eventually. I would almost be able to interpret that as a threat. Yeah, that's almost like maybe, what I yeah. think, but maybe but it depends on the conversation like and their dynamic, like, but... It's just that you can't you know, know, isn't it? Because it's like, if Joel asks you to cooperate the nice way, and if you don't, he might yeah. bring back his friends someday. But then there's just mm. the... It gets to the illusion of safety that he has here that's, you know, it's like... Yeah. Yeah, well... <laughs> How'd you get those cars like that? Maybe they found they a... They lifted them. <laughs> Must have had a crane or something. <laughs> just them up. I think both of their oh. beards have changed color. Joel and Tess when you're gone. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. We're getting gone. older. Strawberries! See, you wouldn't have this unless you were nice to Joel. Oh, I don't take the 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 leaves off. I use them as a little handle. <laughs> Sometimes too. I go back and forth. I eat the leaves. They're good for you. Calcium. I am very thankful. I know. I'm sorry. I'm allergic to strawberries. I should have told you. Getting older faster than you. Older means we're still here. I was never afraid before. Because he had nothing to lose. That's a cool line. Yeah, that is a good line. Though I guess it's particularly uh, sad if you know where this ends. Well, and you kissed me in the strawberry patch. Strawberries. I mean, how can you not as well start to link this? What do you think the point of all this is? To rip it away from him. Well, I mean, the point broadly would be like, yeah, that's kind of the trade-off, isn't it? For these, like, really... Uh-oh, what's about to happen here? Oh, we got raiders. What I was going to say is that what do you think Ellie represents in Joel's life, right? It's a it's a reason someone he cares about so much. Because it seems like what we're gunning for with Bill was that he was surviving, but he wasn't oh, living. Wow. Oh, Jeez. Gee. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he was surviving, but he wasn't getting much out of life. He was simply existing, if anything. Yeah, now that's why he's everything's different now, because this is yeah. actually great for him. Well, but... Now he has something that he can lose. I sure do hope nothing bad happens to anybody. I just feel like that's going to be what we're supposed to incorporate into thinking about Joel and Ellie. Is... Oh, sure. Which is what I yeah. think a lot of side characters are supposed to do, right? And y'all don't keep a well, rifle in the bedroom? Different, yeah. No, don't go outside. Now they can see you. I don't even know if Bill's given this guy, like, proper instruction of what to do and where to go. Oh, there's Bill. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking hell, he's still there. <laughs> just getting flamethrowered. Oh, he should wow, be in Bill, cover, dude. You, alive? you gotta. Wow, you're just uh... like standing out in the open. You wouldn't have thought, like a doomsday prepper type, he'd be yeah. like in a, in a bird's nest sort of thing, wouldn't he? Not just yeah, standing out like, there like doesn't that. Doesn't he have like a bunker? Does he not have a a bulletproof vest at the very least? Yeah, yeah, you'd think. I guess if he went out there in a rush, but still, it feels really weird to just shoot out in the you open like that. Yeah, you're not even gonna shoot from the windows of the um the house and everything. All right, Bill, you got shot because you were standing in the street. You need to work on that next time, buddy. Yeah, that was really dumb, Bill. Break. The fence will kill the rest of them. Okay. If they just wander into the fence, I guess. List for it, Joel. Uh huh. You ain't dead yet. <laughs> that could just be a flash wound. You might be all right. Take care of you. Kind of interesting that he would. In desperate moments, tell him to go to Joel. That must mean that he believes that Joel is the kind of person that would take care of people. Yeah. Okay. Go. Oh, I've definitely gone on now. 2023. Santa? Maybe kind of a young Santa. He looks like Jordan Peterson from that angle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
I'm not fighting about it. Back in I bed. I promise you I'm going to stay up. Why? Because this is my last day. What if we find a doctor? What if, what if someone shows up who can help? Who's coming, Bill? The door-to-door -door MRI salesman? I'm not going to give you the every day was a wonderful gift from God speech. I've had a lot of bad days. I've had bad days with you, too. Just give me one more good day. Then you will crush all of these up, put them in my wine. I will drink it. Uh, I can't. Well, I don't really have commentary for this. It's just sad. Yeah, I'm just uh, I'm just watching. It's very sad. Yeah, I have commentary. That's an ugly shirt. Some, um, obviously, it's realities of stuff of shit like this happens in real life, but uh, this would totally happen in post-apocalyptic places because there's so much less ability to circumvent disease and. Well, just yeah, that he got sick, you know, and there was nothing that could be done about it. What is The Last of Us as a game this point all about, isn't it? Like, it's worth hanging on to what remains of the best of experiences we can have with each other as opposed to desperately clinging to just exist. Um, yeah. yeah. That's what it felt felt like by the time you hit the end of the game, right? Like, Joel is like, yeah, Ellie's worth everything. And I imagine that's what's being reflected here. Oh, and I yeah. see what we're doing here. It's what it, the first meeting between yeah, these two. The same meal first as well. dinner, and this is last, yeah. With the wine. I mean, it's hard to portray like a, a whole, a, what, two decade long relationship in just 40 minutes ish. Yeah. Good zigzag. They get along, they fight. One One's life is in danger, and then it's flipped now. Yeah, it feels like they covered all of the necessary beats to get to this point. You know, all the things that a normal relationship has, you know? <laughs> Are there already pills in the bottle? Enough to kill a horse. I'm old. I'm satisfied. And you were my purpose. Oh, I should be furious. It's incredibly romantic. That is a big deviation from the game. I was watching this episode wondering if they were going to do this. Well, so the thing about it is that felt uh, appropriate considering the story they've been telling. Given all the context that we had, yeah, this does seem like... This seems like something that would happen. Oh. Man, there's a lot of trust giving him the, uh... Yeah. Code. I quite like that that's a sign that something's very wrong. Yep. It's from Bill. Who was this? So they're dead. Mm -hmm. You you wanna take anything you need? The bunker code is the same as the gate code, but in reverse. But still, it's like we're friends, almost. And I respect you. I used to hate the world, and I was happy when everyone died. I saved him. Yeah, there you go. That's why men like you and me are here. We have a job to do. And God help any motherfuckers who stand in our way. I leave you all of my weapons and equipment. Use them to keep... Oh, I'd be tasked when it... Stay here. Yeah, the game is... His portion is all about getting a car in working order, right? Yes, yeah. and it looks just like this car as well. They have to go to the school to get the battery, I think. And then shit tons of infected arrive. And that was the reveal of the bloater as a boss, so I think people might have been disappointed with, like, the no bloater reveal yet. But that's... Oh, again, obviously, 
you know, give it time. <laughs> You'll get your bloater, probably. Uh, listen, about Tess. I'm taking you with me. There's some rules you gotta follow. Rule one, you don't bring up Tess, ever. Matter of fact, we can just keep our histories to ourselves. Rule two, you don't tell anyone about your condition. They see that bite mark, they won't think it through, they'll just shoot you. Rule three, you do what I say when I say it, clear? Yes. Repeat it. What you say goes. Yeah, they got some stocking up to do. This guy was a genius. I guess this is a good stash, right? As opposed to take everything from here. Grab some cans from over there. Nothing dented or swollen. Dude. No. There's a wall of them. Fucking with clocks. Pretty. Shut up. Maybe the odds are pretty high she saves him with the gun. Later yeah, that's and he's like, well, where did you get the that? The payoff, right? They'll do the the one from the game. Yeah. It's your first time. That was kind of funny. Shit, shit. I wonder what it's like to approach a car without any context of it. I guess it would be pretty interesting. Yeah. Is it weird that I think sometimes when I'm driving, like, what if, like, a, in a time machine, like, George Washington or something was in my car and I had to explain yep. to him not to panic on the road because everyone stays in the lines. <laughs> you're just like, ah! you're like, no, you're no, like, no, 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 it's no, fine. No. We, we all stay in the lines. It's great. There's rules. This is Linda Ronstadt. Do you know who Linda Ronstadt is? No, I don't know who Linda Ronstadt is. You know, that is actually before my time. <laughs> that is winter, though. Well, better than nothing. It's better than nothing. That'll be the bedroom window then. Yeah. That was a pretty great episode. Yeah, that was really nice. I really like that. Good. Um, knew exactly what its goal was and it achieved it. Yeah, yeah. it seems like it did. Bill. Well, it's just a great example of like how to tell a very complete story in a single episode of television. To tell a complete story with a theme that was set up and paid off and reinforced and ties into the broader theme of the, uh, what, well, presumably will be the broader theme of the show, if the game is any indication. The fence, the fence will kill the rest of them. What'd you bring me? Welcome to the EFAP show, everybody. Whoa! Thanks, thanks so much for introducing <laughs> us. Da, 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 da. Whoa, number one in the hood. Will we get an opening scene? Ooh. No. No. Okay. No teaser this time. <laughs> I guess they may be done with those then. Mm. That's that's a shame. I was liking them, yeah. Well, yeah, I like the idea. <laughs> that, yeah, it opens up with a before the event happens, or if you sprinkle in how the outbreak happened, like all over the world, like that a similar scene to the first episodes, but maybe a shorter one, and it takes place in Bangladesh or Timbuktu. Well, and a government or... POV, like in America, right? That would be, be cool. Oh yeah, like a soldier's POV. That would be cool. Oh yeah, yeah. A guy who's called up to be like, "Yo, you got to shoot these people," and he's like, "Sure thing." Oh, see, doesn't. I wouldn't be able to resist following the life of a normal soldier in a normal day, and then he gets given orders that are kind of insane sounding, and then he meets some zombies, and imagine a whole episode of that, and you know how it ends? He walks up to, he shoots a zombie, sees two people, like, oh, it's Joel and, uh, yeah, and Sarah. Yeah, yeah, uh, Hey, it would be cool if we made the guy a whole-ass character, okay? And then, <laughs> yeah, and then it turns out he's really shit at shooting things right in front of well, him. Well, see, I was actually going to say maybe we could go as far as giving reason for why he just, he, maybe he's been through three experiences in that day alone of people he tried to trust and were bitten and everything went wrong, you know? Don't play with guns, young lady. One in the chamber. <gasps> Look, Rex. Yay, they did it! They did it! <laughs> yeah, I was wondering if they were actually going <laughs> to remember that. Was that from the game or something? I can't remember. Oh no, it's just that a lot of films and TV shows don't remember that, like, you unlike oh, the right. I was gonna say the game. What you would say there's like it's just from life. It's that we, we cover so yeah. much media where this is the complaint. Guns are often not um guns. 
They always forget about the chamber round, right? Yeah. Yeah. This stuff's almost water. Back in the day, we'd drive 10, 12 hours on one tank. They're addressing how gas breaks down over time, too. Yep. And he's saying yeah. that the, what we're siphoning will only work the last time. Good for you. Good for you, show. Yeah. That's good. That's that's a common complaint we have for shit in post-apocalypse. Look at the technique he's got there as well, where he doesn't have to, you know, cough up, like Otto, cough up all of the, the petrol. Otto, why don't you get some more gas? Here's the credit card. Ooh. And the mint for afterwards. Start the bus, Otto! Start the bus! <laughs> Damn! I shouldn't have eaten the mint first. I should have used the mint first. Yeah. <laughs> How does that work? It's a siphon. It's when liquid travels against gravity because pressure. You don't know. I know it works. <laughs> you just said um, it uses like pressure to counterbalance gravity. That just says you don't know how it works. Like I don't know. That sounds. That is how it works. Yeah, that you, sounds you pretty on point. Of, yeah, you literally, essentially, just like blow it out in a sense. Well, I think she got the sense he was kind of reading off a page in a way, where it's like that's something he remembered reading about it. He doesn't actually understand the. Oh, right, she got the a physics at work there. Okay. This is your fault, then. Okay, we need to lighten the mood. Ready? It doesn't matter how much you push the envelope, it'll still be stationary. It doesn't matter how much you push the envelope, it'll still be stationary. <laughs> Two, like T-O-O. Jesus. Jesus. What did the mermaid wear to her math class? Nothing, because she's a slut. An algae bra. Uh, Aha! Aha! I stayed up all night, no. wondering where the sun went, and then it dawned on me. Feel free to wait in the truck. Uh, okay, but just know, you can't escape Will Livingston. The conflict for him right now, at least it comes across this way to me, is that he will do everything to protect her, but doesn't want to get close to her at all. Yeah, that seems like what's happening. And that's another good beat to add to that, I think. Yeah. It must have been some truck. Yeah, they used to stick big ass plows on them and clear the roads for their tanks and such. I want to see a tank. You will. You probably will. Here, this make you all nostalgic. This is actually before my time. Oh, they've right. done this now. Okay. They're doing it. I thought they'd already sort of used their moment for this, but there you go. Got something else. Oh my God, they Sir. are doing that joke. Sir. Right on the reading, but it has some interesting pictures. Oh, no, no, no. How do you even walk around with that thing? Please get rid of it. Oh, your horses. I want to see what all the fuss is about. Why are all these pages stuck together? Uh. I'm just fucking with you. Bye bye, dude. I'm just fucking with you. Bye bye, dude. You know, I initially thought they would, but uh, in light of our th episode three discussion, I do agree that this doesn't feel quite appropriate now that he's gone and he's not quite the asshole that he was in the game. I think it, it was, um, it's still way better to put it in episode four than three. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah that's they would. A, a bit of a divide in the tone. Oh, yeah. Because this, this is much chiller than episode three. Yeah. Yeah. And she was. I wasn't sure they were going to do that scene. She was obviously joking. There's not actual, like. Right. Well, they look a lot further away from Boston now. They look like mm. they're in the, uh, the plane. No, I meant, sorry, that, that could have been from any point in Bill's life. What I mean. Oh, sure, sure. In the game, they go to Pittsburgh now, but I don't know if the show's no, they, treating it as the same uh, spot. They're skipping Pittsburgh. They're, uh, I think they're going somewhere else. Yes, yeah, it's, it's an interesting thing. This the the adaptation of a game to TV show. Where do you squeeze and where do you extend? Yeah. Yeah. Loves. Well, it depends. Those big old yellow signs with a heart the, on them. Uh, are they going to follow the seasonal sort of structure of the game where you got the summer section, which is pretty long, and then by autumn, that's when they get to Jackson. So I'm still very much appreciative of how much they've nailed the world in this. Oh, yeah. It looks great. Everything, like, looks. Look at this. Look at that. Mm -hmm. And seamless as well, like, use of visual effects. Yeah. That's enough for today. The direction and cinematography of this show overall reminds me a lot of Breaking Bad. You got a lot of like steady, well-composed shots, really nice wide shots. The use of cold opens sometimes, like with yeah, and then they two. they take advantage of times of the very still cameras on moments that are very like yeah. atmospheric or um even oppressive. Yeah. I'm so glad they brought the composer from the games and let him do it for the show as well. Just makes you all the more baffled why they didn't do that with Halo. It's so hard not to compare this to Halo, it really more is. More iconic, yeah. potentially. 
I don't want to ravioli, say that, like, ravioli, give me the curioli. <laughs> it's just great that they didn't forget him. They brought him. That is 20 year old Chef Boyardee ravioli. That guy was good. I actually agree. Get us to Wyoming by next morning. So can we start a fire? I'm freezing. Now why am I going to tell you? Wow, so they've, they've traveled quite a distance then. The smoke. No, fungus isn't that smart. I was actually about to say, I doubt infected would people? understand people, smoke. People, yeah. But people will. They'll have way more in mind than that. Okay. Actually, it smells kind of good. Well, that would be Frank's then. <laughs> Bill stinky. I'm self a rifle. I don't know. I feel like if I was in there, I wouldn't bring a bolt action rifle. I'd bring something semi automatic. Bolt yeah. action requires you to like do the whole like tch, tch, like reload thing instead of just doing pulling the trigger each yeah. time. Is there any it's reason you would pick a bolt action rifle over? Uh, range, right? Like usually no. bolt action. No. Okay. Nah. I mean, They're... like the only time that like that might factor in if you were like a, an actual marksman sharpshooter, but, but uh, virtually all the time all... you're going to be the limit of the gun's accuracy, not the gun itself. Plus, They're less being prone able to, to jamming, aren't they? Potentially, but if the gun's well taken care of, then I I definitely would uh some uh, maybe he else. just wants to do some 360 no scopes like with very the... true <laughs> sweet ass kill cams. Yeah. Can I ask you a serious question? Yeah. Why did the Scarecrow get an award? Why did the Scarecrow get a promotion? All right. Because he was outstanding in his field. That'll do. Because he was outstanding in his field. <laughs> you dick! Did you read this? No. <laughs> Look at that little, really little smile. <laughs> I like that, yeah. This is how to do it. You're doing the I'll thing. Say, yeah. Good job. I'm sleeping in the truck. Will you go do that, Rat? I like the yeah, outside world. Yeah, maybe I will. Wow, they planted a whole tree for this show. There's a few of them. <laughs> There's no way anyone knows we're here, right? No one's gonna find us. No one's gonna find us. Oh, that's just she's worried. Well, it's just she hasn't had encounters with people who don't live in the, the QZ. Yeah, she doesn't have bandity types. I imagine she hasn't yeah, gone whereas, to Yeah, whereas... He is very familiar. He's been yeah. one. He was one. What's that light out there? It's the moon. It's, it's very right. bright. It's very localized. It's like the Aurora Borealis. I uh, love that they've actually like gone out and shot like on locations. Yes. The thing, man, everything's so uh, just just gritty. It's real. It looks like it's there. I could punch it in the face. Yeah. Nothing yeah. looks like CGI. Great Nothing locations. makes me think that it's CGI. Great production design. It smells like burnt shit. Look, coffee does a thing. That's useful. Yeah. <laughs> Odds are he'll be near a settlement. Probably close to another city out there. Ain't too many of them in Wyoming. Cheyenne. 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 Really? Cheyenne. Why isn't he with you? Long story. Is it longer than 25 hours? So he enlists in the army right out of high school. Being in the army didn't make him feel much like a hero. The outbreak happens. He convinces me to join a group, which I did. Mostly to keep an eye on him, keep him alive. That's where we met Tess. And then Tommy meets Marlene. It's kind of listening. You, yeah, uh, uh, you know? <laughs> like, yeah, I just realized I hadn't said anything because I'm actually too. like, I want to listen. No, she talks me to join in the fireflies. Same mistake he made when he was 18. He wants to save the world. Pipe dream. Yeah, fireflies, all of them. Well, and, and, and we just got a huge thing for Joel just does not believe the know, world yeah. can be saved. It's, it's down to individuals now. I mean, you gotta try, right? You haven't seen the world, so you don't know. You keep going for family. That's about it. I'm not family. No. Your cargo. But I made a promise to Tess. Oh, there you go. Why don't you try to get some sleep? Right. I'm not even tired. If you want to grab more sleep. I'm not even tired. <laughs> <laughs> It's a, it's an old, it's an old meme, but it's a good meme. I did like that beat in the game, yeah, I'm glad they kept that. It's a good way to, yeah, get us to a new place. Oh, I wonder, are we gonna do the, the, the encounter that they had in I'm in, really in hoping they do. I really like that encounter, the guy pretending he's hurt. Yeah. <laughs> and Joel, um, Joel, better. We know where this goes, so that's obviously laying groundwork for his decision. 
relating to her. The only thing to hang on to in this world is family, as he just said. Perfectly normal characterization, but it's going to have some consequences the further we go. And yeah, I just, you know, he is no less jaded than um, the Joel in the game. He's just not as, he just doesn't seem as harsh. Yeah, I'd say so. He seems a little bit softer. We can jog right around this tunnel. Oh, I feel they're doing it. They're doing the yeah. I think they're well, doing uh, it. Well, I think it was a quote from Neil Druckmann saying that um, they're only going to change things if they think they can come up with something that's better than what they believe is in the game. Right. But it looks well, like I we mean, might be I heading for a one to one with the game. Well, maybe right. I can imagine that it won't be like remaining episode yeah. will be nothing but action. There'll be conversations. Because the idea here, of course, is that it looked like he was thinking to himself when he saw that blockade, like it was done with purpose and specifically uh, yeah in order yeah. to funnel people into the funnel off people ramp. Here, it's yeah. like what yeah that's what happened in the game as well when they couldn't yeah. get through on the uh on the the freeway and look at that little pile for all the people that may be coming through or it could just be for zombies who knows is that the qz please help put your seatbelt on easy please holy help! shit help are we gonna help him? Put your seatbelt on, Ellie. Well, wh what about the guy? He ain't even hurt. Are we gonna help him? No. Seatbelts, folks. That's what does it. Yep. Maybe you should have just ran that guy over. Well, I, it looked to me like he was trying to avoid giving him a clean shot. Oh yeah, fair enough. You see that hole? You can squeeze through. When I say go, you crawl to that wall and you squeeze through, and you don't come out until I say, okay? Look at me. They're not gonna hit you. You stay down, you stay low, you stay quiet. Mm -hmm. Need to be topping that off. He only got one shot left in there. Are they gonna do the, uh, that payoff now? This is irrelevant to the game. It feels like we're setting up that she's gonna have to do something. Yeah. I was wondering, there were three guys, I think. Yeah, here we go. Expect Joel will let this guy live. Nope, no I certainly way. wouldn't. What's your name? You made your bed. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> you could have it. It's a good night. <laughs> yeah, I believe you. Get back behind the wall. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please. No one has to. That was, well, that was just a great scene. Yeah, that was a great scene. And uh, finally, I can compliment Bella Ramsey's performance. It's the fact that it was missing. I need more vulnerability from him. We're getting it. Yeah. The tearing up behind the wall is really well done. Yeah. Yeah. And just, uh, I really liked Pedro Pascal's stress in that fight when it started up. I get the sense that it yeah. wasn't. It was more so about her than it was about him. But also just again, we're doing the thing where like encounters with a handful of people are like too infected are really stressful. It's, yeah, there's yeah much you get more, the sense uh, of, yeah, like one, you know, one misstep and, you know, things could really go south. 
Oh, exactly. And just what it all like, means. Damn, Joel is. He's familiar with all this, but she's learning all of it. That's right. So, yeah. But, like, hearing I a mean, guy course, begging for his mum. Like, this is what it means, right? To to kill someone. It's well, something it's that she's everything never... he was talking about, right? You haven't seen the world. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, you can feel sympathetic for these people. And maybe they are good people, but look at what just happened. Like, they were going to kill us for nothing. What else do you want me to say? I don't know. The truth? Henry Burrell. I wonder if they're setting up oh, Henry and Sam, that's... yeah. That would be next. I wonder if this is the cell where my brother was beaten to death. Oh, no, you were wronged. But this has gone too far. Now, you mean. Now that you're in the cell. But before, people dying was okay. Ratting on your neighbors to Fedra. They put a gun to my head. Have I satisfied the necessary conditions for you to talk? I delivered you. He's still in the city. And I think that you know that too. You think I won't do it? I'm your doctor. Well, see, I don't know the full context of this, but it's kind of interesting already that he's saying that Henry gave up the locations for her, or at least information on her brother. Now she's asking for information that would lead to the death of that guy, sort of thing. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. the, whoever the doctor is, he's uh, being forced to do the thing that he would have been punished for doing if he had done it. That's, uh, that's Tommy's voice actor. It's not a Fedra vehicle, but they were heavily supplied. Oh, right. Could be Mercs. Yeah, they it brought is. people back. They didn't Henry leave him behind. That's cool. He's got a look to him, hasn't he? Will he live? He does. He does have a look. Will he live? I don't think so. No way. <laughs> what if I had a doctor? No, these are dead. You need a witch doctor, maybe. <laughs> yeah, in the voodoo. Arise, chicken. Chicken, arise. Arise, chicken. Arise. Chicken, arise. <laughs> Looks I, uh... like Joel stabbed that guy right in the heart. Yeah, that's good in terms of just a smart move. Don't don't waste ammo, you know. Yeah, I was gonna point that out and I forgot. Like he was like, you know, here's my knife. And it's like, thank you. I will use this right now. <laughs> yeah. Rip that guy, I guess. But see, oh, this is this is just how it goes, right? Um, you kill because these people are very clearly like they've got issues with Fedra as well as Henry and Sam. They've got like civil shit going on, but they would have had setups. Or any potential threats coming in and they've they've hit the wrong people at the wrong time and now they've lost people and now they are angry at our people you know what yeah. I mean like it all that's how it always unfolds and this is is way better already than anything you usually get and like like how people look at the last of us 2's unraveling <laughs> retcon unraveling of like that conflict between the Abby team and the and the Joel team I think that's the biggest problem if only they knew they were making the last of us 2 when they were making the last of us 1 they could have made it much more yeah. coherent this show does have that benefit, so I wonder if they'll change it. A little bit, maybe. As soon as we don't hear a truck, we move. Are you okay? I'm all right. Are you all right? Yeah. Thing is, is I didn't hear that guy coming. You shouldn't have had to. Have... Well, you're glad I did, right? Well, you're just a kid. It's not like you killed him. Yeah, you really aren't. I mean, it was my fault. You shouldn't have had to. And I'm sorry. It probably speaks so I can fucking help myself with copyright. <laughs> but, like, it's just really good. Yeah, it is really yeah. good. I'm just kind of focusing, looking at the actors' faces and, you know, what they say. It's really impressive. I was thinking that, you know, this before the show came out, everyone was super worried, but... Yeah, I don't know, man. Four episodes... Four for four, I would say. So I don't see how they're going to fuck this up yeah. for the rest of the few you minutes. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. <laughs> and just the... He's so sorry that that part of her innocence yeah, is gone true. now. And now and the, he's immediately yeah, teaching her how to actually... Yeah. It's almost maybe a recognition that well, yeah, she it, it, may as, well have to do this well, again. Yeah. Yeah, as much as it's true that it's reckless to provide someone a gun, she just saved his life with one, so now it's like, uh... He knows well, what I think, it does, I think he knows, yeah. yeah. Just, He's very practical well. about it. It's like, that was the first thing he did when she did save him, was take the gun off her. Yep, yep. Like, alright, give me that. You put it in your pack. Yeah, I Actually, I think this, I think this beat is better done than in the games, where... Ellie shoots the guy and saves Joel, and Joel is like angry, completely no gratitude for the fact that he's obviously just about to get killed and 
had Ellie not done anything, he absolutely would have died. Someone would probably say in defense of that, he's still desperately trying to remain distant and cold with her at that point in the game, or at least it's breaking apart. In this, though, they've got an angle that I really like, which is he feels guilty that she's had to take a life, or the equivalent of doing that. Yeah. yeah. Um, and also, she remember, she didn't put the pistol in her pack, it's in her jacket. I know. Yeah, because he would like it so that she pulls it out in absolute emergencies while she's going to be like, no, I want this on hand, which I wonder if that'll have consequences. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Because, um, again, like, reactions and stuff, when she shot that guy, they made sure to show us for very clearly that she did not enjoy doing that, and she's just been tearing up thinking about it the whole time. Soon after, you know, not understanding exactly what she's getting into with all the bandit types, but yeah. I mean, Joel is fucking consumed by, like, trying to do this job properly. I feel kind of bad for him. Because part of it as well I was just thinking about is, like, the the issue he has is not she's not just the effort of whether or not he gets to like it, but she's also of an age where it's like, does he have a responsibility to raise her? And what I mean by that is, like, any and all interaction, like the, the porn mag, for example, right? You, that's too old for you. Like, well, what do you care? I'm just cargo. I'm a person to be delivered. And right. he, he has, like, this level of responsibility of, like, well, it's inappropriate for people your age. And obviously that'll just keep... Going on and on. That's the, the implication, right? Must be where Henry and Sam. Oh yeah, definitely. I imagine next episode is going to be all about Henry, Sam, and these guys. That'd be my guess. Just dropping us the setup first, and that'll probably be a whole adventure. And then episode six will be when the big thing happens with Henry and Sam. Maybe. Well, maybe end oh, of episode he's... five. I don't know how much time they maybe have. Maybe the end of episode five because they still got to get the Tommy stuff, and then they got to do the the winter section. Yeah, we've got yeah, so the, much stuff to do. These episodes are going by fast. I mean, there's only like eight or nine over overall. There's nine episodes here. Oh! Oh, is this the... Is it the bloater? Is this like a, a fungal growth, or...? Oh, because there was that clip in the trailer where something is rising out of a hole in the ground, right? Right. Yeah, well, maybe that's the bloater. <laughs> I was about to say, is this an emergence hole? Fucking like Gears style? But I don't think... <laughs> 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 I think you're mixing up your franchises. But, uh, yeah... It, Cause wait, I'm trying to remember. Oh, I oh, I wonder. Uh, what are they doing here? She's so obsessed with getting Henry that she's okay. wants to focus their efforts on uh, something that you could just let go compared to this clear and present threat. Oh, okay, yeah. Yep. Well, because uh, and he, he's like, he ain't so sure about that. This yeah. is the thing. I already feel like I understand her mostly. Like she, she's just your oh, yeah. standard leader she's for a by, by vengeance. Well, that and just the fact that, like, you know, she's not strictly evil. She's, she's, um, oh, yeah, she's been sure. led down a lot of these harsher choices. This is the thing. I, I feel like this is the way to go. You have a lot of characters and a lot of other significant antagonists. They're all reflections of Joel. And yeah. then, uh, relationships are always going to be reflections of Joel and Ellie's. And of course, like, any big criticisms you can have of a lot of characters will likely be like, well, Joel did, blah, blah, blah. Joel did. Joel's also like, Which that. I feel yeah, like. Joel's with that. Last of Us 2 was supposed to try and point out, like, the consequences of that reality. I just... I'm trying not to talk about it, but I have to. <laughs> it's, it's stole my investment in this IP, and this is building it back up again. Actually, I think they'll meet Sam and Henry at the end of this episode. That would be my guess. How did you know it was an ambush? I've been on both sides. It was a long time ago we did what we needed to survive. Did you kill innocent people? Come on. Come on. Give me a minute. Get up, you lazy ass. <sighs> lazy ass. 56 years old, you little shit. <laughs> Hi. Good job, dude. I like it. I like it a lot. Hello. This is the kind of things I like to see. What are you doing? Isn't it obvious? I don't want someone sneaking up on us while we're sleeping. Oh. Yeah. I don't know if I'd be sleeping in eyesight of the door, though. Yeah, because... Like around mm. something, or around the corner, or the, the, the back there. Yeah. Maybe behind the couch or something. When we were talking about hurting people, what did you mean it wasn't your first time? I don't want to talk about it. Z doesn't want to talk about it either. I'm just saying, it isn't fair. Your age. So it gets easier when you get older? No, not really. I've noticed you don't hear too well from your right side. Is it because you were shot there? Probably more from shooting. So if you want to keep your hearing, you stick to that knife. Did you know diarrhea is hereditary? What? Yeah. It runs in your genes. <laughs> Jesus. 
<laughs> that is so goddamn stupid. You laugh, motherfucker. I didn't laugh. <laughs> Jesus, I'm losing it. You're losing it big time. <laughs> Another good moment there. Interesting. That's the best one of the four. Got better again. I'm thinking I it agree. is. Yeah. I agree, actually. Yeah, we got a lot of good work for these characters think, in this episode. Yeah, I think that episode really gave us what we needed for these two. Oh, so um, much stuff has been filled in. Uh, I'm very happy yeah. with that. <laughs> Hello, episode five, EFAP, Last of Us. When are they going to make the first of us the prequel? The last of them. <laughs> The first of us, the precursors. Well, not legacy, it'll just be the precursors. I sure do love freedom. Oh, Freedom's, is this? Freedom's great. This, this is, is when they beat Fedra. Yeah. I assume so. Yeah, yeah. Fuck you, Fedra. Man, <laughs> yeah. there's a lot of people here, too. Yeah, there is a lot of people. Yeah, I'd have to imagine this is going to be building up who these bad guys are. Oh, this seems. Maybe this is a bit much, fellas. This is. This is definitely uh, not okay. Oh, come on, guys! Use your words. <laughs> well, uh, I don't know. Maybe Fedra, we're really bad, <laughs> really bad. Oh, so yeah, this will be Henry and Sam. You'll receive a fair trial. Yeah. Nope. Sure if you, you have will. to assure me that that's the thing you're gonna do, <laughs> then I'm like, oh yeah, we're already past me believing. Oh you. Jesus oh, Christ! Geez. Just dragging a dude. Yeah, this is this is encouraging about your free fair trials. It's almost like a Looney Tunes death full of knives like that. <laughs> yeah, the, seriously, this was the way to do it. Start off with these guys, give them a... Gotta get to learn them. Well, especially if this is the only episode we get with them. Well, it's a big if. Who knows? Big blood spears all over the walls. See that? Oh, yeah. yeah. I see Reassuring. Yeah. <laughs> Hurts the ambience. You know, Perry, I used to be so scared of these people. Did it feel good? Betraying your neighbors to Fedra? Watching us hang? So that you could get medicine, alcohol, fucking apples. How does it make you feel now? We could put you on trial. You're all guilty, so that's how that'll go. Where is Henry? You're informers. Inform. Kill them. He's with Edel's team. Well, he was a lot more discreet than you fucking idiots. Where are they? He had a place to hole up in the open city. Ha haven't you heard? Kansas City is free. I swear, I've told you everything I know. Of course you have. You're a rat. I don't think they're ever going to let no. rats, so to speak, ever be uh, non-prison or non-killed. Well, yeah, some... the perception would be that if they've done it before, they can do it again. It's not even just that. It's like a, um, you chose that when we were at our worst, right. so right. at our best, yeah. you don't deserve shit, and you won't get shit. He's not my seventh priority, Perry. Is that what he is to you? No. Right, so this whole time, he's sort of just been like, hmm, about this vendetta. We are not really putting them on trial. When you're done, burn the bodies. It's faster. Oh, that'd be yeah, the body this one means she's exactly what we expected in terms of the way that she conducts herself. He's clean Disarming and ruthless. ruthless. Yeah. And it's simple math to her. You betrayed us, you got us killed, you got us hanged, now you mm. get hanged, sort of thing. Uh, yeah, she's gonna be a vengeance character. And like, you saw what everyone was doing there. Apparently her executing people is not out of the fucking realm of usual. Yeah, they're not acting like this is something that she just came up with that day, or that yeah. moment. It seems they're like, like yeah, Fedra were doing do. it to them for years, and then they did it. Do you see what they were fucking doing it to, like, to be the some rules. of them? Yeah, that's the rules of the game, apparently, is just how everyone's operating. I'm wondering if, uh, is it that Sam is deaf, or that they're using sign language because it means they can communicate without, you know, making a sound. I don't know. Seems like it would be... Oh. Well, I guess we're about to find out. Oh, it's... Oh, is it's he the guy. Is he yeah. Edelstein, then? Must be. Oh, Edelstein grunting, there you go. <laughs> oh, so when we caught up with him, like, he had just been captured, I guess. Yeah. 
Yeah, because this was the room that they found in the episode. I barely made it out as is. So we're fucked on food. Ammunition? Empty. Yeah, so's mine. So we'll sneak our way out. Tunnels? Tunnels? Why go to the trouble? You can kill yourself right here. I think we can make it 11 days. So that's how long we have to figure it out. He's scared because you're scared. I wonder if we're going to get some parallels for these two. We get ourselves established in some little, you know, things they like to do. Well, I remember when they uh, encountered uh, Golan Ellie, he kind of had, he'd like drawn on kind of like the, what were they saying? Super Sam, the superhero kind of Yeah, persona. they were both drawn as superheroes. Makes him brave. Makes him feel, yeah, brave. I wonder how you do italics in sign language. Yeah, I guess. No more food and everything. You gotta leave. Yeah, they were mentioning that they needed to figure out a plan to leave here within um, the 11 days. Yeah, but, um, 11 days, course. assuming that it was the three of them splitting the food. So it's probably been you know, around that. Well, it's been 10 days, they said before, so it must be 11 oh, gotcha. now. So they need to move out to... the food. They I don't, don't know if they have out. an escape plan yet, though. Doesn't seem like, like they do. So I'm guessing... Whatever plan they might have had might have been ruined by them doing all these patrols. Also, the death of... Uh... Edelstein. I like that us spending so much time with these characters right now is helping even out the distribution of screen screen time across all characters. Like the the Bill episode up until now felt like very uh, unique in its its lack of Joel and Ellie, but now we have an, right. another episode like it. You know what I mean? Well, yeah, and I like think getting carried through. Yeah. If this story is kept to the game story, I think this one's going to go over way better with people. Yeah. I think um, one of the benefits that they're having with the show is that because the game has a fixed perspective on Joel and Ellie, because of them being player characters, means that you can't really have scenes like this in, in those games. Yeah. Whereas here, you can have the, uh, you know, just episodes yeah, this... on about Joel and Ellie because it's not a fixed perspective show. If you want to get to brass tacks, technically speaking, this is all unfaithful right now. This isn't in the game. Right, because this but... is a story that we didn't get, but it's a good story. I like well, it and, a lot. And I think people, most people would say that it is faithful so far. Uh, well, well, because I, I think we're yeah, making a distinction and... between like disfaithful and unfaithful in a way, where if it's not contradictory, it's one thing. If you're adding supplemental stuff, it's another. Yeah. Oh, that'll be so Joel. So a question I was going to have was the nature in which they got to Joel and Ellie. Right. And yeah. if it I'm is as simple as they followed them, then good. <laughs> yeah. Because it looks like that might happen. This will be one more yeah. gunshot to here, right? With Ambush. the shotgun when he busts her. Yeah. Yeah. Well, two more shots. Oh, you're right. Yeah. And then a oh, yeah. uh, series of screams. Ah. Or maybe they cut so before. <laughs> Mm, yeah, they probably did. I guess they're thinking we'll follow these guys. These are these are not friends of our enemies, so yeah, enemies of our enemies will hopefully be our friends. Oh, it's Ooh, not a bad idea. Job. Oh, there you go. It's addressed. <laughs> All right, there you go. That's what I mean, guys. You just gotta wait. <laughs> Remember what to do. Yeah. And I think this show, with the quality we've seen so far, certainly did deserve the benefit. I of that. pointing that at me. Yeah, Thank yeah, you. I don't like point that. the gun at me. Like, no, do not point the gun at me. Doing their best to avoid it. Oh, all right. That was here pretty expeditious. Yeah, now we're here. Yeah, that was quick. Eyes on me. Okay. We didn't hurt you, so you don't hurt us. That's right. So we're fucking tall, man. That's just the way he sounds. He has an asshole voice. Joe, tell him he's okay. <laughs> <laughs> he has an asshole Everything voice. Is Everything is great. Dude, dude. <laughs> Everything is great. <laughs> dude. They've really got so little choice, you know? Yeah. Yeah. They can't get these Did two to help them. Did you guys try anything? Yeah? My name's Henry. It's my brother, Sam. I'm the most wanted man in Kansas City. Okay, I pegged him for Although a right father. Now, I guess he's running a close second. Well, yeah, that's about how I'd expect that to go, I suppose. Yeah. He says, thank you. I guess you don't have one, so... This means a lot. I'm Ellie. I'm Joel. You ate. We didn't kill each other. Let's call this a win-win and move on. Let's call it a win-win. <laughs> I all came up here to get a view of the city and plan a way out. And when the sun's up, I'll show you one. 
All right, we got someone you want. Okay. Okay. Let's see All right, it. and Joel is a he's very a capable no, man. Well, yeah, it looks like that's where they're drawn to him as well, right? Yeah, you were right. You would have saw yeah. him shooting. Raped and tortured and murdered people for twenty years. Oh, there you go. You know what happens? Raped, right. tortured, and murdered for twenty years from Fedra. That's why these people are fucking crazy, then. Yeah. I'm a collaborator. I don't work with rats. Yeah, you fucking do. I know the city, and that's how I'm gonna help you get out. You seem capable enough, you're armed. And wrong, and wrong. I never killed anyone. And pointing an unloaded gun at you is the closest I've ever come to being violent. Oh, yeah, that's right. Their guns were empty, remember? Ammunition? Empty. Yeah, so is mine. <laughs> that's right, they are empty, yeah. Doesn't it at all feel like there's just all the blocks that are required are getting built? Like, one by one. Yeah. Like, yep, information <laughs> required here, got it. Information required here, got it. It's been a while since that boy even cracked a smile. <laughs> I haven't heard that in a long time. So how are we getting out? And now you can uh, do some character great. stuff. That's, that's the binding element, these two kids. I haven't heard that in a Get long home. time. Yeah. And Joel's still very... That is the jaded element of him. He's struggling. Yeah. Whenever nice things happen, he's like, nah, nah. Highways. Downtown. Us. They got people posted all around the inside perimeter. If we get close, we get caught. I can't remember what, like, toy or something that's from. I want to say that it's slightly familiar. I, I know that kind of toy, yeah. 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 Which is pretty, pretty clever. I like that. Is it done with magnetism? I can't remember. Yeah, they're magnetic filings that are drawn yeah. to the surface with the pen. Also, um, it's just worth saying, I think the actors for Henry sound pretty good so far. Yes. Yeah. You notice anything strange? About this city. I mean, no infected. No infected. Where are they infected? Oh. Yeah. There's yep. infected. Fedra drove them underground 15 years ago and never let them come back up. The Fedra guy that I worked with told me that it's clean, completely clean. They cleared it out, all of it. When? Like three years ago. Hmm. Okay, maybe there's one. <laughs> Did you see that he like frowned at him, then looked yeah. over yeah. ahead and be like, no, no, no good. <laughs> you ran into a clicker. Two of them. And you're still alive. You're the right people. If well, it's bad down there, we turn if it's around, the best option. Oh, that's your great plan? No, that's my dicey as fuck plan. No, that's the problem. Yeah, you can't stay here. They're going to help us escape. Right? I mean, it feels to me like Joel would find it so much easier to fuck this guy over if it was just him and not this other kid with him. Because it makes it much yeah. difficult to treat this, these people as non-genuine. They probably yeah. are. You need to get out of sight. I think it's this way. Showing that age there, Joel, as well. Yeah, he's tired. Get your gun out. Where she left it. I'm not sure from that expression if he knew and he was just like, yeah, I know you put it in your fucking pocket. I know you didn't listen yeah. to me. She seems pretty happy to be told to pull it out. Yeah. Plan is good. Plan is good. We've been down here two seconds. We don't know anything. That's kind of a pessimist. I'm not my dad. dad. Point your life forward. This is just you and your daughter. We're not leaving We're not leaving I promised someone I'd look after. Be ready to run. Because most of this hasn't been like the game so far. Oh yeah, it's quite different. The thing is, we got the sewer sequence. I guess is that this is what we'll be doing instead. It's similar enough. Yeah. Pretty spoopy down there. No. Hey, you don't want in there, man. Doesn't surprise me at all. I think Joel is generally protective of children. I think a lot of people just naturally would be. Well, I think it's, if someone wanted to say, like, well, there's some people who aren't, it's like, well, Joel, obviously, it makes sense that he would be. He's been a father. Yeah. But yeah, you're right. A lot of people at base are, anyway. I heard about places like this. People went underground after it's Outback a nice Day. Set. Built settlements. What happened to them? Maybe they didn't follow the rules and they all got infected. That's straight out of the game, that uh, picture. No way! I have issues four, five, six, eleven. Ah, so cool. Jor? Survive. Endure. 
survive. Fuck yeah, man. Keep it down. We're not out yet. Oh, come on. Can we just rest here for a while? Wouldn't it be so bad to wait the light out a bit? Safer in shadows when we pop back out on the other side. Makes her the same, sir. Yes! Come on! Hey, Sam. Yeah. Stand with the coat. Oh, okay. <laughs> Come on, where's the back? <laughs> yeah! Did you see that? Let's keep it down, buddy, okay? Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, that makes Not sense. very jaded, though, is he? Yes! What's what I mean? I don't understand. Like, if someone hadn't even played the game, they would be like, "This Joel guy, man, he's like a he's like a downer in every environment." It's like, yes, he yeah. is. That's that's who he is. <laughs> Nothing is ever safe. Nothing is ever easy. Like, look at that. Collaborating to take care of him. I shouldn't have said what I said. It seems kind of cruel to send a whole army after you for that. Sam, he uh, he got sick. There was one drug that worked, and it belonged to Fedra. He was gonna take something big. So I gave him something big. That one green man. The leader of the resistance movement in Kansas City. And Kathleen's brother. Well, that's probably why she's in charge. That yeah. Would, uh, yeah. yeah. And why she oh, has wow. a big bone to pick here. Yeah, and that kind of like, man, oof. And that's why she's ruthless. And that's why everybody yeah. is the way that they are. This guy apparently was fucking great. I am the bad guy because I did a bad guy thing. Man. Almost like you guys should have waited. A little bit. Could you imagine dealing some significant damage on behalf of one person, Joel? Could you do that? It's pretty good as a seed to set up for later on. Yeah. It's just they're just doing the work they're supposed to. The whole season is yeah. gonna build up all with all these different environments and characters doing their different choices, and then he's gonna have his. This is Kind of The Last of Us 2 in Microcosm, this story. I like the cycles of violence. Well, I mean, she's Abby and Henry is Joel. Why are you talking to my mom? We didn't know where you were. When Michael and I were little, this room seemed so big. Michael told me that this wasn't a room at all. It's a big wooden box that nothing could get inside of. He said, as long as we were together, we would be safe. He was so beautiful. I never was. He would be horrified by the things I've done. And if you've come to tell me that Michael wouldn't want me to hurt Henry, that he would want me to forgive. Your brother was a great man. We all loved him. The last time I saw him alive, he told me to forgive. And what did he get for that? Where is the justice in that? What is the point of that? He didn't change anything. You did. I, I can't believe it. <laughs> like, we, we've got everything. Yeah. yeah. This is very well done. This is everything. Yeah. She's clearly... Yeah, she everything we needed. She relied She's on her whole no life illusion, yeah. for her brother. Her brother took care of her. Her brother made her feel like a good person. He was taken from her. Now he's gone. And yeah. so she'll do anything to get revenge on him, even though that's not what the brother would want. And she understands the context. She does. She's choosing this, and it's gonna fucking backfire at her. more or less on board anyway, because they all liked him. And they yep. and, and, and they, they, they did like him. He was well. a decent leader or whatever for the morale, probably the personnel, but she's the one that actually made change happen. Well, it's the, the often the dichotomy, right? The principled idealist and then the the, Ruthless, the realist uh, yeah. who makes things happen. We and yeah, that was just you needed only one scene to do it for her, and that was that was it. That's everything yeah. we need about it now. Well, yeah, it feels real awkward now that saying, like, you know, her being the leader here. The previous episode wasn't about, about her. It was a setup. And oh, now it's about her, isn't it? That's how it works. Right. Yeah. This <laughs> scenario yeah, looks similar. Oh, this looks like something. Uh, yeah. Well, we're going to Wyoming. What? It's a huge state. It can fit two more people. What? <laughs> yeah. Huge yeah. state. Maybe we just call this one a success and say our far farewells. No, he'll change his mind. Trust me. This is how it goes. He's like, no. Like, never, ever, ever <laughs> happening. And then I'm like, I'm gonna ask you a million more times. And Meek's like, Whoa! Yep. Sniper. Yeah, there it is, the sniper. Where the fuck is that coming from? Shut up. That sounds like the sound effect of nearly getting detected. You hear that? Move! Go! Yeah. 
Oh yeah, I know what you mean, yeah. They're like... It's a shame about this bright-ass moon. <laughs> it is very bright, isn't it? Stay here. What? Oh, get out! <laughs> Fucking sniper. What do we do? Stay here. What? If you don't move, he's not gonna hit you. Try to get in the house through the back, and then I'll take him out. I'm gonna go around and see if I can't get the angle on him. But if you go out there, he's gonna kill you. It's dark and he has shit aim. Nobody's gonna kill me. Then he's gonna kill us. Do you trust me? This is one-to-one -one with the game, right? Yeah, much, you yeah. go around the side to ambush. I mean, it was during the day in the game. That's the only difference. Yeah, there. yeah. Matt, it is very bright. <laughs> yeah, this is a bit... Br this is bright. This <laughs> is very bright. Wow, yeah, like, but yes, no the moon can be movies. Like, yeah, most... The, full the, moon, the moon tonight. can be bright. Sure, but, like, come on. <laughs> Flight it over to me. And then stay up here for another hour. That's all you have to do. Please don't do it. Please. That would be hardened again. Ah. Uh, oh, he was, and he would have called them by now, right? Probably. Yeah. Fuck. That's yeah. how they did it. Okay. <laughs> nice. Because yeah, they're gonna have. I was wondering if he was just a lone old man sitting up there. I was actually gonna say, <laughs> why the fuck is there a lone old man? If it's like, oh, he's a fucking. <gasps> oh, here we go. Clear them. Jesus. Oh, Gotta get him in the face. I'm glad he's missing, though, because people do miss instead of just getting, you know... Oh, any charge. Ah, damn. My booty can write with your game. Take the time with this one. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. That's, that's the way you do a payoff like that. Yeah. Panic shots and then, like, okay, breathe. Jeez. Oh shit, man, all we're missing now is an obvious zombies, I'd say. Ooh, is that gonna be the rumble that wakes him up, or...? Maybe. Hmm. Is this unrelated to the the little hole they had back in that other place, I guess? That was just evidence that sure. they're underground, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I don't see how anything else would save them. It would have to be a horde of zombies. Up there. Fuck. Two and two, round the back, take him out. Dead end, Henry. You wanna step on out? Save us some time? I'll come out! Just let the kids go! Sorry. The girl is with the man who killed Brian, and old Sam's with you. You don't understand! But I do. I know why you did what you did. He's just a fucking kid! Kids die, Henry. They die all the time. You think the whole world revolves around him? That he's worth everything man i want all that yeah, relevant yeah. too holy shit yeah get ready to take him and run yes do it it's time henry it ends the way it ends uh oh that would be a hole I wonder if he's realizing what this is. I'm wondering, yeah, if Joel knows what this is. I think they all sort of realize what, yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> oh fucking boy. <laughs> Dude, awesome. <laughs> oh, and look at that. It's actually, the amount of bullets is making a difference, but there's just so yeah. many of them. So many. Yep. And once they scatter around, it gets harder and harder. Now you're just gonna get people getting picked yeah. off, isn't it? Oh, he's looking stressed out. Yep. Damn. Nice shot. Gonna have tight aim now, yeah. Him down! Him down! Where's that bloater, though? Yeah. Where is he? Well, it's crazy too, right? Because every person they kill by biting then turns into one, right? Uh, Eventually, well, right? It, or how quick well, is they, it? If they kill them, they're dead. And I think it depends on where they're bitten. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Oh, damn, look at that. Christ. <laughs> Find cover. Don't look back. Run! <laughs> I think he was going for a side arm there as well. Oh, that's his head off yet. Yeah. Why you gotta why you gotta do that? Oh. <laughs> look at that man, he is selling that fear. Uh. And stay in there. She can. That was pretty neat. Jeez, we're in really confident, aren't we? Yeah, those are some close shots. I guess they're literally closer, at least. Oh. And, yep. Yeah. She's good. <laughs> Someone's gonna yeah, eat you, lady. Water's coming. Hi. Right. And there you have it. Hi. Ark complete. Story finished. That is the point being made. That's what you get. Bye! Well. That's it for them. Really does a great job of showing just how fearsome they are. You know, how, how yeah. bad it is when they show up. Yeah, and it looked like they were starting to run over to, they just go back to Kansas City, right? And there's going to be plenty more people to eat there. It's going to get overrun. Okay. Yeah. It seems like the big thing as well that makes them super threatening here is that they're more organized, more whereas in the original, there's no, like, seeming, like, Yeah, which know, seems network. to be a, the network idea, yeah, which, which helps, I think. I think it helps make them more threatening because it's not That's about just fun. randomly bumping into them and then you get in trouble. It's, it seems more so, like, there's a potential to be overrun. What's that comic book say? Endure and survive. Endure and survive. That shit's redundant. Yeah, it's, it's not great. <laughs> Look, I don't know exactly how I'm getting to Wyoming. I'm probably walking. But if you want to... You... Yeah. Yeah. I think it'd be nice for Sam to have a friend. I'll tell him in the morning. Uh, uh, Silence, uh, Springy. Steve? Is everything all right? Yeah, everything's fine. Do I not look scared? Okay. Well, have a good night. How is it that you're never scared? Who says that I'm not? What are you scared of? Uh, let's see. Scorpions. Scorpions are pretty creepy. Uh, being by myself. I'm scared of ending up alone. What about you? Those things out there. What if the people are still inside? What if they're trapped in there without any control of their body? Is it still you inside? I'm scared of that happening to me. Uh, I guess that's the impression she may have gotten from the fireflies. Oh, not of the palm! You're doing the thing! I mean, there's worse things that she's fucking mixing blood right now. Which is a general no-no, everyone. That is a general no-no. Yeah, if you get anyone's blood in you, you need to uh, get medical attention immediately. BSI, body substance isolation. Unfortunately, this is something she may have concluded because she's not from... Like, the fireflies obviously deliberately didn't tell you much at all about how she's holding the cure. Or maybe she knows it's BS and she's just trying to make him feel better in the moment. No, I think she genuinely believes this may help. Yeah, look if at you her remember, face, they, I think she... they only told her the nature of her importance right before they handed her off to Joel. 
And so they may have just said, like, your blood is the key to the cure. That's probably why she thinks this should work. And then, of course, the first thing she did when he showed her was look over to the other room, because if Joel finds out, he will shoot this kid. So, he'll stay awake with him to make sure he's immune too, right? <sighs> Damn. That smells good. Good morning. Where's Sam? I let him sleep in for once. Oh. Well, if you want him to join us, you can go wake his ass up. Mm. Okay. Sam? <laughs> <laughs> Shit, he's turning! That's my fucking brother! Screw it! Get that gun from me, okay? Oh, okay, okay, easy. Give me the gun. Is it your fault? This is nobody's fault, Henry. It's all your fault! Give me the gun, Henry. Give me the gun. Give me the gun. Oh, God. Yeah, that hit pretty much as hard as it does in the game. West. Go. Off they go to Wyoming. Well, that was a really good episode. I like that a lot. I don't know. I guess it's five in a row I'm now. Glad, was there I'm anything glad. that we asked for that wasn't in there? That was basically everything that we expected and wanted, and, and maybe a little bit more as well uh, in a few places. It's, it, it's, it is becoming increasingly clear with each successive episode what we're building up to thematically. Like, all of the seeds are being planted with all of these stories. Like, you... Very deliberately. What'd you bring me? Welcome to EFAP TV, The Last of Us, Season 1, Episode 6. Here we go. Three months three later. Months later. Yeah. All right, that's a three month jump. Durr. I don't think that's how it's pronounced. I think oh, it is. My bits. Yeah. Is this Joel? Wait, they don't... This probably isn't Joel. It might be, I don't know. I don't think they're gonna be stopping in a cabin at any point, are they? Unless they just came across one, I don't know. I guess Fell we'll down see. here for a bit. Oh, crossbow. Yeah, it's probably not Joel if that was a crossbow. Who this? To Tommy, maybe? Oh, new guy. Oh, no. Secret Asian man. That's kinda neat. And the gun. That nabbit. Who the hell are you? Just someone passing through. Take the gun out, two fingers only, put it out of reach. Why didn't you shoot him? The gun's all the way over there. He didn't hurt me, by the way. Yeah, I got eyes. <laughs> okay. You made him soup? Yeah, I did. <laughs> it's cold out. 
<laughs> it's cold. <laughs> oh, I ain't seen him. I haven't told you what he looks like. He look anything like you? A bit. And I ain't seen him. He's got a girl with him. Can I come down? No. I'm like a thousand. Who's this little psycho? Never mind her. If you got a map, why are you lost? You must have missed all the street signs in the enormous fucking Because forest. you have to actually Ooh, know. Me. Yeah. <laughs> it's the thing that games forget. We're because somewhere you have a map, here. you have to know where you exactly are on where. the map. And your answer better be the same as your wife's. Ooh. Do you tell him mm. the truth? Wonder if yeah. you'll use that later. Do you tell him the truth? Yeah. Are you telling me the truth? Yeah. I like these two. <laughs> they're, yeah. they're charming, aren't they? They feel like they've probably been married their whole lives or whatever. Not bad to have some levity here after the last scene. Yeah. Well, you came here before you were born, Sonny. Get the hell away from everybody. I didn't want to. <laughs> You've come this far, then you know what's out there. So you haven't heard the name Tommy? Nope. What about the fireflies? We get those in the summer. Not the bugs, the people. There are firefly people. <laughs> there are firefly people. <laughs> oh God, what has this infection done? <laughs> from the best way west. Yeah, go east. Yeah. That's true. It is a globe, so mm. uh, it is a long way now. Why they call it Death River? If your brother's west of the river, he's gone. You're not gonna scare us. You scared him. <laughs> <laughs> Just wants his bro back. Never heard of the fireflies. Joel, are you okay? Joel? Shut up. Holy shit, are you dying? Okay. Okay, I'm okay. okay. I'm fine. No, no, but are you? Because just a reminder that you're dead, I'm fucked. Shut up, fine. Okay. <laughs> just a cold air. Ah, oh, that little expression. You can try and make a joke out of it, but seriously, if he dies, like, this, she's got nothing. She got a rabbit. It's gonna be easy. Have to do is cross the river of death. Whoever plays the rabbit is doing really good. It's very convincingly dead, yeah. Totally bought into the character. The whole, like, the head bobbing back and forth thing, it's just like, I don't know if that's a CG or if they actually acted, actually did it, because it's painful. Incredible. Start. It's too close to dark. Caves along the river. We'll set up camp there, cross in the morning. Good. I'm starving. Should have stolen two rabbits. We can get our own rabbits. Are you gonna teach me how? Look at these landscapes. These vistas. Yeah, it's real nice. America. Oh, what's he doing there? Oh, you should. Okay. Back yeah. together a bit. At this time of year, in this part of the country. Yeah, I was about this say, specific like, show. Do I have auroras in, in Wyoming? I, I don't actually know. I don't know if it's north enough. Maybe it is. I'm just not sure. Localized entirely within your cave. Uh, yes. May I see it? <laughs> no. no. You're by fire. You're plenty warm. You should spit it through the fire and light her on fire. And then it explodes. Kills all of the everything. Ew, you're not even gonna wipe it? Ew, that's how you get cooties. Yep. So gross. Stupid child. Would appreciate alcohol. So I've been thinking. No, because it does taste nasty. Let's say mm -hmm. we find the fireflies, it all works, then what? Like, what do we do? Well, it's we. Okay, fine, whatever, you. You can do anything you want. I wonder what this episode's gonna be about. Where are you going? What are you doing? Maybe an old farmhouse, some land. Come back ranch. to see these guys. Oh. Sheep. <gasps> He's Welsh. I would raise sheep. They're quiet. Do what they're told. Yeah, yeah, okay. I like <laughs> the idea that he's been thinking about that, though. Yeah. Or else to look what up. I read everything I could in the school library. Like Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, Jim Lovell. But you know who my favorite is? Oh, man. Sally Ride. Sally fucking Ride. Setting up her uh, interest in ever. Base for Real, really. Which comes up in Last of Us 2. Yeah. This is a good seed for that scene. That scene is a scene everyone really likes in that game. It'll yeah. Work. The vaccine. I tried with Sam. I knew he was infected. But I rubbed some of my blood into his bite. I know, I know it was stupid, but I wanted to save him. I like how he like almost well, said it's something. A lot more complicated than that. Yeah. If she says they can do it, they can do it. Yeah, because you know, it's, it's a tough thing to handle. It's like, what do you tell her when Don't she tells you that? Do both. She's probably like, what the fuck? You're it's mixing sweet. blood? It's like, oh, but she's a kid. She doesn't really... And she just said it was Why stupid. It's like, yeah. yeah. Sheep ranches on the moon. Especially... Oh, well. Talking about how she tried to save him. It was just their deaths on her mind. So it's the last moment, really, to do some... Uh... Hey, idiot. That's not how science works. <laughs> ranchers on the moon. I woke up early. 
We were passed out, so I took second watch. You gotta wake me up if that happens. You can't do things like this. But I can, I just did. Checked my six, I looked for tracks, I found the high ground, and I kept watch. Like you taught me to. All of this so far, by the way, not in the game. No, wake this is all new. And it's pretty good. I like a lot of it. All of it is chipping away at the big old wall between them. Yeah. A bridge. Uh... Wow, it's like they went to a place where it had snowed and everything. No, this is CG, I think. I guess they are getting pretty good at it. You can <laughs> see how the snow... Yeah, some of the scenes, the snow doesn't quite track onto the trees where they're trying to... Yeah. A little wibbly wobbly, yeah. Yeah. Snowing uh, earlier on in the show than it was in the game, right? Tommy stuff was in autumn, and then yeah. winter yeah. was... Uh, well, I guess I don't want to say because Rags doesn't know. And we're getting so, so yeah, close they, to it uh, now, we'll they, probably not say anymore. Well, it seems like they've condensed condensed that together. They've yeah. made it all occur around about the same time. I'm learning how to whistle. You don't know how to whistle? Shh. Does it sound like I know how to whistle? No. Shh. Seriously, though, how the fuck do you do that? Talent. Whatever. You True. should teach me how to hunt. Oh, you can handle the shooting. Not so sure about the dressing. What's the dressing? The part where you take the guts out. Oh, yeah. Is Ellie the kind of person that would be grossed out by guts? I can't remember. Damn. I guess not, right? Mm, Probably not. Wait, I'm guessing. Yeah, yeah, but who's it the dam? Yeah. So that made electricity? Don't ask me. I don't have a clue. <laughs> Just admitting it this you? time. I wouldn't believe you. Hydroelectrical. <laughs> it moves stuff with the water, turns motors or whatever, and makes electrics. Motors, like Modoc. Yeah. Machine only trying. What if this is the river of death? Um... Or... Ralph. Way too many rivers of death. Yeah, why can't there be rivers of life? Or just just very apathetic rivers? Water is the life giver, they do say. Do you know there's water in all kinds of things, like Ribena? You guys have Ribena in America? I don't know. I don't know what that is. We got it in Australia. This is, uh, this is bad. Maybe. We ain't looking for any trouble, we're just passing through. Drop the gun. Must be Tommy's gang. Gang of Mishfish. This is the horse gang. You could tell by the horse. <laughs> what well, we call ourselves. How about we just talk this through? How about you shut the fuck up? Okay, easy. A lot less plot armor in the show okay. compared to the game, Joel. You can't just kill everybody, okay? You've been near infected? There's no infected out here. The hell there ain't. Last chance for a bullet. Oh. If you're infected, he will smell it and he will rip you up. Oh, great. So dogs are immune? I. I guess so, yeah. I guess, yeah, dogs are immune. Be chill, doggo. Man's best friend. Wow, I love the, the way it checked there. It was like an actual... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let me have a look at chat. <laughs> like I said, just move on. Now her. <laughs> oh, he... He don't smell that immune blood. The dog's like, yeah, she's infected, but she's immune. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, and then they're like, oh my god, a talking dog. What are you doing out here? Just looking for my brother. It's all. Love the look more. on Joel's face there. He's just like, oh fuck. Well, that whole thing was. I'm gonna... It's great because yeah. he's just trapped. He can't do anything. Yeah. Joel. Well, she probably knows Tommy. Tomothy. Thomas Edison. Ooh, he invented invented the Lelkin belt. <laughs> English is overrated. <laughs> They have the red handkerchief of peace. Let them pass. <laughs> it's been passed down from generation to generation. So those will arrive and be like, I lost the red handkerchief. It's like, then you can't get in. <laughs> the red please. handkerchief has remained silent to your pleas. I told you we should have come up with a secret knock. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jackson. I love wood. So yeah, this is a well, little different it's from the quite game. Bustling. It's looking very bustling, isn't it? Yeah, I can believe it. It's been so, 20 years. Now. Just well, FYI, in the game, it's the they're at the dam, which is trying to be repaired so that they can power the local town. We do see this place from a distance at this point in the game, but we don't. Yeah, go that's there. right. Okay. You know what this means? This could be the return of bigot sandwiches. It could. This, oh. this is this is where the Last of Us Two starts. Tommy. He's my goddamn brother. Tommy. Holy shit. <laughs> How you doing, baby brother? <laughs> God damn. Yeah. Let me look at you. <laughs> the 
fuck you doing? I came here to save you. You get that brotherly hug in there, boys. I love that disbelief. Like, are yeah. you fucking kidding me? Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> we thought he was dead. He was pretty sure of it. Aww. I, seriously, I've heard people say that uh, Pedro Pascal is like a plank of wood in this, and I just don't get it. You're wrong! But, You're wrong! <laughs> like, How can, you can't say that after that. I mean, you've already had plenty of stuff up until this point, but after that, no, no way. That yeah, long. that's unfair. Actually, Adam, this is fucking amazing. Man is woman. Sorry. Ellie. Let's mind our manners. Yeah. Water, pumpkin pie. What's wrong with you? Oh my god, is that Dita? Oh shit, really? That's probably Dita. <laughs> oh yeah. Mm. That's a big setup. That's a loss of his two no, characters. Two arms. Well, you got a couple of nine year olds shitting themselves out there. They say that you leave dead bodies around? Those are the people who tried us. A bad reputation doesn't mean you're bad. Not always, at least. Holy fuck! That subtext was pretty thick, man. <laughs> yeah. For your hospitality and all. That was super text. Would it be nice to have a moment here, maybe just for family? Would you mind if you fuck ah, off? Ah, <laughs> he doesn't realize. Cause that's Maria. Maria. Is yeah. Family, actually. This is Maria. Be nice to her. She sorta of runs things around here. Ma'am. Thanks for not blowing my head off. Would have been embarrassing, considering you're my brother-in-law. We all gotta get wrangled up at some point. Oh. Oh shit. How do you solve a problem? I get it. Joel, say congrats. Yeah, Joel. Congrats. <laughs> Dude, that was Joel pretty was well like... done in terms of just like, I don't like this lady, make her go. And it's like, I can't. It's like, oh. It's always Christmas in Jackson. Then. That section was already a gated community, so we built the rest of the wall out from there. Stop most of the raiding parties, but we still find pockets of them. Can you imagine that you wouldn't have a lot of raiders if you're out in the middle of Wyoming? Yeah, if you're a raider, you're not looking to probably go out to. It's so the funny no because like this moment in the game, you just get attacked by like a shit ton uh, yeah, of raiders right away. Well, it's because yeah. they needed a shootout. <laughs> yeah. How do you keep this place quiet? It's not advertising what we have, saying off the radio. House of Worship. Oh, ah, that's gonna come up in a moment, yeah. I think. Motherfucker, I thought you were dead because you did that. Look at this this place actually fucking works. Oh, sheep! Oh, look, sheep! Hey, Joe, check it. Ain't it funny that they've got like the, the little uh, mist coming out of their mouths because this is real? Yeah. yeah, that's it's yeah, you're right. Yeah, it's just so appreciate that there's actual like <laughs> yeah. sets, you know, and environments that they're in shooting outside real sheep. Communism, yeah, I get again all filmed in Alberta over here in Canada, right? Communism, I didn't like that. It is that literally, this is a commune, we're communists. <laughs> Wait, Tommy didn't realize that. <laughs> I mean, if you share everything, then yes, that would be a commune. <laughs> he looks so depressed. <laughs> like, Wait, we're coming? No. <laughs> That's really funny. Much untouched in so three, but I just got the heat going in it. Could do worse. Oh, trust me, we have been. We've been doing fine. Well, I'll take Ellie over there if you two wanna catch up. Was that like a defensive line of like your? We, I've been taking fine. care of us. Maybe? Mm, probably, yeah. Doing the best you can with, uh, in a very difficult circumstance. Yeah. Ice, you can't just get that anywhere around here. Doesn't grow on snow. You get fucking old. Easy. It's gonna happen to you, too. Doesn't seem like you yeah. age much. Take him you, on the other hand. Are you the bartender? Thanks for still giving a shit about me. He is now. I like that it's a big block of ice because it is getting carved off of a big old <laughs> even left. block of ice. Christmas trees and bake. Pretty decent setup. So how's Tess? She's fine. All right. Ooh! Damn. The kid? I can't remember. Does Interesting. He, does he say Tess died to in the game? Yeah. Uh, they don't talk about Tess. I don't I think they do. Kind of I, yeah, I don't think so either. Here. I don't remember. So you know where they might be? These fireflies? No, they got a base down at the University of Eastern Colorado. The uni. It, it is severely fucked up between here and there. I made it across the country. The two of us can make it from here to Colorado. I'm not going. What, because your wife won't let you? No. Is that why you stopped messaging me back? Marie and her crew found me. They're good people. Rules. I'm your brother. Yeah, I'm aware. They're very protective of this place. And for good fucking reason. I mean, folks find out we're up here. No, I heard. Wrong people might show up. 
So is that what I am? Those things that you judge me for. I did those things to keep us alive. We murdered people. And I don't judge you for it. We survived the only way we knew how. There were other ways. I'm trying to find you these last few months. I'm going to be a father. Man, I think of the, so I just gotta the layers of conflict that adds. Yeah. Does that come up in um in the games at all? Does he ever have a kid? I'm scared to death. No, I don't think I don't think so. I mean, this, this confrontation was uh, different as well. It was a lot yeah. more heated in the game. In fact, he even says it wasn't worth surviving. Um, like that was his perspective. Well, they almost that, come to blows as well, don't they? Uh, yeah, but then the writers show up. I bring you the cure from mankind, and you want to play the pissy little brother? We ain't back in Boston. You lay your hands on me again, it won't end well for you. The hell is that? We're under attack. Just because life stopped for you, doesn't mean it has to stop for me. Go grab some supplies and be out of your hair in the morning. Yeah, because we're probably not going to do a big raider encounter in this episode. It's going to be characters talking, characters talking, characters talking. Mm -hmm. Which is fine with me. Yep. Yep. We got lots more to do. <laughs> No, we need an obligatory zombie kill in every episode, like The <laughs> Walking Dead. Hmm, I'm wondering, actually. Are they gonna make a change? Hmm. Uh, so, the impression I'm getting is that the more connected he's become to Ellie, the more he can't bear the idea of losing her. I'm stressing him and out. it's reminding him fully of Sarah. This is one of my favorite tracks from the game. Yeah, and this is a good use of it. He be struggling. And again, that scene played out differently, almost specifically because he's a less harsh Joel. Joel in the game with their conversation with uh, Tommy, he's basically like, you'll do it for me and you'll you'll fucking listen to me. And that what we did was important. I did the right thing. Like he doesn't take well, any yeah, sort he, of- Yeah, he basically says, this is how you're going to repay me. Is it? Yeah. Like... yeah. Meanwhile, this oh, yeah, show, I Joel is much more, I think, in tune with guilt to the point of- Yes. Um, it's that way. Feeling sad as fuck. Well, I guess you would need something like that. Gross. I think every grandma had one of those little flower glass wow. things. You get this given one it. once you hit age like 60. Yeah. Once your kid has a kid and you're a mom, <laughs> then you just get one. The stork shows up. Sarah. That would be Bill Sarah XS03. Yeah. Oh, good. This is more game specific wardrobe here too. That Got jacket she's wearing, that's her like winter outfit. Yeah. It's uh, super fucking purple. Eggplant. That's not really that purple <laughs> actually. Yeah. Shoes aren't too big? Uh no. Where's my other stuff? Rag pile. Who's been cutting your hair? Uh world class salons. <laughs> Let me get my scissors. <laughs> oh whoa, no, I'll trim. Just trim the ends. That's that's nice. Like Shave it so you don't have to deal about washing it, okay? That's just an old no. thing to do. I was I'm sorry about your kids. It's okay. I'm kid. Just Kevin. Sarah was Joel's daughter. Ah, uh, that's how she finds out. I guess that explains. Did Joel me mention else. Sarah to her at all before? Look, I'm not gonna ask I don't think so. No, I don't think so. There are clearly things. You Tommy did it too. Are you worried about him? Tommy was following Joel. The way you are now. Wow, wow. Joel's Maybe fault I'm again. Smarter than Tommy. No offense. Thrown under the bus. The only people who can betray us are the ones we trust. Hmm. You know, come on. Grab your super fucking eggplant coat. Where are we going? <laughs> the movies. We're gonna go watch a movie. Watch a flick, a flim. Wow, put on Star Wars. <laughs> Open turn in a movie. Tonight's show is The Last Jedi. <laughs> Let me off the hook or what? This ride to the university, is it a suicide mission? No. It's dangerous. Prepare and do what you do. It's quite the crew you got here. Yeah, they're good men. This place gives them a second chance. Gives us all a second chance. You've had people go that way and come back? All of them. What is this? She's immune. So why'd you leave Boston? I've been on quite the adventure, little brother. I reckon it's got something to do with that girl. She got infected, but she didn't get sick. Tommy, I saw her get bit myself. That was months ago. Months. From the beginning. Hey, that's cool. That that looked like it was deliberate. Like he was choosing between panicking and telling everybody and getting a quarantined or to trust Joel and let him explain. Tess got bit. She made me swear to take the kid. 
He was her dying wish. What the hell was I supposed to do? Now, I wouldn't have believed it neither, but I can show you. All right. I'll bite. You know, she saved my life there, but she had to shoot him to save me because I was too slow and too fucking deaf to hear him coming. Why bring her here? I was supposed to deliver to the Fireflies. The way I figure they're your boys, <sighs> you finish the job, you collect the whole damn payment. I haven't seen a Firefly in years. But you know where they are. I saw a man kill his own brother to save her while well, I just watched. And today I thought that dog was gonna tear her apart. I couldn't move. Now, I'm not asking for much, Tommy. I just want some simple gear, enough to set me on my way. No matter what was, lately there are these moments where the fear comes up out of nowhere and my heart feels like it stopped. What makes you think I'd do this for you? This isn't for me, Tommy. This is for your damn cause. My cause is my family now. And I have dreams. What kind of dreams? I'm failing in my sleep. It's all I've ever done. It's failure. I'm just gonna get her killed, I know it. I know it. You ain't talking about some walk in the park here. Jesus, boy! Have Maria get some of your born-again friends to do it. They but got I... families, too. Tommy, I need this. I have to leave her. I mean, it's why you took off on me, right? To make up for the things we did. Well, here's your chance. To bring your kid into a better world. You're younger than me. You're still strong. You said it yourself. You'll come back. You have to take her. How you gonna repay me, huh? Repay you? For all those goddamn years I took care of us. Took care? That's what you call it? You can't tell anyone. Tommy, you're the only one I trust. If anyone else sees those bites on her, what's under her skin, they'll shoot her. I got nothing but nightmares from those years. You survived because of me. It wasn't worth it. It's the last thing I'll ever ask of you. I swear. I bring you the cure for mankind, and you want to play the pissy little brother? We ain't back in Boston. You lay your hands on me again, it won't end well for you. The hell is that? We're under attack. I'll take her out at dawn. This feels like a smarter and more honest approach to get what he wants out of Tommy, like, than in the game, where he was just so, like, hostile, because there was too much, like, bad blood on a brotherly sort of level. It's all I do. It's all I've ever like, it's done. like, I can't do this. I'm it's fucking been... scared and I'm getting old. Again. Like, I need help with this. Yeah, I think this is strictly better. Honestly, Man, look at this I'm plank of wood. Yeah, he can't. He's just, he's so flat, isn't he? Even in Wonder Woman, he was very good. He's always been good. He's the only thing I don't think he was very good in was Mando. Mando. Yeah. <laughs> Ellie. Oh, look at that set design. That's like right out of the game. It's bizarre. Yep. Yeah. And that dialogue is too. Is this really all they had to worry about? Boys. Is this really all they had to worry about? Boys? Movies? Movies. Deciding which shirt goes with which skirt. Deciding which shirt goes with which skirt? It's bizarre. Get up. We're leaving. Come on. And if I say no? It's bizarre. Listen, uh, Why are you here? Do you even realize what your life means? Huh? Running off like that, putting yourself at risk? It's pretty goddamn stupid. I came here to talk to you. No, why are you still here? If you're gonna ditch me, ditch me. Well, I guess we're both disappointed with each other then. What do you want from me? Admit that you wanted to get rid of me the whole time! What exactly did you hear? I have to leave her, you have to take her. Tommy knows this area. Oh, better fuck than that! Well, I'm sorry. I trust him better than I trust myself. Stop with the bullshit. You know, I stood up for you today because I thought... What are you so afraid of? That I'm gonna end up like Sam? I can't get infected! I made this decision for your own good. You'll be way better off with Tommy. I can take care of myself! How many close calls have we had? Well, we seem to be doing all right so far. And now you'll be doing even better with Tommy! He knows the area better than I do. Do you give a shit about me or not? Of course I do. Then what are you so afraid of? Not her, you know. What? Maria told me about Sarah. Ellie? And I'm not her, you know. Maria told me about Sarah and... No. You are treading on some mighty thin ice here. I'm sorry about your daughter, Joel. But I have lost people, too. 
Don't say another word. I'm sorry about your daughter, Joel. But I have lost people, too. You have no idea what loss is. You have no idea what loss is. Everyone I have cared for has either died or left me. Everybody I have cared for has either died or left me. Everyone fucking except for you. Everybody fucking except for you. Don't tell me that I would be safer with someone else because the truth is I would just be more scared. So don't tell me that I'd be safe with somebody else because the truth is I would just be more scared. You're right. You're not my daughter. And I sure as hell ain't your dad. Come Dawn. We're going our separate ways. Well, that was pretty much nailed as well. I, I think I have a preference for the way that it was that it was all done in the game in terms of the framing. But I mean it's basically one to one, so it feels like it's very minor. Yeah, it didn't feel forced at all either. Really well implemented. Thomasy. Surprised they didn't keep in the um, Tommy and his girlfriend slash wife having their uh Fight. Yeah. Maybe maybe that's about to happen. Maybe he hasn't told her. That would be bizarre mm. if he it, it, uh, it's weird to get to this point without having told her. Yeah. He probably has. But oh well, Did you I mean to say goodbye or something? No. I came here to steal one of these horses and go. You deserve a choice. I still think you'd be better off with Tommy. Let's go. Okay. In the game he just says, It's fine, I'll do it, basically. Yeah. Similar tone. Yeah. What are you doing? Your wife kinda scares me. I don't want her coming after you. Sorry for stealing your horse. Well, come back to town. Let's discuss it at least. Tell me my mind's all made up. General direction. Head southeast till you hit I-25. There's a place for you here. Both of you. Counting on it. There's a place for you here. No. Good. Okay. Adios, little brother. You know, both of you could go. Just saying. Adios, big brother. I mean, it may well just be that the perspective is I'm not gonna endanger him on this one. I'll, uh, I'll do it. Maybe, yeah. Or you want to you know, stay here? I mean, count of the know, misses. Yeah. Get on the way, and yeah. Maria as well. They've established a Fireflies broadcast from the university, right? That's why they're going there right now. They had it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think it's just, it's. I think it's the lab. It's the same setup as in the game. That there's Which, a lab there. We are running right. out of episode time, so I don't know how much they're gonna do. Yeah. Well, yeah, because it seems like that would be probably a logical endpoint. In what happens in the game? Well, yeah, I think we know how this episode's gonna end. No, I think that there might be a difference in in, uh, in the, the, the nature of it. Why that it comes about? Yeah. I'm hoping for an improvement, and I will talk about that when we get there. <laughs> Deep breath in, slow breath out. You squeeze the trigger like you love it. Mm. Gentle, steady, nice and slow. You gonna shoot this thing or get it pregnant? It isn't gonna work. It doesn't aim right. You dick. Haha, <laughs> women suck with guns. <laughs> yeah, take that, gamers. Oh, another song from the game. Oh, look at that oh, shot. Oh, look at that shot. It's gorgeous. That's pretty pretty. Nice. Look at that I'm one. Get on sunshine. Wow. Oh, look at these landscapes. That would be funny if they set up the fire. They're like, we're going to go all the way over there and put up a camera, okay? So you guys just sit here and talk. <laughs> Back then, there were basically two main ways of looking at things. Some people wanted to own everything. Mm hmm some people didn't want anyone to own anything at all. Which one were you? Neither. I the capitalists versus the communists. Which was <laughs> Pretty building? much. Houses, stores, that kind of thing. We were called contractors. The contractor. That probably is <laughs> the name of a movie, actually. The contractor? <laughs> Almost certainly. Yeah. And it's like, I, yeah. It, yeah. Everybody loves contractors. Eh, Love me some contractors <laughs> for doing all my contracting. Look at these silhouettes. It's called a turnover. Turnover. Like an apple turnover. But... 
if you make it. Why learn about sports? I feel like um, I feel like the the show is emphasized more than the game probably could. Like how quiet things would be a lot of the time. The game has plenty of quiet moments, but there are so much quiet moments of just there's nobody around. There's not many people in the world at this point. Man, things seem pretty chill and happy. It'd be sucky if something bad yeah. happened. Yeah, right, and then the episode ended. Oh, they wouldn't. They wouldn't. It'd be that a real shame, weird. wouldn't it? Oh, the big horns. What does that mean? That's a giant ram. You guys were like some idol worshippers. <laughs> when it came to sports? Hell yeah. It's kind of cheap. Oh, see? I'm so closer to your dream. Oh, well, they made it to the uni. Uni, uni. People would live here and, like, what, go to classes and stuff? Yup. I think it was just as much about partying and finding themselves as anything else. Figuring out what they wanted to do with their lives. What they wanted to do with their lives. What about you? What do you want to do? So I've been thinking. Mm-hmm. I don't want a sheep ranch, actually. I mean, if the deal is I can do anything. That's the deal. Right when I was a kid, I used to want to be, uh... Singer. When I was a kid, I wanted to be a singer. <laughs> shut up. Why is that funny? <laughs> shut up. I'm serious. Sing something. Uh, no. You gotta sing something now. No. Come on, man. I'm not gonna laugh. You're already laughing. Yeah, okay, Joe. Come on, hon. I won't laugh. I don't think so. Joel, please. There's two actors in that horse doing great work. Are those yeah. monkeys? Must be from the old labs. <laughs> Look at this go. <gasps> Twenty First years later, monkey. First time seeing a monkey. Here we go. But how come the zombies didn't infect the buildings yeah. and have zombie buildings? That's true. Yeah. Living, yeah, what the hell? living buildings like in Antum Man and the Wasp. No. Uh, Maybe we should go back and ask the monkeys for directions. Monkeys are intelligent. Yeah, we're we're, we're monkeys, right? No, we're a you're apes. You're great apes. No, that's monkeys. right. Humans are great apes. No such thing as an ape. You're thinking I of uh, eight, that. which is the or grade eight, the the and also the number eight, I suppose. That too, that too. Uh, it's all monkeys. Monkey, monkey, monkey. Return to the monkey. Reject biomedical facilities. Return <laughs> to monkey. Was this some kind of apocalypse? There are definitely doctors here. They just left. Maybe not all of them. I'm just uh, giving a casual look to the floor, seeing if there's any rebar. Mm, I don't see any. Rebar. I don't see any protruding rebar. I sure hope there isn't any. It's a big set of spikes like in Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> Joel lands on him oh. and makes the same animation. And he's like, oh, oh, geez. All the rings flying. Yeah. Like loads of My dollars rings. fall out of his pocket. Yeah. <laughs> Ellie, gather up the coins. <laughs> Ellie, that's hell. <laughs> Monkey. Jesus. Clickers. Get them. Maybe in all that research they turned into fucking monkeys. <laughs> really you look kind of depressed at that thought. You and the others, they've all returned to St. Mary's Hospital in Salt Lake City. You'll find them there, still trying to save the world. <laughs> Good luck with that. Oh, hmm. Weather. Salt Lake City. Uh oh. And there we see a raider, devoid of any individual personality, and hell-bent on being aggressive and rude. At the back. Avoid this species at all costs. <laughs> I do like that you can kind of hear the mu- it's, it's the sound do, effects yeah. of, like, the video game of getting detected. Mm -hmm. Right, yeah. Surely they'll be waiting at your horse for you to come back, right? Uh, I guess- Well, it depends if they the saw the horse. horse, yeah. I mean, you know, you might you, you want to get out of here as quickly as possible. Like the expressions on both of them because they both know, know what it means. Like not not a oh no you've been stabbed more of a oh shit. No! Get back! 
Joel. Joel. Shit. Joel. Here. Joel. Joel, no, no, no. Shit. Joel. Oh. Get up, get up, get up. Joel, open your eyes. Open your eyes. Joel, you gotta get up. You gotta tell me what to do. I can't fucking do this without you. I don't know where the fuck I'm going. What the fuck I'm gonna do. You gotta get up. Joel. Joel. There's our little cliffy hanger. Got to see what happens to Joel. Give me your Philosopher. Episode 7. Fungus growing. A dog could smell these credits. Or could it? Is it the Probably. wounds that it smells? We went over that. I don't know. It's been telling people it can detect it, but really it doesn't. It just gets rid of people it doesn't like. Yeah. I think that uh, we are doing the same format of seeing what's happening in the present day story. Right, because we're in snowy times. Yes. Not to say that this is the first time there's been snow in the history of this world, but, you know, <laughs> but there's the blood there, so... Look, until know. we see anything that contradicts that information for you, we will, we will maintain <laughs> that this is the first snow on Earth in this... In this How will IP. they deal with this? What's all this white stuff? That would be pretty Boys fucking weird, wouldn't it? First time that happens in all of human history. Really cold water. They put snow on that horse. And he was like, I'm gonna get rid of it. <laughs> He's like, yeah. I think I've had Animal enough of abuse. this. So this is already different. He's awake. You gotta help me. Come on. Leave. Shut up, Joe. Take the gun. Joe, shut the fuck up! There you go. You go to town. You go. She'll probably go, but then she'll go grab something. I don't think she's intending to leave Joel at this point. I think she's just like, so I'll go, either. but I'm just gonna go get a first aid. Oh no, I'm 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 suggesting that the the payoff will be she doesn't, of course. Right, right, right. <laughs> I don't think that's gonna but be a surprise I, I, to anybody. I'm just saying I don't think even for a moment she was thinking like I'm gonna just leave. Joel I'm willing here. to believe there's ten percent even of her brain being like, if I leave, get on the horse now, I can get back to the Tommy people and live a nice, happy life. Do I really have any chance of saving Joel here? That, that might be a little little whisper in there. Back! Sure, that's fair. Look up your pace. I'm not running doubles again because Oh no, bully character. Me. Is this the house You're lights flickering right now? In the gym? Yeah, I like guess it's... so. Maybe the power is really spotty. Yeah. I think it's consistent here. That's a nice detail, <clears throat> yeah. She got hit in the face. That's called abuse. Captain Kwong. I think he was in The Expanse. What's going on? Yeah, I think that's what I recognize him from. It's funny because I recognize him and I'm like, what from? And it could be that, yeah. Two paths ahead of you. A mug on. path. You keep acting like a grunt so you get the life. <laughs> Up at dawn, walk the streets, walk the wall. You take shit orders from your patrol leader, who will probably be Bethany. Oof. And that'll be your life from now until you catch a bullet from a firefly or fall drunk off a roof or get your hair caught in a moving tank tread. Dang, they, they have, the other cut path. your hair. Oh, look, it's the Naughty Dog! Poor. We're cool in the summer, we're warm in the winter, and best of all, when you're an officer, you get to tell the Bethany's of the world exactly where to shove it. See? You can be a bully to bullies. Yeah, that's right. Why but you can work within the system to bully people. Yeah. You could become a Kwong all of I your own. This is uh, Fedra she's with, right? And this is yes. cool. So to have a guy be like, we're what keeps things sane and cool and in order and people protected. It would fall to chaos without us. Like, yay, yeah. Fedor aren't strictly assholes. We're not. Regardless of, yeah, like that he has some conviction. You want to take the mug way or the Kwong way? Go the Kwong way. Go Kwong. Because obviously there are Fedra outposts or locations where they all went fucking nuts, apparently, like Kansas City. Well, yeah, because you imagine the amount of coordination just deteriorates over time. They start to become more yeah. independent, more I guess. Well, some of them, yeah. Don't Bethany. give her the Walkman. Oh, my. She has to earn it with Kwong points. You have to turn in <laughs> 200 Kwong points and you get... You don't just get a Walkman, you get your Walkman back. For every individual well, yeah, piece of trash she picks a... up from the floor, that's one Kwong point, so... It would be a Walkman because of the 2003, right? That was when the apocalypse started. 
I mean, she comes no, <laughs> no iPods yet, I guess. Yeah, is it? I don't actually had, remember like, the portable CD timeline. players, right? Uh, well, or, iPods right? might have been like right around the beginning there. Yeah, they were definitely portable CD players. So I had a yeah. Walking Man. Did you guys have a Walking Man? I did not. Oh, I, I had a little CD the, player. Uh, further reinforcing all of the space stuff with all these posters. Oh, yes. the moon, oh, science fiction space. films. Hmm. This, this is space. my corner. That's your corner. You stay on your side of the room. You know, it's got, if you could see music by uh, Jerry Goldstein, if it in a space, it'd be so funny if they had, like, there was a name in that credit they didn't notice was someone who's worked on this too. And they'd be like, does that, is that a problem? <laughs> Continuity for canon? I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> I'm only 10 Kwong points short of a CD player. Go collect some trash. Be a good yeah. citizen. You can every pound of trash, you get a Kwong point. Every pound? I said for every individual item, but now you've made oh, it that's, much more that's difficult. Oh, that's pretty excessive. This is a world full of trash. We gotta. He, I mean, he's Kwong giving a down. for two hundred Kwong points. She gets back her Walkman. That's not costing him much of anything. I know, but it's not about him. So I'm saying the good stuff costs you like ten thousand Kwong points. Ooh, yeah, like, but that that'd be really good stuff though. He has his little kiosk, and he's got Kwong like a big point. fluffy teddy bear that's like five thousand Kwong Kwong, Kwong no, points. That <laughs> That would be crazy. Riley? Ow. Ow. I landed on my hip. What the hell? I thought I was bitten. I know. It was kind of awesome. Riley! Where have you been? What the fuck is wrong with you sneaking up on me like that? It was a joke, okay? I thought it would work better. I should fucking stab you. No, I appreciate your mercy. Probably not the best it's joke, stupid. but hey. This is, yeah, this is why you spend your Kwong points frivolously. Save you do them. Not save, you don't save or invest your Kwong you points. Dead. You're supposed to, I don't know, talk to your best friend about it? Yeah. You can get, you can get therapy for a thousand Kwong points. Man, you are not letting that Kwong like one go, are you? It was Bethany, and I already fucked her up. Ooh, Who yeah. were you? I stole her lunch money. Her Kwong points. You're a firefly. Jesus. I told you Does the gun prove it? I guess so. Do you guys remember? She's from Wrinkle in Time. Yeah, that's where I know that film. Oh, from. okay. That film's really good. It's an excellent film. She's really, it's really great. It's okay. definitely not a one out of ten. Oh, oh, she's getting a new dress. I don't like this dress. I'm gonna get a new one. I'm not finished yet. Oh, she's turned herself to ribbons. <laughs> this is what it's like to chew five gum. <laughs> the movie. Oh my God! Look at that! Oh. <laughs> oh, oh. oh my god. Oh, it's so weird. Aha! Uh -huh. We're not going to the park. <gasps> Where are we going? Hey. Where are we going? I don't know. Should I trust you? Of course you should, with your life. Dweeb. But you're a firefly. Which means I cannot trust you. Your trust has been revoked. No. Because Fedra's fucking stupid. Be nice to Fedra. They make the trains run on time. That's true. That Man, that was real close. Okay, Rocky, start. That was very course, close. Though. I guess that's just how it would go, right? You'd hear it before you see it, so. Yeah. Man, it'd be real awkward if the car just, like, reversed back. And yeah. Or it stopped. Right back oh, I saw something. Stopped at the, the alley and just went, We can see you! What are you doing? <laughs> Yeah. You can't fight everything and everyone. You can fight that what's important. Oh, are they teaching you this at fight, fight everything, everywhere, everyone, everything yeah. all at once? Fuck I know that Carol. movie. Fuck Carol. Fucking Carol. Yeah, I hate Carol. Carol. Carol should have used her Kwong points to get a fucking clue. Wow. Firefly lights are better. <laughs> wow. Yes. One point for the anarchists. We prefer freedom fighters. <laughs> How many floors? Like. Two. Like two? So two. Well, three's like two. Similar so it could to be two? Okay. Could be one. Like a one floor building, you'd be like, it's like two. two and that would be accurate. Like you. I was at all. <laughs> oh, this seven? A seven's like a two. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh. Is he dead? Yeah. He doesn't look alive. No. 
No, this this guy wasn't here yesterday. Oh, so we should leave. Well, I mean, there's no reason to assume he's infected. Well, even then, like if people have been through here or if the cover's blown or the place has been found. Well, it's just a dead guy. You think this is going to be like how she got bit or something? Oh, no, we don't have to be doing not, that until not here. end of the episode, yeah. probably. I mean, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Like, this is the... I don't mean this guy specifically. Oh, right, because do you... The answer, Rags, is yes, yes, yes. I don't fucking know how she got bit. You're going to find out. Take yeah, those think... pills. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, he's a what? fat boy. Bye. He's a, he's a chunky boy. I guess because of the, the water leakage, I guess you could probably argue the pit. that just seems funny to me. I don't know. It does, especially when they took the bottle away. It <laughs> it's less. like his spirit from the other way is like, fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> he He's didn't like, enjoy the company. He had to go. He only paid me for three minutes. Bum, 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 bum. Remember, drinking when you're underage is bad. That's right. We do not condone this kind of reckless behavior from the youth of tomorrow. We, unlike Naughty Dog, do not intend to encourage underage children to drink. That's right. Some things should only be reserved for the sanctity of adulthood, like drinking, pill popping, or monopoly. And prostitution, and monopoly. They kind of made me swear not to let other people handle my sidearm. Not to handle my sidearm because I'm such a fucking firefly. <laughs> hey, this is what we call peer pressure. I don't know. Here, you take the booze, I'll take the gun. It's very irresponsible of you both. I started dating some Firefly dude and was like, ah, oh, this is cool, I think I'll be a terrorist. Yep, that's it. We're getting married. <laughs> Would you kiss me really, under the uh, rusty 7-Eleven sign? Okay. One At least you gave up on making the Quang points joke. What? Why? How would that? Would you kiss? Well, you think you could trade Quang points for kisses? The Quang don't roll that way. Why did you even bring up the points again, Molo? You knew what was going to happen. I did. Well, that's why I did. I, def I defended the Quang points. Quang points are no joke. Do you want in? That's it. No rude initiations. Nope. I said yes, and now I'm a firefly. That seems very insecure. Not like they, not like insecure, like people are insecure, but as in like not secure. I get what you mean. Like it's very quick. I assume. What is the betting pro? Well, like? the implication of his story though is that they've known about it for a while. Right. Presumably they've done checks on it. Well, yeah, you'd figure that if they've lasted this long, that they would have a, a pretty thorough system. Oh boy, it's like Uncharted, doing some jumping across rooftops. I was like, gonna say it's like Kenobi. Oh, yeah! No! Yeah. No, Call this it's platforming elements in the same way that these games often have stealth elements. Yeah. Oh boy, the atomic heart platforming oh, was actually, great. Maybe it's, it's more like uh, Assassin's Creed 2. It's like Venice rooftops, but it's Boston. Or like any game where you walk across buildings. That's right. Bring our own population. Uh, Fireflies blowing up the story people didn't help. Propaganda yeah. Bullshit. Yeah? Should Propaganda, huh? More? Not when civilians are around. That's propaganda bullshit. Aha! It's okay you don't know everything. I agree to disagree. <sighs> I feel like you'd be easy to see up there. The mall? Yeah, pretty much. You out of your fucking mind? They sealed that place off for a reason. It's full of infected. If it's sealed off, then why isn't it sealed off? Good question. So it's not sealed off? <laughs> and so the conclusion is... Bedra lads be using it for fun, or they don't want people to know? Is that the idea? I guess there's a lot of things that you could infer from that. Well, they should still be pretty fucking careful, I guess. <laughs> Hopefully they will be. Slimey. Yeah. Ew. It's been exposed for a few years. So, since Slime, that yay. connected that block up to the grid, this place got connected too. Not that they know. Oh. They, they wouldn't know? Why wouldn't they know that? <laughs> Ow. Pay attention. Yeah, don't shine lights on my eyes. Especially since you can find out just by taking a casual glance. Yeah. And why wouldn't they have searched this place if it's literally in their own city? Yeah. And also, if it's full of infected and, and not sealed off. Yeah, like, I mean, I'm getting I a lot of information here that's not seeming quite right. Like, so it's full of infected and sealed off, but the federal people have never been down here and they also don't know there's electricity feeding into here. Because, like, it seems like it could be a massive problem if it does have infected and it's in the QZ and they're not keeping an eye on it actively. And it's a it's a mall down here, right? Yeah. Resources? Yeah. I'm sure that I mean, plus the Fedra and Kansas City kept the 
infected from coming out, so... Assuming that would just well, my, be yeah. anything that you do. The only argument I could buy as to why Fedra aren't here is because it's filled with infected, but clearly it isn't. Yeah, because otherwise there would surely be a lot of utility in, in a place like this. And especially now that all the lights are on, surely this might attract the attention of Fedra. The lights. We're fine. You saw outside. It's like a big bunker. No one can see shit but us. I just don't understand yeah. how they could conclude Fedra don't know that electricity fed into here. That's just weird. Well, I mean, of course they would, right? They just understand how the grid works. <laughs> Most people would understand how the grid would work, I guess. I would have thought. Was the, in the game, so outside, where was the, like the, sh the shops? Was that in the QZ as well? I think so. I don't see why it wouldn't be. Okay. I mean, it's, it's funny because all they needed to do was say, yeah, it's sealed off and it's, uh, I don't know, going to be checked out eventually by Fedra more than likely so we can have our fun with it before they do that or something. Yeah. Electric stairs. Stairs that move. Can you believe it? Oh, and they're, they're playing. Aha! Uh -huh. They're playing uh -huh. the song. Uh -huh. And also, right. I, I like that. I like that she thinks that Escalate is a cool. They are kind of cool anyway. Cool. <laughs> they are, but especially if you haven't really seen them before. Yeah. You've never automated travel. I wonder if they'd work after twenty years of being not hooked up or something. Hmm. What's well, the thing, right? Is this place been untouched for twenty years, or no, people no, ransacked it? Or? Around. Well, yeah, it, it probably was. Like, it probably hasn't been for twenty years, right? If it's in the QZ. That's, that's kind of what I'm getting at. This, this, my understanding of this place and how it relates to Fedra is very strange. <laughs> yeah. Right now, I'm just yeah. Comfortable. Yep. Well, <laughs> it's not comfortable at what? all. And sometimes they are kind of comfy. It is very comfy, I have to say. Things remembered. Gap. Oh, they could fit through that gap. Give me your hand. Might be carousel time. Come on. Blood Brothers. She just thunks, hits something. She's not actually really like guiding her well. She just hits a pole. Just one of them 300 pits here, and she just walks her into it. Bye-bye. There she is. Oh my goodness. A carousel. The carousel. Now I'm almost curious as to why they wouldn't want to make sure this place isn't sucking up energy. Like, they'd want to close it down. Especially in a place that is, yeah, resource scarce. Yeah. As, All of a sudden, uh, an entire it... mall getting electricity, sucking it from the grid. And they'd have to out. know about it. Yeah. I want to ride the horses. Can't believe that they used to drive <clears throat> spikes through the middle of horses and coat them in yeah, that was really plastic. Cruel of them. To, We've yeah. moved on since then, okay? That was past mistakes. They had different We're morals back progressive then. Progressive people now, yeah. This is before the horse what? uprising <laughs> of 92. You got drunk. No, we should we should stay sober. You shouldn't drink and drive. You shouldn't drink and ride. You that guy that, that guy died from drinking drink. that, you know. Oh my god, I can't uh, I wanna ride the pony. <laughs> this is cute and all. I hope something happens soon though. It's a little Where's um, the zombies? A little slow on events. Yeah. I would even say yeah, it's a little bit slow of... on conversations too. It's mostly just them having fun. Yeah, just sort of hanging right. out. There should be a bloater on one of the horses right behind them. He's like, Rawr. <laughs> He's riding it like, oh, this is great. <laughs> Yay, horsies. Did you really leave because you actually think you could liberate this place? Don't say it like it's some Mom. type of fantasy, Ellie. They've done it in the other QZs. Yeah, we could do that too. We're like the future. You know, She's saying do it from the inside. We could be running things. You could be running things. You know what Quan gave me? <gasps> Points? Sewage detail. No, sewage detail. Oh. Uh. Stand in guard while people shovel shit. That's what they think of me. Why? Someone's gotta do it. <laughs> yeah, someone's gotta do it. First what off, you, you get this whole standing around well, all I'm, day holding uh, a gun is I mean, probably... She doesn't, she doesn't want to do it. I mean, that's it. <laughs> hey man, we've all got a pitch in, okay? You, you don't even have to do that. I guess do I'm, it. You I'm, just I guess stand I'm there watching. That she, uh, I'm, I just want to hear more of her reasoning, I guess. I would have gotten it back then, too, you know? You know, you're the one thing I miss from that fucking place. Because I would, I would assume that in terms of her motivation, that might have just been the thing that made her go like, ah, you know no. what, actually, I believe enough in but the fireflies, I'll do that. 
Three rather than also, you know what? I guess the I weird part of me is like, what? that's what they think of me, and it's like, I mean, do you, what, what, what are you like scoring low on your like grades, and that they need? It's not like they hate you, I assume. Well, I mean, maybe it's they don't want her to be like an officer, right? They don't because maybe they don't believe that she is, uh, I guess, as in lockstep. I think that would like, be a better a reason. I just didn't. I wasn't sure if that's what she was going for, as opposed to I just don't uh, like that job. Yeah, I get you. Like if they put her on sewage detail because she's clearly a a, a bit of a wild card. Like, oh, okay, yeah, I could see why that would annoy you. Wait. <laughs> on yourself? That's not how you don't. You, what's your left hand doing? I think she was trying to put both on her head. Didn't really work wow. out. Wow. Who messes that up? Okay, yeah. Get out. Okay, okay, sorry. That's a pretty cool. That's a pretty cool rabbit. He is. He is a very. Right. Look at him. He's wearing sunnies as well. He's a very cool rabbit. He's affirming people's didn't they, confidence. Didn't they not print in the game? Oh my god, I can't believe it's actually gonna work. <laughs> I know. Hit me, Trey. <sighs> okay. Oh, come on! Fuck you! Maybe if you put it up here. <sighs> oh. Uh oh. Oh, <laughs> what just happened? I think we broke it. <laughs> I think we did too. They gave it to him in the show, huh? I think they well, break the machine in the game. Out, right? Oh, it's just taking to... time before it fades in, right? Yeah. Or is it not? I think, I think it's, it's just, just a, an old 20-year-old machine that's been sitting oh, okay. yeah. They really should replace the ink in that machine. I don't know what they're thinking. Yeah, I mean, no, that's the main... lack of the management of this shopping center. <laughs> yeah. Fuck, this place really is a huge drain, isn't is it? Is it an entire- Whoa! An entire <laughs> wor working arcade? Oh, yeah, because remember she saw the arcade in, um, in the- in the place that they stopped over at. Uh, she just saw outside of Boston. Uh, a cabinet, Mortal Kombat yeah. 2, yeah. Which I think she had a poster for in her room as well. In the game, so that's, she can that's right, play. Yeah. Mortal Kombat 2, And then Kombat Tetris, too, yeah. and maybe and then Street Fighter 2. Yeah, look uh, at all these arcade games. I think they had a fictional Frogger. game in- Woo! In the game, they had like the where she plays as someone called yeah, Angel Knives and the licensing, right? Yeah, the, the interesting thing about that is like it's clearly Mortal Kombat, but like not Mortal Kombat. Yeah, yeah, I Art. guess they got Mortal Kombat for this though. Oh, Daytona, you guys remember USA. Daytona? Oh, yeah, yeah Daytona USA. Yay. Yeah, gotta insert coins, I'll just cheat you away to this stuff. You got any Quang points? Wow, now he's doing it. <laughs> It's making a comeback. I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm taking it back. <laughs> I'm, bring, I'm, I'm bringing back Wong points. That lucky that that's the way that it is. Did someone already break it? Oh, apparently she spent an hour breaking it open the day oh, before. Oh, okay. That's a well, lot of she Quang points. This. She planned this whole uh, this whole day out. Rahas. Oh, Rahas they're going to play Mortal Kombat. That's, yeah, that's Mortal Kombat. Yeah. <laughs> this is 2023, like in our world. So they could have just found an old abandoned arcade and just like... Fixed the quasi fixed it up. Well, there's a couple of changes I would have made. I, I can't buy that this place is drawing that much energy and that Fedra don't give a shit. And that nobody yeah. cares. This is know. like a bunch of working arcade machines and all that sort of stuff. How do I play? Smash the button. There's so many of them. I now you know what? I I don't know that that is how you play Mortal Kombat. Smash the buttons. Yeah, button mashers always win. I was gonna say button mashers is never thing. Yeah. No skill whatsoever. <laughs> Wow, you got fucking wrecked, loser. Yeah, she got- yeah, yeah like... Flawless, wow. You didn't hit her I think, once? I think you can get by mashing buttons. I had this exact game for Sega CD. <laughs> you can definitely yeah. get by, well, you, but- You can get by, it's just, you know, <laughs> that high-level play. Yeah. Do a fatality. Do it! She knows it! <laughs> Good old Mortal Kombat. sucked his bones in. Well, Turned she sucked into a all pile of him of in and then sucked the bones out. Oh yeah, she freed his skeleton. Yeah. Now he can be free to no explore the his world. No longer in flash mech. I'm free. So she's been there a few times, which means that it's. I guess it's been like this for long enough that it wasn't like just a couple of days. There's another yeah. part of it that could help believe it, right? Having it be active it just for like right a half now. hour, oh, even. But it's been longer. Oh, than this is a. This go, is an ominous. This is our spooky this shot. Is yeah. This is our scary shot. Whose POV is this? Is it someone noticing the bright ass lights? It'd be the oh no, spooky music anything, and spooky right? lighting. Every story has an S. It's funny for a moment that you're like, what's wrong with Rebecca? Why is Rebecca the doll a bad thing? Is that, are we doing the three good? <laughs> That's a zombie. Yeah. I live. Looks pretty good though. Yeah, money's worth. She has a gun, though. I feel like you're gonna need more than one clicker. 
But I'm not sure, because the game has Unless a lot of them. he up on them, maybe? Maybe they're so... Uh, yeah, that could work. Oh no, I got stabbed. Oh, come on. Next thing. I have to wake up and make my bed soon. So, I'll meet you here tomorrow. I got you a gift. <gasps> what what could it be? It doesn't like since yes. I don't need him anymore. Oh, I'm just gonna give you all my clone points. Better. Oh, it's a zombie. In the games, it is water pistols or water guns. Uh, yes. Nacho, macho, nacho. Is this where you've been staying? Mostly. So she's actually like this is her like place. Shut up. made a second. Oh, that'd be the joke book that she, uh, that she had. Right, yes. Yeah. She had part one, and now this is part two. Uh, well, no, two. but when she was with Joel, right, that would have been part two, is what I'm saying. Yeah, what I'm saying is she had part one in this episode on her yeah, desk. Yeah, I saw that. So that's why this is, like, yeah. a meaningful gift, I guess. How does a computer get drunk? It takes screenshots. That's not bad. What are screenshots? I don't actually know. Okay. <laughs> oh, they don't know what screenshots are? Oh... These are pipe bombs. These are not good. You shouldn't have these. No, they're not mine. <laughs> I swear. They belong to the chef. Who these kill is. people. <laughs> it's to kill buildings. The evil buildings. Oh! Well, it still doesn't account for Fedra. <laughs> I guess I'm just like, that's that's something. Like They yeah. were putting pipe bombs in the tacos. You. You're just some new scrub girl. Ellie. No, no, no. Were you no, going to no, blow me up with your little pipe here. bombs? You made bombs, but I already said, like, you sort of did that before, but now it's confirmed. They're sending me to a post in the Atlantic QC. Tonight's my last night in Boston. Subway. Eat fresh. Which is not going to happen. It's very unlikely that you will here. be eating fresh at the local subways at the mall. But it says eat fresh. That's true. They've become liars. <laughs> Sandwich sellers and liars. They go together. In like between a those subway. two buns is nothing but broken promises, <laughs> low calorie lies. And I wanted to say goodbye. This is the music that plays in the confrontation this between Joel and Ellie, really but they didn't play this see. song in that scene. So I do I'll really like this track. I do really like this track. Hope nothing bad happens in here. This creepy ass hallway. No, this yeah. is the nice hallway. I think all that's happening is she's making, yeah, that she's making a choice to go back. Poor loser. Didn't even commit. No spine. It said ominous music is playing. Riley? <laughs> what the fuck? That's kind of messed up. Surprise. That's the second ill advised joke you've done. The fifth wonder. Give me the book. In the book. I came back for you. You said it was my gift. I'm not leaving without yeah. it. <laughs> you did say it was, yeah. And no trade it in for no maybe backspace. some Quang points. All of a sudden you're alive. And you give me this night. And now you're leaving again. Forever. To join some cause I don't even think you understand. You don't know everything. You don't know what it was like to have a family. To belong. And I want that again. Yeah, but they're so kind of a crazy family who blow things up. What I think they are, but they chose me. I matter to them. Mm. Mm. You're my best friend. You're my best friend. And I'll miss you. Where's that zombie? <laughs> if I remember correctly in the game, she says she's going to be leaving, and then Ellie convinces her not to, right? I remember someone's convinced. <laughs> Werewolf. I just, I can't remember who. Put on your furry costume and dance. Oh, well, I'm guessing that they that. might be trying to have this be different to further reinforce maybe Ellie's desire to, you know, help the Fireflies and follow through. Well, yeah, they seem to be presenting the struggle between Fedra and Fireflies to be very balanced in this show world. Or at least more yeah, balanced, yeah. it feels, and that it shouldn't be outright agreed on one side or the other. Mm hmm. Why'd they put masks on? I, I can't see like, the emotions. I feel like they'd go through those. I don't know. I don't know what the tops are made out of. Well, they... What are in those? If it's, like, um... Valuables, I can imagine that glass is strong as fuck. It looks like they're just, like, masks and stuff. as a Halloween store. 
It is a Halloween store, so I can't imagine they have something in there that's that valuable. Maybe have they have like relics, you know, like mummy toes and things, <laughs> like werewolf teeth, like the real things. What? Don't go. Okay. I'm sorry. What? No dog tag ripoff in this one, though. Damn, ruined it. Get ready to run. Should probably... It's gonna take, like, a couple more bullets, and that should be... Oh. She's knocked out? Oh, that's not good. She was not good. She was not effective with that firearm. She's gonna. She's a very bad fire. Well, it annoys me a little bit. I think he. She should have easily killed it. Yeah. I think. Oh, you should have kept used the gun. It sneaking up on them when they were playing music loud would have been perfect, but they didn't do that. Yeah. Hey, no reason someone else can't enjoy that. I guess they weren't that strong. I like the contrast in their reactions to it. Yeah. What are we, what are we gonna do? The way I see it, we got two options. We take the easy way out. It's quick, painless. No. No, I don't like option one. I'm not a fan of option one. Option two. We just keep going. What are you talking about, really? It's over. It will be. But not yet. It ends this way for everyone sooner or later, right? Some of us just get there faster than others. But we don't quit. Whether it's two minutes or two days. We could just be all poetic and shit and lose our minds together. What's option three? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> They're both pretty great actresses. Yeah, yeah. performance is as strong as episode. That'll do. Was, uh, that was an episode. A whole episode. I mean, um, it's going to be my, probably my least favorite, but you know. <laughs> definitely my I'm, least I'm leaning favorite. towards it being one of the weaker episodes of the season, even though I think that there's some pretty great elements in there. Um, yeah. yeah. Just, uh, I really just didn't, like, there was a couple times where I'm like, alright, 
something needs to happen now. Like, I get it. They like Mortal Kombat. Let's go. I don't think that was my problem. I think they could have actually reinforced their relationship a little bit uh, better in that episode. I felt like they could have done a bit more. I think the uh, the time we had with them, I would have expected them to do a lot more in terms of binding yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. Because, I mean, you basically got a whole episode dedicated to them. And I, I don't feel like we got as much as uh, corresponds with the amount of time that we spent on it. What'd you bring me? Oh my god, it's episode eight. No one episode will know. Eight. Snow. We predicted there would be snow because we saw snow last time. Look at that wide shot. That's a nice shot. That's real water they got there. And I saw a new <laughs> actual snow. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away. Uh oh. The tabernacle of God. Tabernacle's a funny is word. With men. Tabernacle of God is with me. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. They could do this in an actual church if they wanted to, right? I do uh, maybe how, they don't have one. How exactly they would scout out all the different places they want, or how much they'd want to keep it close to the game or not. That guy was in El Camino. You're right, he was one of the cops, right? Or the fake cops. Uh, the, yeah. The guy in the shootout, the other guy. And God will wipe away all tears from their eyes. Ah, and you're crying, there it's so no funny. Neither sorrow nor crying. Neither will there be any more pain. What a great deal. Yeah. Is he going to eat her in this scene? Um, hey. um, um, um. This could be, they might have adapted the non-cannibal version. <laughs> when can we bury him? The ground is too cold to dig. Oh, we don't bury people here, bud. Oh, There's Troy. Troy. That was Troy? That's the, the ground Rags, that is dig. Joel. Wow. I hope he does his Joel voice in the show. But for now, so, he's going to be frozen. Sure. We may as well... Uh, acknowledge the elephant in the room that um, there is a bit of a twist in the game. You discover this group eat human meat. Oh my I, goodness gracious. And I imagine that that's already what they're implying with those looks after, you know, bearing a body. It's like, I'm assuming maybe the community itself doesn't know. Do we have left? Mm. Mm, that's because uh, in the game, they're all, uh, they're, yeah. they're all happy to eat uh, humans. Oh, I guess they're dealing more with the logistics mm -hmm. then of, like, they have a supply of food, but then occasionally they do this. Could be, yeah. Uh, and they mix it in. Josiah and Martin think they spotted some deer the other night, a couple miles east. He is not doing the Joel voice. Disappointing. Zero out of ten. Well, so it makes me wonder, could you guys have bought him as Joel in this? He's uh, not quite no. old enough, I think. You can age him up a bit. I think the build isn't quite right, yeah, but yeah, I agree. Maybe he could uh, do something about that. I don't know, as an actor. I feel like this is indicative of the strengths of video games. Do. Like, you can have somebody who's got the right voice and they can match, you know, the Spinner. physicality in terms of movement and everything. But yeah. even if they don't quite look like what you want them to, it's like, well, it's a video game. You can create an yeah. original person. It's getting intense with that now, especially with uh, Christopher Judge and Kratos, right? Kratos, yeah. So much physical acting. At this point, it's like voice actor doesn't really cover it. The voice actor is kind of downplaying how much they have to do, like with that role, over how much time and physically yeah. embodying the character. Yeah. No slight against Troy on my part. I think that guy does a fucking amazing job doing the voice in it's the Joel. game. Like, oh, he yeah, does. He's, yeah, uh, he's, he's very, great. very good. And uh, it looked like what we were establishing there is that uh, David's got control through the Bible, at least somewhat, and he doesn't the want Bible. people. I wonder if what they're going to try and set up here is that because Joel is near to death, they'd rather actually kill him and, and use him for meat rather than the person who was part of their group. Maybe that'll be the dynamic. Like, who are you with? Because they're not part of our group, so this would be a better trade for us. Mm. Could Maybe. go any direction. You never exactly know. Yeah. Here's a cracker for when you wake up. <laughs> it's a little reward for... It'd be so unfortunate cuts. if he rolls slightly and it falls onto the floor and he's like, can't eat it now, it's on the floor. Uh, she gets a straw from upstairs and she says, you need to suck up oh, those crackers. Oh, she's gonna go... Or is she... I wonder if she's gonna find a uh, bow. Well, she, I, I think the idea there is she's gonna go hunt something, right? Yes, but I wonder if they're gonna... Right, so no bow, though. I mean, yeah. I mean, especially considering if, if you have never... If you have not shot a bow before it no i mean of course in the in the yeah. game she uses a, a bow yeah i was half expecting for the episode to open on the shot with the rabbit where the arrow goes through oh it. yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. that's the cutest fucking thing i've ever seen in my entire life 
Bar, the bow implies like the fact that she's super proficient with that sort of implies a massive amount of time that she's been taking care of him like it's been Ex a while exactly um, yeah. whereas here it's seemingly more condensed because we haven't had the autumn section we we went straight to winter right yeah actually if i was to guess i don't actually i wouldn't know where to begin in terms of if, if it's been could even have been just a week maybe or even less it was like it, it yeah it hasn't necessarily been long which I wonder. Ah, ah. fuck that rabbit Ooh, up! Look at that rabbit. You can tell it's cold too by her face. She's actually Be very, out the very there. quiet. Yes, they're clearly out in the. <laughs> That's yeah, a good reference. But yes, you can tell that they're actually shooting out in the cold area. Come on, Ellie, get it together. Yeah. Also, don't get lost. <laughs> Like, seriously, don't get lost. Getting lost is bad, I will actually I'll give you that. Getting lost yeah. is real bad, yeah. Well, there's the footprints. She can use that to get back. Clicking continues in brackets, excuse me. Clicking. <laughs> <gasps> it's a dur. Dear, oh, my dur, a dur. It might not be real, but if you kill it, it turns into actual meat. Oh, like in Age of Empires. Shoot that to deer. That's an easy shot. That's you got this. though. It's... Oh, nice shot. Decent ish. Don't worry, it'll bleed. You follow it. Should have shot it in the brain. Shot right through the fucking face. <laughs> Idiot hunter doesn't yeah. aim yeah. to kill. Instead, aims uh, to make sure they I just love these hit. environment awesome. shots. The, I love that they've actually gone out to shoot in these really beautiful locations. In yep. the monte. Oh, schnitzel. Don't. Drop your rifles. Now! Who's there? Come out! Hello? We just want to talk. Turn and face me. Slow. Any sudden moves, I put one right between your eyes. Ditto for Buddy Boy. Any sudden moves, and I put one right between your eyes. Ditto for Buddy Boy over there. What do you want? You're quite a hunter. We didn't even hear you coming. Turn around and walk away. It's not quite okay, Batman, but it's a little bit okay, deeper. All I ask is 10 seconds. Put the weapons down. I won't say it twice. Please, just 10 seconds. Yeah, my she's overcompensating David. like crazy. This is my friend James. Medicine? Like for infections. We do. No, no, no not that yeah, infection. Village, like... He comes back, you get half the deer. Anyone else shows up, I put, one, put right one right between, between my eyes. I don't know, Take Troy doesn't seem convinced, does he? Some penicillin. Yeah, he's, uh... Yeah, this is kind of like they've done it throughout the season. It's it's close. It's not quite one-to-one, -one, but it's close. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fair number of parallels. Ten steps back. The blocking is pretty much one-to-one. -one. Five, six... <laughs> he slips, seven, like, oh, whoa, 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 that was eleven, yeah, damn it. That's why you're out here on your own? Hey! Not well, bad! Like, uh, yeah, like mm, you good. It's a four-mile round trip back to our settlement. It's gonna be a while before James gets back. I have some oil and matches in my pack. We could take shelter, start a fire. I wonder if they're gonna do the encounter. Go. I do not know if they want to spend that kind of time on it. I'd like to see it. Well, I think that would be the one opportunity to introduce some infected in this episode. I don't expect them to do it at any other point point well because even if it gives you a small it gives you more of a reason to I push them warm. back in the direction of the settlement gives david more of a reason yeah, to yeah, you know yeah. well if they do it i hope they give more of a reason yeah. it's kind of random in in the game well, it's then just like... just a, a sudden infected Yeah. So, <laughs> so what's your name? Well, in the game, it establishes some sense of trust between the two characters, right? Strangers, I know. Yes. Yeah, like, a little bit. There's room for you in our group, if you want. You're inviting me to your hunger club? Thanks. Uh, <laughs> it's true. We're hungry. We're still here. I'm a decent man. Just That's what decent men say. That's also what people lying say. If they're not actually decent, if they're just pretending to be decent. This is true. That's the conundrum. Yes. Is this some weird cult thing? I am a preacher, but just pretty standard Bible stuff. What? The whole world ended and you still believe that shit. <laughs> I actually started believing after the world ended. <laughs> I was about to say that might have bolstered their beliefs, to be honest. Math. Yeah. Well, I found God after the apocalypse, which is either the best time or the worst time to find him. Hard to say. But when the Pittsburgh QZ fell in 17, I left with a few others, and that's how I ended up with our flock. A long way from Pittsburgh. 
the pit. That's a nod yeah. to the game for we'd sure. Settle somewhere and then raiders would come, mm. so we'd move again. Just like those fucking raiders, they're like ants and they're just yeah. everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Only luck had to run up sooner or later. Hmm? Luck? No such no, thing. Divine no providence. I believe everything happens for a reason. Sent four of our people to a nearby town to to scavenge what they could. Oh, the those are the guys at the university. Well, I was about to say, you should be able to yeah. notice and the her numbers dad was there. Taken from. Turns out he was murdered by this crazy man. And get this, he's a crazy man traveling with a little girl. That crazy man was traveling with a little girl. You see, everything happens for a reason. You see? Everything happens for a reason. James, lower the gun. I do question both in the game and here why he said this to her. Everything happens yeah. for a reason. It's so like James, lower the gun. Yeah, but look, his eyes are a little bit unhinged, see? Yeah. <laughs> she kill Alec, didn't she? She didn't kill anybody. Lower the gun. Is he saying it so we have context for that bullet of gutter there? Did you bring the well, I like that he's trying to gain her trust yeah, by control. taking the opportunity to tell the guy to lower his yeah. gun. And I guess like, you could argue Ellie sees him. he's explaining how much he has reason to kill her, but he won't. He's like, I'm chill. I'm being nice. Yeah. I know you're not with a group. You won't survive for long out there. I can protect you. Free deer. Woohoo. Actually, yeah. we're free. That's On paper, medicine. he seems like a nice man, but. It's just those little tells. Let it go away. Yeah, he's, he's just got evil looking. He's got an evil, you know, look in his eye there. No offense to the actor, <laughs> but oh, well, actually, evil. yeah, I, I even would respect the actor for that. The end no, of that I, delivery I, I was like, like was good yeah, in terms exactly. of just being the, unsettling. Oh, has been good so far. Yeah. Yeah, I think the acting's great so far. You get that in him, Stephen. Judging from that, how long do you think it's been? I do not, not know. Long. Doesn't look like it's been long. Where the fuck do I put it? You gotta get a... In the eye. <laughs> uh, I wish I knew what the nature of doing that is. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, actually, I, I, I genuinely have no idea medically. It I have no idea if this is... I don't know if all the doctors out there are nodding or cringing. Yeah, I guess we'll find out <laughs> in the next comment showcase. In that situation, wouldn't it be best to find a vein in the forearm? I don't oh, I know. I, 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 I genuinely just have no don't know. What medicine actually does, or where you would apply it. Was antibiotics, right? It's penicillin. Apply directly to the forehead, or like in the thigh, or something. I don't know. Well, because I presume it's because the wound might be infected. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I just don't know if that. It, I assume it's viable because holy fuck, what a mistake if it's not. You know. Well, it makes sense for Ellie to decide. Well, I'll just stick it in where it hurts. For Joel, I guess, where the wound is. Well, yeah, specifically to combat infection from that wound, so that's why she's done it, but I just want to know, you know, medically speaking, what would happen if right. you do that. Yeah. If they're by the water, could they, like, fish and stuff? Is that a thing that they could do? All the fish got infected, drags. Oh, there's zombie fish. Zombie fish. <laughs> there's a bloat of fish out there. Just going... yeah. Is this going to be gross? You ever seen Piranha Double D? It's like that. Piranha Double D. Which one is that? Is that, like, the third, fourth? I can't remember. It's a, it's a three double D, I think, because it's three D. That ain't as well venison. as having lots of tits. That ain't venison. Mallet, it's not it's human. venison. It's imagine she like takes it, just bite out of it, and just goes, "This is human, dude. What the fuck?" <laughs> Yo, this is yeah. I know oh, human. Man, this is gonna be a <laughs> chunky ass meaty stew. Jeez, you don't want to cut that up a little smaller, especially to make it last too, right? Yeah. They're going to come in dragging the deer? See, when we're in need, he shall provide, and, and Jeebus provided them a deer. Thanks, Jeebus. I call the antlers. Why, though? It's okay to celebrate. If you've heard a rumor, oh. yes, when the sun rises, I'll lead a group out to pick up her trail. Oh, okay. Lake. So I just realized something. It's pretty dumb they sent four raiders with no fucking guns when they all have guns here. Right, as as they all had clubs and stuff, yeah. Whoops. Yeah, that's just stupid, isn't it? And if they had, they probably would have gone, Joel, so... How did they find out that they fa met the two? Uh, well, I'm guessing Troy Baker Told? said something maybe when he came back. Oh. Oh, jeez. That's not nice. Is this a God thing? God wouldn't want us the to The Bible do that. says, I gotta slap you when you're out of line. <laughs> I was gonna say, like, wh before David slapped a child, why do they all seem to dislike David? Is because they all suspect that he's <laughs> lying to them about where the food's coming from? I thought it might be that, but I think it's just... I thought it was that too, but it's just a bit just disturbing. Thing. And also, yeah. <laughs> I don't think you don't have a father anymore. 
but you can still get fucking slapped, so watch yourself. Oh no, is he about to say it's me, or is he talking about Jeebus? Oh, he means him. Listen, the problem with this guy is that he doesn't just eat other people, he's, he's got the other thing. Well, it's he's, just the whole- this whole group is unsettling. There's just like a sort of cloud hanging over them. Yeah. yeah. Especially compared to Jackson, where everything seems pretty chill. Yeah, I want to live in Jackson, I don't want to live here. I, that's one thing I quite like about the encounters throughout the story of The Last of Us, which they've done in the show as well, there's is that there's all these different people. kinds of people, yeah. It's not even a happy cult. It's one of those well, sad, miserable true. cults. <laughs> so you get like the worst of both worlds. Well, I don't know if we're meant to get the sense that they're all off kilter or they're just all kind of mad at David I for some uh, reason. My sense right now is just that they kind of fear him a bit. Right. Because he's just creepy. He hasn't actually and, done anything. He's just really creepy. He has a, and he does. He, it might be that he has control over it, but he does provide, so to speak. Yeah. And no one's like talking. No, they're not like being social or they're ha they're not even like happy or anything. Yeah, everyone's very. His his, uh, his meal is much bigger. Than I was about to say, yeah, he's yeah. got way yeah. more. He gets, mm. he gets a lot. Mm. Which would be like an interesting rule, you know, in the sense of if you are the one who brings back the deer, you get an extra portion, you know, to motivate him to, you know, really go out there and get it. But that's, the impression you know, I get is that he just gets the. He's just the leader. Yeah. He's in charge. Even though he mm -hmm. kind of looks a little frail, or at least a little gaunt, and I think that was on purpose to make him look a bit more, um, you know, off <laughs> Yeah. Oh well, appears to be getting better. They should do a Doctor Reacts to The Last of Us. Uh, that probably already exists. I hope it'd be better than like a Deer Reacts to The Last of Us. <laughs> a Deer Reacts. <laughs> this man's not already dead. He's dangerous. We bring that girl back with us. She's just another mouth to feed. If we leave her out here, she'll die. Maybe that's God's will. Don't do that shit. I decide what God's will is. No one did, <laughs> yeah, no one gets to decide what God's will is but me. Ooh, careful. I am God. Yeah, he's... It's that's... just Troy Baker's character seems persistently sad. Like, yeah, that's the really vibe sad. he has all the time. Joel, Joel, wake up. Okay. okay is he pretending to be asleep? No, no, he's just oh, waking no, okay. up. Okay. Right. But if anybody makes it down here, you fucking kill them. You got it? Let's craft a med kit. Yeah, craft a med kit. You, <laughs> yes. have, you need uh, you need cloth, alcohol, <laughs> and that's what, um, and real about ten seconds of your time. Do yeah. they have the uh, the pistol? What does she have it? Uh, yeah, they should have a. She should have a pistol. He should have a revolver and a rifle as well. I think. And then there's well, the rifle. She has a rifle. Where's her rifle? Yeah. Or is she ditching her guns? Because yeah, I don't know if it was. The, she's gonna try and draw them off, right? Like because. Yeah. She foolishly yeah. being a child, as she does in the game, goes back to Joel without realizing, of course, they will follow her there. Yeah. And so, yeah, it's all follows. Yeah, this this is all solid in terms of just, it's better they chase her than find Joel. Yeah, yeah. well, I totally believe she'd do this, 100%. Yeah. No, other universe Joel, don't do it! <laughs> I'm gonna shoot that horse. Oof. Man, that I guess they'll Dude. eat the horse. <laughs> like that's, Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So how was, did he get? I guess he cut through the fence or something. Yeah, he took like a shortcut. I was just thinking like the potential of trying to not have the horse die for use of travel, but then I was like, actually, these people would probably want to eat it asap. Yeah, where are they going to travel to? Exactly. Damn, he's about to execute her. Was he? They clearly said so. That means that they're all in cahoots the to other disobey guys him. Said do it. Yeah, they yeah. all they all like Demon. What do you think that is in terms of? Do you, do you think they don't like him, but they follow him anyway? Well, no. Um, are they trying to spare her? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like a mercy Maybe. kill for Ellie because they don't want to subject her to David. I have a mm. feeling that's what it is. Oh uh, yeah. It was all those looks that each of those guys had that they mm. focused in on that makes me think that. Yeah. You stay here. Go door to door. Hmm. Uh. You so hungry for vengeance? Deliver it. My guess is he wasn't always crazy. But he's Something become happened. that way, you think? Something's, something's happened, yeah. To, they, they said he went. He was a teacher and he turned into preacher, which would have kept people together in really hard times, right? And then as time goes on, especially with that bigger portion of meal, and he's doing, he, we're going to find out what, but he's doing some extra things that clearly they're, yeah, they're, like they're vaguely aware of. Festering, growing discontent. Yeah. Jimmy's a bad shot. He didn't even get to have a scope on his rifle. I hope we're heading toward a particular scene. Uh, uh, I think we are. Get up, buddy. 
attention to detail with the blood there on the uh on the mattress. Things Maybe, that's kinda yeah, what I was trying to say. Oh well he's dead. Right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's that's like, gnarly, jeez. Yeah, he just because he's low energy right now, he's just gotta just wait. There at him. Damn. That does help it at least. Like we still get a sense that he's very sluggish and like well, he's still... wheezing as well. Yeah. Now we've split the two up. Joel's got to defend himself here and go like where are they going to meet? Are they going to meet this episode? It, out of curiosity, Rags, does is anything in your head playing out in terms of what you're expecting to happen? Not really. I think a whole bunch of stuff could happen. You're a dangerous person. You certainly proven that. Did you not play the first game, Rags, or not finish it? Or? Not this far, no. Oh, okay. Did you hear me say the others want to kill you? Yeah. But I stopped them. Fuck you. Why don't we just start with your name? Eat shit. Hey, ah, listen French. To me. <laughs> you can't survive Interesting there. name. This is a person who desperately wants to manipulate people, but just has no job. <laughs> <laughs> like it's not happening, or at least not for Ellie, anyway. That part of your life, it's ending. And what I'm offering you is a beginning. But if you can't find a way to trust me, then yes, you are alone. It's funny. Sweet, you mean I can be alone without you? Awesome. He's got a different face and voice to the David from the game, but they have captured the important part, so to speak. Well, uh, David in the game was played by Nolan North. So, yes, oh. they definitely different different voice. Well, though, Nolan North has, like, pretty crazy... Idy ho there, neighbor. Timothy, okay? Nolan does Nathan Drake in Uncharted, for people who don't know. <laughs> and Desmond in uh, Assassin's Creed. And oh. Penguin oh. in... Oh, so that's... Ew. Yeah. I hate to say it, but that's an improvement. We're uh, getting punished Joel here. Joel, Joel gets jumped by two people and then sort of wins the fight in the game. Here he is, oh, yeah. trap, which I prefer. Oh, oh here yeah. we go. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, oh. Leave him alone. Oh. You're next. Oh, please. I don't know any girl. Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. He can't help you. You focus right here. Oh. Or I'll pop your fucking kneecap off. I like that Pedro's playing this still a bit delirious. Like, uh, yeah, he yeah. was more put, put together in the game a bit more at this where, point. Where? Oh, that sound. What the fuck? Oh, jeez. What the town? You want your kneecaps, that's a thing. It's not a real town name, it's a resort. A resort? You're gonna point to where we are, and where your resort is, it'll be the exact same spot your buddy points to. I'm gonna mark it with the blood. Hopefully oh. he wipes the blood off for the next guy. I feel like That's you should remember how this goes. <laughs> well, not you, Rags, John will. Tell you, I'm not lying. Yeah. Because you're right. No. You wouldn't need to worry about that no. if he was gonna check. Jesus! No. Oh right, yeah. No, you're right. Oh, I forgot about that. that. Told you what you Part wanted. of it. You motherfucker! Fuck you! I ain't telling you shit. It's okay. No. I believe him. No. Well, That's why yeah, it's just, just one yeah. to one. It's, it's, it's just it's, one. It's really to good one ending. Answer. To just say like it's it's a clever thing. Like you know, he's already laid the threat. So as far as he's concerned, he'll probably get the truth out of him first try. He and then of course to. it just shows like this is Joel. This Joel is scary. Yeah, Joel uh, gets very scary. Joel yeah. gets results when, when he wants them. <laughs> for what it's worth, this is just dear me. I swear. Oh gee, <laughs> I trust you. Me up into little pieces. I'd rather not. Please well, these are just one-to-one -one lines from the game. It's just the deer meat. So now what? You gonna chop me up into tiny pieces? I taste terrible. If you I'm all stringy. Judge, judge you? You're eating people, you sick fuck! They right, now I gotta go <laughs> clean it up by the <laughs> yeah. ear and everything. It's getting in the ear, ew. Specifically yes. by the ear. But I would've told you. I would have told you. so yummy. <laughs> I love he says that like a point well, of yes, trust. I would have told sorry, you. We, sorry, sorry, we shouldn't have left that ear behind. So Wait, if you're eating resort, people, you why would you take me? the ear off? But what was I supposed to do? Let them starve? These people who put their lives in my hands? Who expect me to keep them safe? Who love me? That's a weird thing to say, that last bit. I don't mm. think your friend would either. Didn't he take another man's life to save yours? He was defending himself. He was defending you. No, he was defending All, himself. Both, both of those could be true you simultaneously. See, you see a lot. So do I. 
And you know what I see when I look at you? I see ears. Two ears maybe. <laughs> I see two ears. Me. Those delicious you ears. Me mm -hmm. me. You're a natural leader. You're smart. Loyal. Violent. He's trying to I butter her up. He is. Not like that, but I mean like, you know. <laughs> You'd stick me in a second. I think everybody you would, man. Violent heart. And I should Very know. violent hands. Violet ears. Do you feel like <laughs> these lines are specifically set up for two? Could be. I mean, we're doing that. We're not so different in anything right now. So. Well, they are, but it's specifically that you're a violent person. Because we haven't seen no. much of that, obviously, at this point in the, the like, in Ellie's story. What does cordyceps do? Is it evil? No. It feeds and protects its children. And it secures its future with violence, if it must. It loves. It loves? Cordyceps loves? Okay, this, I mean, you're losing me here. They need God. They need heaven. They need... Ah, he doesn't believe in these things. They need a father. You're beyond that. I'm a shepherd surrounded by sheep, and all I want is an equal. I can tell the others to stop looking for him. <laughs> you can't tell them anymore. They'll spare him. <laughs> I'd be more talking at them than to them that? at this point, but... <laughs> yes. If he leaves us in peace, they will just let him go. Is that the offer they here, to like, to, to let him go and, you know, I'll join you if you let him go or something like that? It does seem like that. It's like, join me and I will spare your friend. But they would kill him anyway. Man, Joel he's, wasn't. He's, like, legit okay. trying to offer her, like, queen status, huh? Essentially. Yeah. Think of what we could do together. I, I, I slapped the other prospect so she doesn't like me anymore. We'd make this place perfect. Like the game did do this as well, I think. No, it did, uh, but this they've been alluding to something, and they're going to get more of it with it before this ends, I'd imagine. Right. Imagine the life we could give them. Imagine the life we could build. Oh. Oh. You little cunt. Hey, <laughs> language. That's a bad word. Very close to the game, this lot. Yeah. Pretty close, but at the end, I, I, I was wondering if she'd like, go along with it. it for longer. Nope, see where Ellie she is, uh, no, nah, she's, uh, <laughs> she's, she's a fine one. Yeah. Man, he, he is really struggling, isn't he? Yeah. Oh look, it's blued. Blued in the snoo. That'd be from the deer, I suppose. I like that in the show he's playing this like in an, an impaired way. Like in the game, as soon as you play as Joel, you as a player get the sense like, okay, he's 100% now. You know what I mean? Like I can move around, he's I can do all the things. He's pretty normal, yeah. Yeah. He's definitely having to, yeah. He's a little haggard here. Plus. Oh. Shut up. Wait, 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 wait. Don't do this. I'm infected. I'm infected. And now so are you. Roll up my sleeve. Look at it. Look at it. David. No. This isn't real. That looks pretty I'm immune. Real to me. Ooh. <laughs> Oh, you killed the one that was maybe. Oh, interesting. Hey, you got one though. Yeah, well, this uh, is this one to one with the game as well. And like, and it's yeah. just as lucky as the game. <laughs> like it's there's a bit yeah. of plot armor there. You oh could say. well. And also, yeah, we're already in the uh, in the restaurant. Goodbye, Joel. Indeed. Yeah. You think that there'd be some cutlery in that kitchen? <laughs> yeah, interesting choice of weapon, Ellie. Oh yeah. Well, here's a stick. Oh, we're already in the restaurant. Wow. Yeah. Wow, because they're not going to do like some crazy encounters with like. Oh 50. no! What an incredibly <laughs> inconvenient thing to have just occurred. I feel like he th maybe pulled the kid down before it got to that level, but I That's guess too late now. Done. I would have pulled it down fast. He's he's sort of. No way out, Ellie. He's like keeping an eye on it, like eh, it's just lock. fire. <laughs> he's just oscillating between: Do I deal with this or do I? <laughs> Oh, well, Man, that fire is getting awfully uh, big. He has wow, that fire is burning quick. Yeah. Yeah. 
He's even what? doing the evil man thing where he's like, I'm gonna get you. I, there's no way out. He's monologuing. No one infected fights this hard to stay alive. That's an interesting line. So, I think there's how did you do it? things to be drawn from that line. No one likes being humiliated, Ellie. You don't know how good I am. Jeez, man, like that's some copium right there. <laughs> you. <laughs> you see, I changed my mind. I've I don't believe you. you. Father. So I'm gonna Jesus. keep you. And I'm gonna teach you. Ellie. Oh, don't yell as you're going towards him. Don't do that. Ah, fuck. I knew you had heart. You know, it's okay to give up. Ain't no shame in it. You can try begging. Oh, I thought you already knew. The fighting is the part I like the most. There's no fear in love. seems like the uh, it would be between this and five for best i think that was really yeah, really solid. That, that's what comes to mind for me either this one or five i think is the best well it's just I, that um these two episodes are the ones that deliver the like thus far the most important payoffs in the narrative i think i, I mean obviously so? for ellie in particular that's like a really that's a really critical moment and hopefully at this point people have sort of abandoned the bella ramsey can't act like angle i I don't get it anymore. That part I haven't was gotten it for particularly, a while. Uh, I'd say it's as far as haunting, the uh, chopping someone yeah. up to stop not only your own murder, but rape as well. And uh, the look in her eyes as she uh, as she leaves the place as well. It's that thousand yard stare. And then, of course, the panic. And then sort of, you know, it's just sort of calming down when she realizes that it's Joel. It, yeah, these it's, are all... it's, at this point, Bella Ramsey's had several, you could say, tests, essentially, of like how um like in terms of performance um yeah. and every single time like with these major moments yeah it's just like another another great uh bit of acting as well as all of the good acting throughout the whole episode what you bring, 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 what you bring me we're finally here mm -hmm. we've made it to the end of the yeah. season yes episode... the long way long feared <laughs> 
<laughs> what else can Long I find? Uh, yeah, kind of the the subject of a lot of speculation finale of The Last of Us. I saw someone say like how fucking insulting and detrimental to the whole IP that they had Ellie kill the voice actor for, for Joel. Like that's so fucked up. But the previous episode is like, oh come on, he's playing the character. He oh, did it really well. Oh, that guy. Guy. What a weird thing to read into it. I know. <laughs> Neil Druckmann was behind the camera going, hee <laughs> like <laughs> calm down. Did they say this for Tommy's voice actor? Probably, but well, if, when you got if you're gonna ripped off by the blighter, <laughs> we'll see. So. Our reactions, I was just like, hey, <laughs> like, and I'm sure that was his Gavin reaction too. And Neil Druckmann. Oh, written by both of them, was it? Yes. Well, okay. Yeah, I was gonna say if you have a bad reaction to those things, surely you'd have a good reaction to the symbolism of that. Oh, one. Marlene, come on, Marlene, he's back. He's gonna be in a lot of this episode, I'd imagine. Well, we haven't seen her since episode two. Mm -hmm. No. One. Or was it just oh, one? Just yeah, one. just one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's yeah. right. <gasps> the infected broke through a gosh darn window. They're so uncivilized. They never use doors. Point that at uh, Marlene oh. with your finger on the trigger, okay? I like how gun discipline is oh, just. Oh, she's got a. Constant got a K fuckery. bar. Is that like a cereal bar? Uh, yeah, crumbs everywhere. <laughs> Do not eat in bed. Do not only eat K-Bars, guys. Oof. Do only eat outside. So I guess we're still in the past. They're looking for the mother, right? Well, yeah, because this is going to be the how does Ellie get to the Fireflies of Marlene. Because she's going to be close to turning at this point. Oh, damn. She was about to kill herself. Oh, God. It's not your fault. We were delayed getting out of the zone. I know. She's hungry. I didn't want to nurse her. Oh, there you go. Smart idea. I cut it before I was bit. That would be a lie. Four. Take her with you. And plus, I mean, like if the baby turns, like hopefully it won't kill anybody. So <laughs> you should be you should be okay. You ever see Zack Snyder's Daughter of the Dead, Rex? No. <laughs> There's a I'd... zombie baby in that film. Her name's Ellie. How long have we known each other? You better fucking take this baby. Bitch. I was gonna say you better fucking do it. Will you pick her up right now? And then you kill me. I wonder well, if being bit on the thigh would speed up the process because of how big the blood vessels are in your thigh. Well, we saw the diagram. Basically, the closer the head, the quicker the infection. No, closer to the head? Please. I believe closer to the head, the quicker the infection, yes. Yeah, okay. that's what the page said. Because, yeah, none of this none of this is in the game, but uh, no. I think it's a but worthy addition. Marlene did say, Marlene did say that she knew Ellie's mom, or that she she knew her since she was a baby. Well, and this is just another example of where the TV show can do some extra stuff. Well, just giving, this is just all things to help humanize Marlene. <laughs> just what a traumatic birth into this fucking world, eh? Yeah. Welcome. That was really cool. We are running out of time, though. Yeah, you gotta get a move oh, on I episode. Hope. We're already yeah, done. Yeah, that's the thing. That was, this is, this is that was legit short. good. 30 minutes it's remain. Short episode. Yeah, like that, that is. That's not a lot of time. Yeah, like that was really good. Don't get me wrong. But this, we have this things. This portion to do. of the game. This portion of the game is a fair deal longer than 30 minutes. Yeah. Um, Ellie. Do you hear me? Ellie. Ellie. Did you hear me? No. What? Beefaroni, Chef Boyardee. Boggle! Is that Boggle? <laughs> played this? Yes. Boggle? What's wrong, Ellie? What's on your mind? I wonder. Right. You seem uncharacteristically not close. sarcastic. Joel is, uh, well, it is characteristic based on all of the development, but very, uh, warm and concerned. Well, I, I very much like this, and doing all the stuff before is gonna help accentuate what's happening here. She's thinking, obviously, about the end of the trip, and what's just happened. He, on the other hand, is trying right. to make her feel better. Yep. Good flip. He trusts her, gives her the gun now, doesn't even have to think about it. I can, you know, give Ellie a gun. He had a guitar in that RV. It's all smashed up, but got me thinking. Yeah, once we're done with this whole thing, I'm gonna teach you how to play guitar. Yeah, I reckon you'd really like that. I was thinking maybe I could teach you. I bet you'd be great at it. Mm -hmm. You wanna learn how to play guitar? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. That'd be great. Joel's so much more loquacious compared to how he was at the beginning. Oh, he's so open now, yeah. I mean, this girl saved his life, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
They've just been oh, together yeah. many months now, you know. I just think that's one of the bigger things that happened that changed That'd stuff. Obviously, she'd save it before, but the efforts she took to save it the second time was pretty insane. Yep. Yep. It's like, yeah, it's it's that sh it's that life debt shit where you're just like, yeah, I trust you completely. Like Jar Jar Binks owes <clears throat> um, Qui Gon Jinn a life debt. Is it melancholic the fact that any reference to like his guitar or things that'll happen after the events of this episode make me sad? Yeah, well, it does. It makes me sad too because the, I'm worrying. The very the end of The Last of Us is Ellie having lost two of her fingers, can't even play guitar anymore. God, I hate that ending. Why? Because she actually gave up on the, you know, end of the cycle of violence and her reward was she still lost everything. We'll talk about that some other day. <laughs> I was thinking we'd blast our way through that rubble. I found some dynamite in that RV back there. Really? No, so we're going to cut through that building. I had you going, didn't I? It is such an interesting shift in the dynamic. Yeah. yeah. Much and it quieter. also speaks a lot that I don't like it that Ellie's sad yep you know as like i don't like because seeing by this like point this. i just would be surprised if you weren't endeared to her regardless of, you know whether you'd play she's the been game through or so not. much she's a she's a trooper yep that fucking Maybe stock sound you hear that <laughs> that's Sorry. one of the most common openings of a thing sound ever it's usually for doors i think i'll get you up there you can drop that ladder down maybe we go through that way yeah, hey that's, that a, that's a fun little reference look video you games everything all right yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, you just kind of seem extra quiet today. Okay? Yeah, fine. Just you kind of seem extra quiet today. I'm sorry. No, it's fine. Did you hear what I... Yeah, boost. Got it. I'm very much hoping for the giraffe payoff, but the curiosity will be if they do CG or not. I think they can they'll spring for some real giraffes. I don't know. I don't know if it's a matter of like what you can pay for versus what you're allowed to use in certain yeah. places. Yeah, you think it there's could a, be a, like a rented giraffe around here that may prevent like, it. Mm -hmm. The thing is, I if, if you ask me to bet on it, I'd say it's going to be CG. It's going to be CG. Probably. Yeah. It's just easier to control. It's just yeah. It's it's kind of sad. I mean, <laughs> think about all the um, you know, all the giraffes out there that, you know, want to make it big. Yeah, she's seen the giraffe, isn't it? Did she see the shadows on the tarps like a velociraptor? <laughs> Good reference. I don't know why you'd make it. Uh, I don't know. Damn, how tall are these fucking giraffes? <laughs> <laughs> she saw, like, this enormous head. Coming. Like, the neck is many stories tall. Unless yep, the there maybe it she, is. she heard it yep. or something. This was probably I'm gonna... quite well utilized yeah. considering her current state of mind as well. Oh, that giraffe looks really good. I imagine that this giraffe was born um, after, you know, the apocalypse. So, this is a free-range giraffe. No. That's a very good-looking giraffe. That's a very good-looking giraffe. It would be from the zoo, right? I, th I assume that's what this. I think that's where they were from in the game. Yeah. Well, yeah, but this one—it means twenty years. This one is. Uh, well, how long does giraffes live? Is, uh, well, it's kind of the nature of the whole thing, right? That nature is. Uh, it's kind of the nature of nature. nature is, yeah, exactly. That nature. How long is, those like, tongues are? Oh, Give me that leaf. Look at look at that giraffe. Yeah, she's happier. <laughs> the giraffe doesn't want to eat you and stuff. It just wants to be chill. Is that like a? Is that a, a real giraffe? That looks really good. I wonder if we're gonna see a zebra that's real cut up. <laughs> like, don't, just, just don't do that's, it. Joe. That's the cl that's the closest thing to a sorry that we're ever gonna get is a dead zebra, <laughs> like nailed to the wall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like on a cross. <laughs> something. Oh man! Wow! Look at those things. So, is everything you were hoping for? Is it everything you hoped for? It's got its ups and downs. It's got its ups and downs, but you can't deny that view. This rooftop looks for? very similar. Yeah. To the game. Yeah, this whole environment, yeah, it's Can't really similar. We did it! No, here's the convoy. I don't know exactly where this hospital is. Yeah, we'll find it. Maybe there's nothing bad out there, but so far there's always been something bad out there. We're still here, though. We don't have to do this. You know that, right? 
We don't have to do this. Yeah, that's that's just him being like, just you know, can we can we not do it? This is the big thing about the story, right? It's the discovery that why are we alive? It's like it can't be to have moments like this with each other. It's not about like he's so much less focused now on like some grand mission. He just I wants to hang out with you. Thomas, sheep ranch, the, the moon. moon. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, the moon. Dream of sheep ranches on the moon. Oh well. You ain't cargo no more. All right, we're nearly halfway. Firefly's got to get in here. Yep. Unless the, I mean, do you think the structure is going to be cliffhangers with what he's going to do in our season two? No, no, no way. No, <laughs> the ending is definitely going to take us right back to where it ends in the game. Yeah, there's. God, could you imagine? That would. I think that would piss people off. Definitely looks extremely good. Post apocalypse vibe is like they nailed it. Say, set design set, is incredible. Set design. It's, yeah. yeah, this looks in amazing. You know, there's just weeds and plants growing up growing up everywhere. We got a bit of rubble, things are and torn. the visual effects of the backgrounds are super well integrated. Yes, they look very good. I don't imagine like the kind of effort oh. it takes to do that, but it looks great. Really? I think this, we only got the show like, was uh, filmed over the course of a year. I think it was filmed over the course of a year. Had a long production the timeline. They put these places up all around. The first few days after the outbreak, emergency medical camps. So this place takes me back. How so? It was right after everything went down. I ended up in a triage just like this. In the game, this is where Ellie gives well, Joel the photo of Sarah that she oh. found. I wonder if they'll do that. So what was wrong with you? Also, she can talk about she Sarah was... and it doesn't bug him. Uh, that is, yeah. I think, a similar sort of realization in the game. We're just like, damn, they really have come far yep. then. Look at Pedro right there. Uh, Look at him. It. Dude, everything's ready for the payoff now. Yeah. We, we could have had two seasons of a Mandalorian like yeah. this. Imagine. Imagine uh, his fucking yeah. cargo in the game was a person this old and this Yeah, aware. someone he could fucking talk to and that could talk to him. Not some stupid green baby. <laughs> Boggle. Do you know what I'm in the mood for? What? Shitty puns. People are making apocalypse jokes like there's no tomorrow. Too soon? No, it's topical. <laughs> it's topical. Oh, I love this one. <laughs> <laughs> Moon rocks taste better than earth rocks. Why? Meteor. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, that's fuck a, you. That, that was actually good. Fuck you. That was actually all right, good. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Say to the purple grape. Breathe, you idiot. You look appealing. <laughs> Come on. That's not bad. Oh, okay. Five. All right. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Five. Five out of ten. Five. I appreciate that he uh he covered her. He yeah. They're the fireflies. Yes, they are, and we didn't do the the water, yep, the are, swimming payoff. They no are bus. being uh they're being dicks. Oh, whether or not she's conscious. Oh, I'm very scared right now. These are going to be a tense few minutes, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, this is it. This is it. The conversation with oh, Marlene boy. is everything. Keep an oh, eye on them subtitles, everybody, because I'm probably yep. going to be talking a lot about every single thing they say. Uh, yeah. Hi. Up into the fireflies. See, you got hit pretty hard. Welcome to the fireflies. Sorry about that. They didn't know who you were. Patrol didn't know who you were. And Ellie. She's all right. They brought her back. <sighs> Where's Ellie? She wasn't hurt. Not even a scratch. She's mostly worried about you. You came all this way. How'd you do it? It was her. How'd you do it? It was all her. <clears throat> she fought like hell to get here. She fought like hell to get here. She would have been dead on day one. Maybe it was meant to be. You are the one person I never wanted to be in debt to. But I owe you. I pretty much lost everything. And then you show up and somehow we find you just in time to save her. Maybe it was meant to be. We all owe you. Just take me to her. I can't. She's being prepped for something. Uh-oh. He thinks it could be a cure, Joel. It could be. Could be. <clears throat> We're okay so far. Cordyceps grows inside the brain. It does. Is she awake? Is she awake? Is she awake? 
We didn't tell her. We didn't cause her any fear. There no. won't be any pain. Find someone else. There is no one else. We didn't tell her. We didn't cause her any fear. There no. won't be any pain. They didn't tell her. her. You take me to her. They didn't tell her. Help. They didn't tell her. She doesn't know. Yes! <laughs> what? And it's exactly... Yep. I get it. But whatever it is you think you're going through right now is nothing to what I have been through. Any pain. No, you take me to her. You take me to her right now! Oh! Oh! I knew her since she was born. I promised your mother I would look after her. Then why are you letting this happen? Please, you don't understand. I do. Is that intro? I was there when she was born, Joel. I have no other choice. I do. It's a choice. Uh oh. March him out of here. He tries anything, shoot him. Walk him out to the highway, leave him there with his pack. Give him this. He tries anything, shoot him. Oh, deal's been well done. It's a little bit different, but they're not giving him the weapons. Like, they're not giving him what they agreed to. Yeah, it's still, it's everything's here. The only thing that's I different. I think it was just the pack. Just the pack, that's it. The only thing that's different, really, is that they've made the potential for the cure clearer medically. Yes. But otherwise, it's more or less... I mean, if the game didn't exist, I would expect him to now do the thing he does in the game. And I'm on his team, by the way. I am, yeah. They didn't tell Ellie. This is super they didn't, they didn't tell Ellie. They, didn't tell they Ellie fucked him or... over completely, and they clearly don't give a shit. And then we can go into all the political reasons for why this is fucked up. Whatever she agreed to, she didn't I understand didn't what she was agreeing to. No, and then they've probably put her under... Yep. Go well, fuck them. And, like, they're the Fireflies. They are, they are, we've been told throughout this season they're assholes in terms of what they do to gain. So what do you think they're going to use this for? I like this, you know, the this face. You know? Keep walking. I said keep walking. I said keep walking. Where is the operating room? Where is she? Fuck you. I ain't got time for this. Where? Where? Top floor, the far end. I don't have time for this. I like that this is happening at the bottom of a dark stairwell. It's like he's descending in it into yeah. what he knows he has to become to do this. Ammo. Yep. Take a couple mags. They both use the same mags, so it's not a problem. This is, I think this is a scene that a lot of people have wanted for a while. This is gonna be Punisher Joel, basically. I like him shooting through the window. Because glass isn't bulletproof. I like these editing choices, too. Yep. Yep. Music is pretty foreboding as well. Yeah, yeah it is. This to me it's just that, seems like, like a, you've brought this upon yourselves. You're gonna execute him anyway? Yep. This is exactly what we've been talking about throughout the entire season. It's been properly given that if you fuck with him too much, he doesn't have any limits. Oh, this is, yeah, this is, uh, this is him real scary. It's just coming between a man and his daughter, that's what this story's about. I love that this is kind of a montage of just, like, mayhem. Well, yeah, and, and like I said, the music choice, the tone here is like, did this have to happen? It's like, there's so many reasons how it didn't, but it did. Yeah, we're gonna have we to have are. our showdown at the end, yeah. Oh, this, is, this matters a lot, this yeah. doctor! <laughs> yep. Is there a little girl in this room who's like, Daddy, no! Are we gonna do it? Should if do there's it. a zebra in this room, that'll just... That'll just be, be it. <laughs> the whole way. Good job, Pedro. In this whole season. Good yeah. job. Yep. He's That's been exactly. fantastic. Unhook her. Sweet Jesus. Doctor? What are you doing in here? I won't let you take her. This is our future. Think of all the lives we'll save. Well, there you go. Yep. You picked up a scalpel, my good man. 
Yep. He does spare the rest. Cover oh, well, I guess, is it up to you in the game yes. whether or not you spare the these game, doctors? It's, it's, uh, you don't have to, it's just the doctor. Turn well, around. I presume they're all doctors, but it's just the guy. That shot is important for next season. Yeah. Yep. Don't have to deal with that shit now, though. <laughs> That's not... No, and it seems like they're not going to. No. Nope. Which, uh... Where is Marlene? I bet I think I know what's gonna happen. Have you ever seen it before? No. Can't keep her safe forever. You can't save her. Even if you get her out of here, then what? No matter how hard you try, no matter how many people you kill, she's gonna grow up, Joel. How long before she's torn to pieces by a pack of clickers? That is, if she hasn't been raped and murdered first. How long till she's torn apart by infected or murdered by raiders? Because she lives in a broken world that you could have saved. It ain't for you to decide. It's what she'd want. Maybe. But it isn't for you to decide. Or you. And you know it. So what would she decide, huh? Because I think she'd want to do what's right. And you know it. Look. You can still do the right thing here. Even after what you've done, we can still find a way. She won't feel anything. Editing is straight out of the game. Yeah, straight out of the game. Yep. One to one. What? It's alright. You're with me. Take it slow. Uh, what the hell am I wearing? Just take it easy. The drugs are still wearing off. The drugs are still wearing off. I was with the fireflies and then. What drugs? What happened? They were running some tests on you. And some others. We found the fireflies. Turns out there's a whole lot more like you. People that are immune. Dozens of them. Turns out there's a whole lot more like you, Ellie. People that are immune. There's dozens, actually. The doctors, they couldn't make any of it work. They've actually They've actually They've stopped looking for a cure. They've stopped looking for a cure. I'm taking this home. Close. Raiders attacked the hospital. I barely got you out of there. We'll find you some new ones on the way. I'm sorry. Are people hurt? Yes. Is Marlene okay? I'm taking this home. did in the game and I think they're doing here is that Ellie is clearly not stupid enough to not think Could something's going this, on yeah. here. Yeah, something's up. You've just come after her. That flaming was yep. identical to the game. Just exactly the same. All of it. One to one. And now we're back to... And back, back to Jack. Yeah. 
These landscapes. I will say that we were worried about the um, the amount of time, but they were quite expeditious. Uh, I think it was like John pointed out the uh, the montage of the uh, fight at the hospital. That was a good yep, choice. That was a way to do it. Yep. yep. Like we're walking. Well, she got us close enough. We gotta walk the rest of the way. Should be a straight shot through here. All right. It's actually kind of pretty, ain't it? Yeah. Probably about a five-hour hike. We can manage that. Yeah. All right. Now watch your head going through. Yeah. I got it. Oh, wow. Feeling my age now. Well, Sarah and I used to hike like this all the time. I wouldn't say it was her favorite thing. She wasn't a fan of the mosquitoes and such. She would have liked you. Not to say the two of you are the same, but definitely different kids. How so? Well, she was a lot more. I know she would have liked you. I bet I would have. I want to say girly, and I'm not saying that you're not girly. I'm not. Yeah, you're not. So that. <laughs> it's a little bit further now. She had a killer smile. Again, not saying that you don't. But you know why I think she'd like you? Why? Because you're funny. I think you would have made her laugh. Anyway, I bet you would have liked her back. Yeah, I bet I would have. Hey, wait. Back in Boston? Hey, wait. Fuck. Back when I was bitten? I wasn't alone. Back in Kansas City, you asked me about the first time I killed someone. When I got bit in the mall, I, I wasn't on my own. My best friend was there. My best friend was there. And she got bit too. We didn't know what to do. And she got bit too. We didn't know what to do and she says... So... She says... We can just wait it out. Be all poetic and just lose our minds together. Let's just wait it out. You know, we can be all poetic and just lose our minds together. And then she did. And I had to... I'm still waiting for my turn. Ellie. Her name was Riley, and she was the first to die. Her name was Riley. She was the first to die. And then it was Tess. And then it was Tess. And then Sam. None of that is on you. And then Sam. That's not on you. I know. It... Look, sometimes things don't work out the way we hope. You can feel like... Like you've come to an end. You don't understand. I struggled. For a long time with surviving. And you... And you don't know what to do next. But if you just keep going... No matter what... You keep finding something to fight for. You find something new to fight for. And maybe that's, that's not what you want to... Swear to me. Now, I know that's not what you want to hear right now. Swear to me. Swear to me that everything you said about the fireflies is true. Swear to me that everything that you said about the fireflies is true. I swear. I swear.
get a sense that there's some. Oh, it's getting big. Or maybe it's always been that big. It is. Well, tough the to thing really is, is that tell. Jackson looks reasonably big, but you don't go to Jackson in the game uh, in the first one. I'll see it, it like from, this. Uh, right? Outside, yeah. like this angle. Yeah. And this will be our conflict for season two. The Finds thing about this is, assume, or maybe she never will. A lot of interpretations know. from people of the game is that she knows he's lying. Okay. Yeah. But she accepts it. It's that. That's nod. an interpretation. That's, uh, yeah. That's, yeah. Yeah. Um, we, did it. Of he's hey, we did it. We did it, everybody. We we, we made it. it. We're safe. <laughs> we season one is complete. Uh, We're safe season one for is a while. Complete, and it's a nice, good season of television, right there. That's. Uh, I think. That's good. Yeah, this is a this is a solid yeah. season, and hopefully the reception to the ending thing. will make them think well, about so really carefully what they're going to do with season two. At the beginning of the season, I don't think we expected it to be that, but I mean that was pretty close to the game. There's obviously yeah. differences here or there, but like a lot of the yeah. major beats were there, and I mean, the, it's the closest to is, a game as far as adaptations go that we've ever seen. The critical part, though, is the whole conflict there. Oh god, I'm so relieved. <laughs> I know, right? It's just like, oh, yeah, we're there. Oh. All right, cool. Yeah, now <laughs> I will watch say, the Gotham show without me feeling like shit. This is, this gives me the impression that they will be on script for the Last of Us two, the season two. I, uh, I imagine we're going to be seeing it one to one. Hey, yeah, uh, I. There is that, but the thing is, it's like, dude, at least we got this, all right? <laughs> we did, we did get it, and this is. Yeah, I don't know what they're gonna do. The, I don't, I, mean... I don't think we're gonna get changes that make Last of Us two better. I think it's gonna be pretty much one to one. It's, it's gonna be about mm. whether or not they feel the, the need same... to change certain things. A lot of what oh, destroys that game for me gonna happen. is so many small decisions made by characters. There's a lot of big ones too, but just things that can be changed to improve the story. We've said since the mm. beginning, you can kill Joel. You can. You just... can do it. It's it's always not gonna like be that. probably unpopular, but you got. But that's the thing, at if least they... we've got a season one that hasn't been drastically mired by the existence of uh, of The Last of Us Part 2. Yeah, it's so weird to think that they would take two and know what the reception is to that game and then do a mm. second season of TV like it. Desert Eagle can shoot through anything. <laughs> What'd you bring 